can do is to will to allow God to help you. The crowd is untruth. The very notion of religion entering the social scene is how it dies. The eternal truth pertains solely to the single individual through God's help. Only then can one love one's neighbor as one loves himself, the absolute true expression of human equality. In the present age, Kierkegaard goes more in depth on what he saw as the victory of abstraction over the individual. He posits an early form of nihilism, which he referred to as leveling, an anonymous social process in which the uniqueness of the individual becomes non-existent by assigning equal values to all aspects of human endeavors, thus missing all the subtle complexities of human identity. In other words, it tries to put everything at the same level. Overcoming this represents a step in the right direction towards becoming a true self, recovering the sense that our lives are meaningful. Leveling is supported by the public, which he calls a monstrous nothing, consisting of unreal individuals who are never united in an actual situation and yet are held together as a whole, he writes. In order that everything should be reduced to the same level, it is first of all necessary to procure a phantom, its spirit, a monstrous abstraction, an all-embracing something which is nothing, a mirage, and that phantom is the public. It is only in an age which is without passion, yet reflective, that such a phantom can develop itself with the help of the press, which itself becomes an abstraction. The press satisfies the desire of seeking trivial diversion without making one responsible for anything. German philosopher Friedrich Nietzsche observed that the essential fact of modernity was the problem of nihilism brought about by what he proclaims as the death of God, a fact from which the existence of the masses cannot be separated. The great enemy is the last man characterized by nihilism insofar as he has detached himself from the higher values of life, expressing indifference to human excellence, creativity, and beauty. The last man escapes into the world of entertainment to distract himself from life's hardships, which are crucial for his path towards self-realization. Nietzsche proposes a secular form of self-transcendence through the figure of the Übermensch, who is declared as the meaning of the earth. The Übermensch strives for self-overcoming, manifesting itself in the encounter with obstacles, and embraces whatever life throws at him. He sacrifices momentary comfort in order to achieve greatness, and is not afraid to live dangerously. He is the highest life affirmer who strives to become who he is, gaining power over himself, reaching a joy worthy of God. German philosopher Martin Heidegger tells us that we are always initially engaged with the world as being in the world. He emphasizes the positive role of the social and historical realm of human existence. However, it can also lead to an inauthentic existence and take a negative, authoritarian side, demanding of the individual conformity and obedience, surrendering oneself to a formless entity, to what he calls das Mann, or the they where one mindlessly goes about social expectations without considering one's own possibilities at hand. This inauthentic life creates anxiety, as we are not responsible of our whole human nature, of being thrown into the world as finite and mortal beings. It is too easy to get lost in the everyday until we face death. This is the idea of being toward death. As we face the end of our existence, we ironically live for ourselves for the first time, without thinking about the approval of other people on who we are. When asked how we might recover authenticity, Heidegger replied that we should simply spend more time in graveyards. In order to recognize the inevitability of death in the context of our everyday existence, so as to live life to the fullest and live right into our death. The mass crushes beneath it everything which is different, everything that is excellent, individual, qualified, and select. Anybody who is not like everybody, who does not think like everybody, runs the risk of being eliminated. Spanish philosopher José Ortega Gasset wrote his best-known work The Revolt of the Masses in 1930, in which he characterizes society as dominated by the mass man, 
a mass of indistinguishable individuals. Ortega expresses his fear of the collective mediocrity and tyranny of the majority who believe that to be different is to be indecent, threatening individuality and free thought. They are characterized by conformity, changing their behavior to fit in with the people around them, and mediocrity, the quality of being average. The mass man does not, however, refer to a social class. He could be from any social background. He represents the current zeitgeist or spirit of the age. Ortega writes, Society is always a dynamic unity of two component factors, minorities and masses. The minorities are individuals or groups of individuals who are specially qualified. The mass is an aggregate of persons not especially qualified. By masses, then, it is not to be understood solely nor principally the working masses. The mass is the average man. In this manner, what was mere quantity, the multitude, is converted into a qualitative determination. It becomes the common social quality, man as undifferentiated from other men, but as repeating in himself a generic type. To form a minority, whatever it may be, it is necessary beforehand that each member separate himself from the multitude for special, relatively individual reasons. This coming together of the minority, precisely in order to separate themselves from the majority, is always introduced into the formation of every minority. Ortega's main target is the average man or Mr. Satisfied, who is content in his mediocrity and wants to be just like everyone else. The minority, on the other hand, separates himself from the common values of the masses by placing greater demands on himself and cultivating excellency. It is the intellectual minority who symbolize progress in contrast to the mass man's stagnation. Ortega's philosophy has been characterized as a philosophy of life, that is, philosophizing as a way of life, endorsed by the German Lebensphilosophie movement. At the core of Ortega's philosophy is the radical reality of each individual, that is to say, it is your reality that comes first, and the rest follows. The absolute truth would be obtained by the sum of all perspectives of all lives. Just like Heidegger, Ortega unites both subject and the world, overcoming the limitations of both idealism, in which the world is a mental construction, and realism, in which the world exists independent of the subject. He coined the term racial vitalism, in which knowledge is based on the radical reality of life, whose essential component is what he calls vital reason, that is, reason with life as its foundation. This led him to pronounce his most well-known maxim, I am I and my circumstance, and if I do not save it, I do not save myself. Our circumstance is everything we were born into, and everything we are surrounded by, the time period, country, family, culture, etc. And our sense of I helps us make sense of how we fit into all this. We are a dynamic project that has to be completed in view of the world, and to the extent that we deal with it, we make it ours. This can be done by taking responsibility for who we are, at our core, and by the circumstance in which we were born into, acknowledging our limitations and the freedom we have as individuals who are always projecting towards a goal. Ortega's work is strikingly similar to ideas which had been formulated by Heidegger in his magnum opus Being and Time. As he writes, to live is to find oneself in the world. Heidegger, in a very recent work of genius, has made us take notice of all the enormous significance of these words. Religion provided the reality of the individual presented before God, where one's individual personality would remain intact. However, the mass man now presents itself as the reality, having replaced God with public opinion, as Kierkegaard had brilliantly prophesied. While technology has made possible the advancement of our species, it has also exacerbated the problem of herd behavior. Anthropologically speaking, technology is ontologically prior to theoretical science. We have been concerned with technology since the Stone Age, which has molded the very core of our mode of being. However, modern man is now slowly merging with technology, and it may only be a matter of time until we enter a post-human era. 
posing new challenges to the human condition. But at the same time, without technology, we wouldn't have arrived at where we are today. What threatens us is what made us humans in the first place. The later Heidegger was concerned that in our modern society we are so immersed in technology that we disconnect ourselves from being, from the world and nature. We have been inextricably linked with technology to a point that we would have a hard time surviving without it. We have built a system which we cannot live without, and yet the individual within the system can be done away with. With virtual reality just around the corner, this may well become a bigger issue, where many will escape reality into the peace and safety of a new dark age. We must cultivate authenticity, that is, the ability to extricate ourselves from unreflective mass consciousness, appropriating our own existential possibilities, and developing projects that give meaning to our lives, making use of the resources of our culture and our heritage with a view to future development. The biggest danger, that of losing oneself, can pass over the world as quietly as if it were nothing. Every other loss, an arm, a leg, five dollars, a wife, etc., is bound to be noticed. I hope you enjoyed this video. You can support the channel on Patreon or by liking, commenting, or sharing the content. Thank you for watching. This is what democracy looks like. So, if folks are ever wondering why we're enslaved and run by policy, statute, code, and various misleaders, get a good look at the metaverse and what goes on on these panels from time to time. They know they don't care about words, terms, and symbols. They know they don't care about etymology. They freely admit it. They're so mind and heart controlled, they're going to follow policy and false authority to their bitter end. And no matter how much I try to get them to refocus and recenter and research, the word is research, who and what you are and what this all means, I can't get them to do it. They'd rather argue with me over running stop signs and what that means. It's the it's the loss, injury, and harm we got an issue with. It's not the damn sign. These people never saw a sign they didn't want to follow. They never saw, you know, an idol or a misleader they didn't want to listen to and follow. I'm pretty much done with it all. And I have been for a while. So yeah, when I come anywhere, like there's gonna, it's all love at the end of the day. But when we have the back and forth, I'm gonna turn up on you. I'm gonna hold your feet to the fire, and I'm gonna question you, hold you accountable, and I'm gonna define the words and terms and put it in your face. And if you wanna argue with me, I'm gonna call you a bitch ass motherfucker, like the intros. You know. It is what it is. You guys don't understand why I do what I do. I don't give a fuck what happens. Don't you get it? I'm not like you. I don't give a fuck what happens. I can't. I care, but I can't give a fuck. Because if I do, it'll allow the powers that should be, that we've given our power away to, to take me down from the inside out. See? I don't care that you don't understand the words and terms and etymologies and symbols. It's all there. Even if it wasn't there, I'm going to do what the fuck I want to do. Okay? You didn't grow up like me. I was from a broken home. I grew up from a, in a broken cultural uh, divide, I guess you could say. You know, of suburban white people and urban African Americans and Latinos, right? Below the poverty line. So, becoming from a broken home and being a broken person and being around a whole bunch of other uh, folks who culturally had some differences, we'll say. Uh, I lived my whole life expecting a die or go to prison. So the fact that I'm still here talking, especially after everything thus far, there's so many things that have happened. I don't get into it. You don't need to know every piece of my fucking life story. You may not want to know. It may not be necessary. Maybe it is necessary. Maybe that's part of the problem. You don't truly understand me and you think you do. So my whole upbringing, I was, I was expecting to die or go to prison. I just didn't know what the circumstances were going to be. God damn it, Paul. If we don't move into this space and truly understand who and what we are and what our rights and freedoms are worth, which is dying for going to a box, we're not going to have them. Worse than that, we're going to be diseased. We're not going to have peace. We're not going to have inspiration. We're not going to have true faith. 
not going to have empowerment. We're not going to have resources. You have to draw the line of distinction and you have to move into that. If you want the things that we say we want, there's going to be no other mechanism to get it. If I have to die or go to prison doing what's true or what's right, I'm so way ahead of the game at this point. Yeah, there's only two things that you could do to stop me now, and you can't even do that indefinitely. You got to put me in a box forever. You got to kill me. You put me in a box, you're going to have to let me out at some point because I haven't killed nobody and I'm not doing anything. And if you're going to do it, you got to be completely corrupt. And I don't put it past you. But if you put me in there, you got to keep me forever. And you still aren't going to know what to do with me because I'm going to raise the roof on wherever you put me. Just the way that I am. You know it and I know it. I don't even have to get up, but you to do it. Energetically, I'm going to raise the roof on that institution. When I go to these places, they go, get this motherfucker out of here. Energetically, we do not need him here. You go in there, it's like the pit of hell. It's like death warmed over. You know, I come in there, I bring such a light and such information and understanding and such care that it just flips it on its head. They say, get him out of here. It's bad for business. Mm, greetings, folks. We're back at it. Another day, uh, another dollar, as they used to say. Nubs Creature, a.k.a. Rubs, uh, is in the back. We'll bring him in. How are you, Mr. Rubs Creature? Dude, I'm stacking bricks, homie. Yeah? Another day on the job site? Pretty much. Right. So, um, have you heard that there's apparently uh, official video of Wizard at City Council? Are you wanting to, like, look at that? How are you, Joshua? Are you want to see official video of Wizard at City Council or not? Let me know right now. Mm -hmm. eh. I guess That's it's your show. That's a yes. <laughs> Thank you. Gingivitis has been eroding the gum line of this great nation <laughs> long enough and must be stopped. For too long, this country has been suffering a great moral and oral decay in spirit and incisors. A country's future depends on its, on its ability to bite back. We can no longer be a nation indentured. Our very salivation is at stake. Together, we must brace ourselves. As we cross over to the bridge work into the 23rd century, let us bite the bullet and together make America a sea of shining smiles from sea to shiny sea. Now, friends, some people will tell you that this mandatory toothbrushing law is about the secret dental police kicking down your door at 3 a.m. to make sure you've brushed. Friends, it is not. Some will mention the dental re-education centers or the preventative dental maintenance detention facilities. It's about none of these things. It's not about the government-issued toothpaste containing an addictive yet harmless substance. No, friends, it is not even about DNA gene splicing to create a race of winged monkeys to act as tooth fairies. Friends, what this mandatory toothbrushing law is really about is strong teeth for a strong America. My name is Vermin Supreme. I am a friendly fascist. I am a tyrant that you should trust, and you should let me run your life because I do know what is best for you. Yes, I am a politician. I will promise you anything your little electorate heart desires because you are my constituents. You are the informed voting public, and because I have no intention of keeping any promise that I make. Vote early, vote often. Remember, a vote for Vermin Supreme is a vote completely thrown away. I would like to take this moment to acknowledge uh, my mother, who is in the audience here today. Please stand up, mother. Please stand up. Um, if you can stand up, please stand up. You know, she's going to try and stand up so you can acknowledge her. This, this, this is my mother. Uh, there we go. And five years ago this April, I gave her a kidney. My challenge to you people, everybody on the stage and everybody in the audience, give up a kidney. All right. Thank you, Mr. Supreme. Mr. Supreme, uh, welcome back. Uh, you, thank uh, you, sir. Like, like some of the other candidates, including uh, former Governor Romney, um, this is not your, shall we say, first rodeo. Let us say that. <laughs> um, this is not the first time you have run for president in Correct. the New Hampshire primary. Um, and uh, President Romney has been accused, and I'm not taking a position one way or the other, of taking different positions on different issues. Um, I'm uh, asking you right now, are, do you still stand by your 
pledge made in 2008 to provide a pony for every American. Yes, I do, sir. Free ponies for all Americans, one of the overlooked issues in America today. My free pony platform is, of course, a jobs creation program. It will create lots and lots of jobs. Once we uh, switch over to a pony-based economy, we'll also lower our uh, dependence on foreign oil. We'll also be able to uh, turn all that pony poop into methane gas and wonderful compost, so we'll be able to uh, re- uh, up our soil that is being depleted by uh, agrochemicals, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And of course, the important thing to realize is that it is a federal pony identification program where you will need your pony with you at all times. Thank you very much. Mr. Supreme, I wanted to follow up on Ambassador Shoemaker's question. Yes. Regarding the ponies. Um, yes. Is that the only government entitlement program that you support what other entitlement programs are you for just that one that's that's enough but I, in, the, in the vein of uh energy production i'd also like to address my uh harnessing the awesome power of zombies uh for energy sources it's not just uh, to run away from anymore no we have giant turbines that we're working on and we will have lots of zombies and we'll just sort of dangle brains in front of them and then they will turn the giant turbines creating energy to uh less than the dependence on foreign oil in America here today. Thank you. Mr. Supreme, your 30 second closing statement, please. My name is Vermin, my name is Vermin, Vermin Supreme. My name is Vermin, my name is Vermin, my name is Vermin, Vermin, Vermin Supreme. And you can vote, and you can vote, and you can vote for me for president if you want to. And, uh, and my name is Vermin. And, um, okay, thanks very much for coming out today. Oh, one, one more thing. Um, uh, uh, Jesus told me to uh, make Randall Terry gay. Mr. Supreme. Your thoughts on any of that, Nubs Creature? Wizard's uh, official speech at City Council, uh, and apparently he's announced that he's running for president as Vermin Great Supreme. Stuff. Great stuff. Go Vermin. Go Vermin. Right. Vote for Vermin. I suspect that there'll at least be some change made uh, from the usual affairs. You know, I could, uh, I could definitely see Jack as his running mate in this situation right you know that's yeah it's a good ticket vermin vermin and jack talcott okay vermin right all right let's get to the grim hustle don't follow ghosts follow habits and then we got a san joaquin valley uh some more policy enforcement interaction then of course we got some breaking slave news we got the retaliation israel uh, Iran. So we're going ahead with World War Three. It seems. Uh, what about the man the on fire? Too. What's that now? What about the man on fire at the Trump rally? Man on fire at the Trump rally. Would someone lit themselves on fire? Yes. All right, well, I Quite didn't know. Successfully it. too. All right. Let me see. Person sets himself on fire outside a Trump trial. Okay, outside of a Trump trial. All right, we can just we can redirect it, real quick it to that. It appears that some sort of fire has broken out outside of the courthouse in New York City, where this is live. The former an hour, an hour trial. Ago. There you can see up it. to the uh, minute news. Trial happening right now. We just learned that all of the jurors had been seated, all of the alternates had been chosen. Uh, Laura Engel there live on the scene. But as we were getting ready to report this, then we heard that there was this fire. A report of this fire breaking out outside. So we are working to get reaction. Uh, I know that right now officials are there on the scene trying to put it out. So Laura Engel is outside there of the courthouse. Laura, can you tell us what's happening? We're hearing reports of this fire, potentially somebody setting themselves on fire. We get past your conclusions, lady. Nicole, we just witnessed somebody set themselves on fire. I just oh saw my it happen. God. Greg, go ahead and turn around. Don't show the fire. Show what the activity that's happening right in back of us. Okay, so the area that's right in back of our cameras, try not to show the man on fire, please. Just, just show the court officers, the NYPD. This is a, an extremely chaotic scene that has just taken place. We just got word that the jury has been seated in the Trump trial, and all of a sudden I heard a scream. We turned in back of us, and 
this area that is fenced in right behind our line of cameras is where the protest scene has been ah, you. people with trump flags pro uh, counter demonstrators and it looked like something out of a movie it looked uh, there was a man standing on fire and he flames were shooting up in the air and his hands were starting to shake and he dropped down to his knees and people started screaming and we just saw a group of police officers jump this fence you can see people running in now greg can you get those guys you can see these officers running in and we all just said to ourselves is this real because it did is not this look real, real? It looked like something out of a movie thank you for watching go to newsnationnow.com to find you news station to on your television you provider and don't forget <laughs> i know what i'm offering and i'm offering well i don't know Right. <laughs> uh, a maddening scene, apparently, outside the trial. Man lighting himself on fire. Folks, uh, onlookers asking themselves, is this real? These people uh, yes. are just getting fired up. Yes, it's very real. Okay. Very real. This is why we have to vote, Nubs. This coming election season, it's important we get out and vote. Make a change around here. Oh, auto start. We got to go to the Grim Hustle, nubs. Forget about all the rest of this nonsense. Okay, we don't have time for it. Don't follow right. ghosts, follow habits. This is an eye opening scene. This is what you need right now in your life. Values does not matter. What matters are habits. What is the most important habit in your life? Silence. Silence? Let me explain. To succeed in life, you need to have direction. If one not knows to which port one is sailing, no wind is favorable. So, what do you think is the port for me to sail to in life? I can tell you the words. And the words have meaning in your ear, but not in your soul. You want to know what is your mission for your life. The answer cannot come from me. If it comes from me, you might follow my words for a while, but eventually lose motivation. If the answer comes from your own soul, then you will have the motivation for a lifetime. Maybe longer than that. That is why you need silence so that your soul can speak to you which port to sail to which mission to fulfill in your life it will take hours of pure silence days maybe weeks but your soul will speak to you i guarantee honor will come Now, I'm Screecher, you have anything before you move forward? We got the freak down there. Henry, the producer, was also down there. Henry said that they were throttling the numbers on Joe Rogan and Tucker Carlson interview recently. Uh, yeah, it's it's not real. It doesn't exist until Joe Rogan and Tucker speak about it. So, yeah, that's something I've been experiencing for a while now. Uh, the live counters are off. They're, they're throttled. They're just deceptive. I mean, again, um, Paul and Slave Channel is live right now, and we can't get over 11 to 15 people on a 22,000 subscriber channel. So something's up there, um, obviously. So, yeah, I mean, if you want to come up and tell us about that, I'm interested to hear about what that experience was. Um, and then DeFreak, we have DeFreak down there who says that the only hope for us right now is to vote for Donald Trump. We're doing that again. Nubs, am I loud and clear? Am I coming in loud and clear enough? I don't want to be too loud. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, wait a second. DeFreak is now backing not God, but Donald Trump? Precisely. He's saying that Donald Trump is our only hope. Uh, we, do you got any other better plans? So I'd like him to come up and kind of reveal to us why, right? I'd like to do a bit right now. I want DeFreak to explain to us why we need to vote for Donald Trump and what else we need to do to change this land immediately. 
he's willing to come up and indulge me in that, I'm open to that. For the meantime, meantime, tween time, uh, we're pushing P. No, not pogo narratives. No, not pimping necessarily. Policy enforcement, right? We're pushing P. So what these cops say on camera will shock you. Let's go to San Joaquin and see if they come up with something recently. Last few videos I, I'm not impressed with. Okay, San Joaquin, step it up over there. If you're going to do this auditing thing. If you're going to be in these cops' faces, let's you know, let's get someone beat. Let's get someone tased, shot, maybe a 180, like to castrated. Oh, yeah, that's right. I got a 20-minute video from uh, Jose to castrated. Uh, he's now, he's decided to write a book. He's been in jail two weeks. He's now decided he's going to write a tell-all book. And, of course, that'll be on sale soon uh, on his merchandise store, right? So you want to peek into the mind of uh, Mr. DeCastro and, you know, his uh, <laughs> behind-the-wall activities, and you want to know, like, how he's become who and what he is and his experiences and what he's been through, look for the book uh, coming to a shelf near you, Barnes & Noble, Borders, I'm sure, uh, and of course, the I'm a slave dot com, whatever his website is for the trifold and other pieces of merchandise. So that is exciting. Goblin cock. I love that trifold. I'm going to die soon. Pay attention to me. That's interesting. Goblin changing his name, apparently. I don't think that's Goblin. I you was on. Uh, no, I was. Uh, I was on a panel with Goblin and uh, Flo and Tommy and uh, Jack Talcott. Man, all the Tards were there. It was great. Right. Jack ran as soon as uh, Flo came up, which was rather ironic. Tommy ran after I told him that he had told us that he does meth and dates 17-year-olds. He didn't like that. Um, right. But yeah, it was it was rather entertaining. Jack told us that he has never threatened genocide because he wanted to harm me. Totally said that was a false narrative. Um, it, it was pretty entertaining. And apparently you're my father somehow in this mix. I've never called you that. But apparently I'm super culted up in this mix, so... I, I guess yeah, it's yeah, they're they're doing the thing where they're feeding into some of my like metaversal simulations and games, and they don't know that it's like undoing them by admitting that because I started the whole daddy thing as a bit non bit. I mean, it calls into the idea of facilitating and being a fatherly energy at times of refocusing, right, on what we all seem to need to be doing at this time. Dare I say that? So, you know, me then calling myself daddy and, you know, having other people encouraged to do that was basically a mechanism to trigger folks, right? Yep. Because I understand kind of the issues folks have with their mommies and daddies and translates into to. the state of and God. And you can see the obvious, like, parental issues that are overlaid onto every aspect of our beingness. These folks need mommies and daddies. So... <laughs> Me being aware of that sub-psychology of the masses, in quotes, masses, in quotes, um, I decided to employ some of those tactics and do the bit non bit. So there's some truth to that archetypal idea of the cosmic mother, cosmic father, uh, the state of consciousness that I believe we need at this time, uh, talked about and prophesied. Um, and then there's the, you know, pimping and macking a little bit, putting on you know, call me daddy because I know it's going to trigger you, right? Rather than you be triggered by your <laughs> actual daddies, right? You're the, the pimps of this world, your politicians you keep supporting and voting for, your priests who keep fucking your children and telling you that being with women is unnatural. You know, I can go down the list of places where the average person has a daddy and it doesn't trigger them. They cozy right up to it and ask it for favors. But when I then point that out and I do a bit of kind of hypocritical irony, you know, pointing out that I might actually have a bit of a archetypal father in me that might know the next right thing to do beyond even your politicians and the Pope that just gets them all riled up. They say, we got to yep. stop this guy. How dare he on the internet do this? So I mean, it's, it's a bit Andy Kaufman, right? I'm, I'm that kind of person. I'm, I'm a bit eccentric at times. I like to 
play games at times. I use some of the truth. I play a game and then I watch folks respond to that. And, and again, there is some truth to that. So some folks kind of take to that because they go, we see what he's doing. And he does kind of have a, a fatherly energy at times in the sense of willing to lead from the front in truth and to hold all of us accountable to the same standard. You could yep. argue that's what is needed for a man at this time. Your thoughts on any of that, Nubs, on just how easy it is, like Muhammad Ali found out, to trigger the average citizen slave and to just play off of their subconscious yep. or conscious ignorance? I had to explain all that to Flow State, and then um, it was really interesting because he said that it was a homoerotic thing for you, and I looked at him, I said, you are the last person to speak about homoerotic jokes in any way shape or form and yeah, he's basically projecting I said again. The that's that projection again right yep. i don't it's not i don't get any eroticism out of men on here calling me daddy quite frankly um if you want me to like if you want to go there because you know i'm gay everyone else is gay you're not gay though i got it um <laughs> I, I gotta tell you if i'm gonna fuck a man or date a man it's probably not gonna be these guys on this panel if we're gonna do that like paulie's gay now he's out here fucking men and dating them don't like get yourself flattered you know i think you guys well, are flattering yourselves i'm not getting any homoeroticism out of anyone on these panels calling me daddy it's it's kind of a, a tongue-in-cheek thing right it's kind of a again a bit non-bit it's kind of a, a deference to the way some folks see me, just like they see me as their daddy subconsciously. They may not be aware of it, but they're yep. constantly thinking about me, talking about me, copying me, stealing my bits, taking aspects of my personality, emulating me. So what would you call that if that's not a daddy or an idol or some kind of leader for them? Right. Even it's myself. Far from homo erotic. Even myself, I caught myself using some of the words you frequently use the other day, but and it's just the message that you're speaking, you know, know yourself. Yeah, that's not your words, that's the message. You know, so those words that makes sense to copy over because that's literally the message of what we need to do or what I'm doing type deal, you know. Um, but when you're when you're pulling a Jack Talcott and not applying yourself to those things or you know any one of the miscreants it, 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 i don't know and i'm not saying i'm not a miscreant i mean again it's it's they want to project onto me what their sub psychology is that they've mm -hmm. yet to reconcile like we get it slow state you're bisexual you know, you keep projecting that onto everybody else. Just we'll just accept you for how you are, you know, just accept it for yourself um, and move on. Right. I don't need men on a panel to call me daddy so I can get some homoerotic pleasure out of it. Right? Again, he I'm doing more... it because I know these men respect me and it's going to trigger you and it's worked perfectly and it's exposed you because you guys keep coming out with all your gay fantasies and projecting them onto me. That's not me. He seems more like a trisexual to me. Like he just wants to try sex. I don't know, Nub's creature. I mean, you know, I, I spend little, if any, time yeah, thinking about that, these folks while they spend the majority of their time thinking about me. I mean, that tells you everything you need to know, as far as I'm concerned. So, yeah, I think that folks should just get a little bit more comfortable with sharing freely who and what they are instead of walling that up and then projecting it onto other people saying that's them just be fucking real that's all we need to do that's all you've ever done i've only ever seen you be real unless it is a bit and if you don't pick up on it, it's a bit you're a dumb fuck yeah i mean that's, you know that's what i've always like i've been around since like way back when since you first got onto what's his name channel you know, ever since then, I there's a reason that I haven't broke bad per se on you because I don't see anything wrong with the message in which you're speaking. Because it's not what yeah. you're saying; it's what's being said throughout the ages. Yeah, I mean, again, these are these are kind of really boring, uninteresting people who are not self-aware, and they keep claiming I'm not self-aware. No, I'm so self-aware. I know what I'm doing and how it's going to be received, and I do it anyway. 
that's kind of my <clears throat> game. It's kind of my bit. That's kind of my development and growth for me. So like, I don't have to do a lot of the shit that I do here. I choose to do that kind of knowing what I'm going to get a lot of the time. And then I you know. guys just like, let me puppeteer you and show that you're easily manipulatable and suggestible and that I know how to get you to promote me and market me indirectly. Right? Like if I just came on here and spoke, like I was in front of a classroom and held up a whiteboard, few, if anybody's going to pay attention when I start pimping and macking a little bit and jumping out the window and saying outlandish things and getting other people to call me daddy and telling everyone else on here that they got a daddy. We're shaking things up. We're mixing it up, bro. I mean, yep. you know, this is just like you either get it or you don't, you know, and for those who don't get it, I've like wasted way too much time trying to explain to a fool uh, the method to my madness or perceived madness. I get it, you know? though, dude. I get it because you've been in that foolish position. So you relate directly to it because we're all one self. And you've lived a life, I mean, I can speak for myself, I've lived a life where I've been much like Jack Talcott in many ways. And that's, I, I see it and I'm like, ah, every time I hear it, I recognize it. Why? Because I've done it. I don't do it currently because I realize that I don't want to be looking like a Jack Talcott. Yeah, there's the aspect of self that we become aware of where we want to ignore our shortcomings and then play ourselves up to be more than we are. Me calling yep. myself the God of all media and daddy is essentially doing that. There's a yep. difference between me actively choosing to express that aspect of self almost as a bit non bit to, to be aware of that aspect of self and to play with it versus them actually doing it <laughs> and folks sitting around and just not even noticing. I go, you guys are yelling at me for doing the bit non bit that is emulating the reality of Jack Talcott and others. Slow state's another one of them. You're calling me a narcissist for emulating and mirroring your narcissism, doing a bit non bit, and you don't see it. It's it's genius to me, but I'm the one doing it. So, you know, it's like you guys have a grandiose sense of self of what you're doing and what you're accomplishing. You're doing nothing. No one knows you for anything. So then I go, I'm the god of all media. Like I'm number one anarchist. I'm the thing all of you pretend to be and want to be. Is there some truth to that on some level? Probably. Do you really think that I walk around town carrying myself like that as a man? No, because I'd probably be dead already. So it's a bit non bit playing up aspects of self that I become aware of in the ego that the rest of you are living through not self aware. And then you get triggered by the reflection of how you live in me and you fail to recognize the reason you're triggered is because you're doing that. I'm That's showing you. you who and what you are that makes you hate yourself and gets you triggered, which is the lie you're living and your grandiose sense of self when on the ground you do and be and have very little. And what you have is being taken away for some of you. Right. And then when I say, <laughs> okay, let's put the bit non bits aside. Here's the rights, freedom, principle, spiritual faith. You know how we came into this before Pauly Boy started doing a regular broadcast with panels and entertainment aspects and, and different psychological operations and simulations. I go, yeah, here's what we need to do as actual men on the ground. They go, nope, not doing it. And also you're a rat. I go, what? <laughs> I go, yep. Maybe it's that's the inverse, you man. again. I think that's you. No, I know that's you. <laughs> yeah. You know. It's, Anyways, it's I gotta jump off. Go ahead. I gotta get back to work, so somebody's right, gotta pay the bills right. around here. Yeah, go get something done, man. Not everybody can be an amazing broadcaster and make a living. I understand <laughs> that. Not for everybody. See, I let you up to what I don't need to go make my own broadcast to grift off of your people. I think maybe you do. <laughs> I think you should try it. You know what? It's should worked we out have well to... for a lot of folks. Let me tell you, if you start a fight with me right now and then on the way out, go, I'm going to be at nubs.com. And then you post your YouTube link on nubs.com. You'll get at least 60, 70, 80 people over there. It's a good jump well, off point. If that's the case, then fuck you, Paul, for um, uh, faulting on our contract. You know, that, that conversation that was flippantly well, I had. That. Jesus canceled that, as you know. <laughs> the Lord canceled that contract. That wasn't me. 
It's the will, not my will. Are you, wait, <laughs> is it the Lord or is it Trump now? Does, does think, that cross over? Lord, as in like he calling me fat? I don't even think he said Lord. I think he said L the Lord, the Lord guy. Canceled the contract. So. Oh, shit. Well, in that case, fuck you, Paul. Um, I hate you. Um, Pedo, Pedo Pogo. Um, spread optics love, brothers and sisters. Optics are hot. Optics are off the fucking chart. Um, what else? Um, to hell with you. I'll never be back if you don't do it my way. Um, is that a good enough fight to start? Yeah. I mean, can we work with that? Yeah, it's just start with that. And okay. then kind of drop bits, like drop little short videos here and there. Just all I don't about do videos. My name. Well, you got to uh, I'll start. just do it to your face. Okay. Clip it. It'll you be just like it. it is now. You know, you'll be a scumbag. And and every time we get up on panel together, we can say, fuck you. It'll all be right, like. You know what? Fuck you, Nubs. Get the fuck out of here. I'm mod guiding you. I'm throwing you out. Fucking piece of trash. Get the fuck out of here. Another unthankful and grateful piece of trash who's starting fights at me so you can go start channels and try to use me and abuse me for content. Pathetic. Well, I expected this. Good thing I expected this. I expect everyone to fuck me over. That's why it always happens. It's not because I'm expecting it. It's because I'm so smart. I see it coming. So because I expect it, when it happens, I'm not surprised. Uh, and then there was one, right? She's back to me. Someone go get slow state and let him know that I have a hard time getting people on panels. Just that uh, no one wants to hang with me. No one wants to talk with me. I'm not a good host. Very abrasive. As Rose said, I'm not a good listener. That's obvious. Uh, and I yell and scream from time to time. And I curse. And I call people out. You know, might even spring up people's like interpersonal relationships, domestic situations. That's that never goes well. You want to host a panel and be received well? Don't do that. Uh, okay. Goblin cock, if you want to come on up here and talk to me, it seems like you're going through a lot lately. Um, if not, because, you know, I'm a bad host, that's fine. No, I get it. I did this to myself. No one wants to hang with me. No one wants to talk with me. I did it again. Self-sabotaged. Because I'm a very angry person. I've learned that on the metaverse, hanging with other people who are not angry, that I'm a very angry person. So I'm going to go to this. What these cops say on camera will shock you now that Nubs is gone. He's starting a channel. Go look for that. Yeah, policy enforcement time. For that in my life. That always kind of warms my heart, brightens me up a bit. One question before you go, and you can't, you, you can't answer this. It's not political enough, in my opinion. Uh, but do you know, can you tell me the five points of the First Amendment? I cannot. Nope. Oh, that hurts my heart so much. I'm sorry. So are you a training officer or, or what? Yeah, actually, her and I work in our in our training division. All right. Together. Word. Yeah. I ask every officer that I encounter this question. Most of them can't answer it. My mission in life now is to make sure that every cop knows it every time I stumble upon this. Okay. All right. Every time I stumble upon an officer. Okay. What are the five points of the First Amendment of the Constitution? I don't know. Bro, you're a training <laughs> officer, dude. We just talked to two training officers who didn't know what the first amendment of the constitution uh is that shit is troubling guys we need to truly change that my mission in life is to get that changed uh, i got one more favor to ask of you guys before you get out of here is many people that watch my videos not everyone subscribed um it doesn't take a lot guys hit that subscribe button um share my channel my videos with people you know friends and family it definitely will help them out you will get empowered knowing what your rights are and educating cops what your rights are it's an empowerment, folks. So if it's not too much to ask, you know, would you guys please hit that subscribe button? What's up, guys? San Joaquin Valley Transparency. We passed by right here. We've seen a whole bunch of cops, so we're going to find out what's going on. What's up? Forward a little bit. Stand up. Yeah. Go, guys. Over this way, hair for me. Right there. Cool. Yeah, that looks cool. On the truck. Yep. yep. Awesome. I like that. Cool. Okay. Cool. 
cool. Okay, you guys, one second. Okay, here we go on three, ready, one, two, and three. One, two, and three. Cool, let's do relaxed faces, no smiles. So no smiles. Okay, here we go. Ready, one, two, and three. Check. Go. Cool. 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 Actually, hold it, hold it. Let me do, let me do one more. Okay. Let's do two sets. Let's do like an ultra one right here. Not a pistol. Come on. Right. If you guys just go back to your spot, I'm gonna do another perspective up here. Oh, here we go. One, two. Like you enjoy. There's guys, a bunch of posers. Yeah, let's do one, two, and three. And we need to do some inside the human group. Yes, let's get that real quick. Cool. Yeah, am I am I gonna roll? Or just I think so. Yeah, you can reset the first one. Let me just grab it. Let me get these and I can just grab my face out. Oh yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 All right, the freak is like scrolling down there. The freak, what do you got going on, man? You got five messages coming up at a time every time you're typing something in there. What, what, what's that about? I don't know what is what is up with that. I don't know what why it does that in Streamyard. All right, just talk. Don't type. So, what's going on with you, man? What's up with the Trump thing? We're voting for Trump now. That's the way out. I mean, I think that's pretty obvious. Yeah, it's pretty you know, you obvious. Got the whole DOJ, you got the whole system, you got the whole media complex. Every everybody's against the guy. I mean, I think that's a sign. Is it possible they just know how like duped out folks like you are and easily manipulated, so they made it look like that, knowing that you would see that as a sign? <clears throat> I think that's a little. Uh, I think that's a little off. I'll put it that way. So somehow, some way, all of a sudden, out of the clear blue, a maverick just just edged his way into the system and is like the chosen guy for one half of the country to pick because, quote unquote, the system's against him. And you don't think it's possible that they put him up specifically to play that role to get a bunch of folks like you to support it? No, I don't think so. Right, because most things are just what they seem, right? Whatever you hear on the news, whatever you see, that's what's really happening. All right. Well, according to by that logic, then you know, then uh how can you trust anything except Donald Trump? No, that's not the logic. By that logic, how can you trust anything that you see on TV or anything they tell you? Well, how does Donald Trump become a special idol or item token? Well, I mean, ever since uh, he was even elected or whatever, they were totally throwing all the uh, everything that the DOJ has at him, everything that every crooked, backstabbing piece of shit, uh, backstabbing prostitute communist could could heave his way. A rumor, literally a rumor and a whistleblower law, and your your constitution has actually been toast because of uh, the Ukraine call. No, the Constitution is toast as you know it because you and everyone else keeps voting into and contracting into a democracy, a democratic process of electing representatives to represent you as a person in a corporate endeavor. It's the backbone of the legal system is the political system. That's why you have no more law and order. That's why you have no more law of the land. That's why you have no more rights, property, and freedom because you keep voting into a two-party system that is a corporate endeavor for your safety. How do you square the guy that you say is the answer telling everyone to get the treatments to cover their face and to lock down their businesses? He was the one in when that all happened. He was the one who took the treatments and covered his face. How do you perceive him as anything 
other than a collectivist communist part of a system will say anything to get you to believe what he's doing while doing something else. Hydrochloroquine. So there you go. There's the average citizen slave. You lay out a, a series of facts that prove obviously what they're saying makes no sense, and they just holler out one word, just like in complete retardation. Hydrochloroquine. How does Did any of that have to how does any of that factor into him covering his face, taking the treatments on the balcony, and telling the public to do the same while locking down businesses for safety, well, for America, for the people, for rights? First of all, he didn't lock down anything. He delegated all that to the state governors. And he right. also he, he, he abandoned his responsibility and obligation as the commander in chief, which is the person who has the ability to set policy and to hold the state of Cretans to their task and obligation. He didn't do that. He let them all run wild with their fantasies and beliefs statute policies and codes why did he not take a stand as everyone's favorite daddy why did he not put down the edict from above why did he not veto their decisions why 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 and the answer of course that you won't accept is he's a duplicitous treasonous traitorous scum just like every other person who's a part of the electoral system you know, maybe maybe that's true, but I mean, if you got no, it, absolutely you, is true. You have no reason to believe anything you just system. said, and I've just laid out a whole bunch of reasons why what you just said makes no sense. I could keep going. Oh, I'm trying to explain, though. I mean, you can't explain something that makes no sense. That's why it makes no sense. Well, but if you ask me, and I try to explain, You're explaining it, based on your feelings, not off the facts. Go ahead, give us some more of what your feelings are, rather than what the facts show. Uh, well, I'm not going to be framed like this, Paul. Okay. There's I'm no framing. You're giving me what you want to be true and what you feel, but you're not adhering to the facts and the record. This is a Talcottian common problem. Well, first of all, you're jumping around all over the place. We can't even address one issue, and then you're framing me, and then you won't let me answer. And then you're, I want to know what, what makes you believe that voting for a president to represent you as a corporate entity known as a person of the United States corporation is at all going to get you your rights, freedom, property back. Someone's going to get elected, right? Right. Someone's going to get elected in that system for that society. Why are you all opting to be a part of that society and therefore have an obligation to follow the statute policy code and legislation that's laid down? Why would you do that? Well, that's the system we're in. I mean, what are we? No, what we're are we not in that do? system. There's no we. I'm on record as what they would consider to be an American national, not a United States citizen. I have a citizenship. I can pilot it at will. I can also park it, which is commercial terminology for putting a boat uh, at harbor, parking, right? So we're back to maritime terminologies like driving, parking. We can get into it, right? How they just right, duped so and diluted everyone with words and terms, statute, policy, and code, and democracy. And a legal system, it's a corporate takeover. You've been duped. I'm trying to help you. I'm not trying to offend you. So when you turn 67 or whatever the age is for Social Security, are you going to be able to draw a check or not? Absolutely not. I choose not to do that, Paul. I know you choose not to do that because you live I've on fear. Much into the fear system you live in a fear-based... Yeah, I've... I've paid too much into my genocide slavery system, a sunken cost fallacy. I can't leave now before I get the benefits and privileges from the devil. Fascinating. Yeah, what, 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 what gain a man if he profit the world and lose his soul in the process and his power and his status and standing? And you call yourself a Christian. This is what I love about you folks. It's just laughable from top to bottom. Calls himself a Christian, says he worships a God, serves a God, serves the truth votes for a man to be part of a political corporate endeavor to take his rights, property, and freedom and everything that extends off of him by forsaking his status and standing. What do you mean? I'm not forsaking my status. You forsake You absolutely yours. are. You just told me that you can't stop paying into the system now. You've paid in too much, and you think that I'm at a detriment because I won't let a virtual pimp decide how much of what I create I'm going to keep and how much they're going to hold and then give back to me when I'm old and gray, when I'm an old gray hoe. 
You think I'm at a detriment and you have some benefit. No, you've sold your soul. You've given away all your status and standing in power. And you just told me on record, you don't serve the God of creation and the law of the land or God's law. You serve your corporate masters. You've paid in so long. You're not going to leave because you believe there's going to be a benefit when you're 67 if you make it. Right. So wait a second. Uh, Jesus wouldn't have revealed himself to me because I was already part of the system. So he I'm did, not interested in your anecdotal fine, hallucination. Let's talk no, about the no. facts in the record, not your anecdotal hallucination. That I just said that I wasn't. A, a, a you just testified. You just testified That's on record ridiculous. in front of God that you're more afraid of this world and the men who run it and not meeting your corporate obligations than you are serving the God of creation and the truth and the record and the facts of the matter. You just put it on record. Everything else oh. you've experienced is null and void at that point. That's what you don't get. What? Why are you framing me like this? It's not, it's a, not a framing. You have the heart of an infidel. That's what God judges is your heart. You'll be judged by your principles and your value based on the law of the land and God's law and universal law and the way that you communicate from your heart-based consciousness. And you just put on record that you have the heart of an infidel. Don't talk to me about your anecdotal hallucinations of Jesus Christ. Well, wait a second. Why do I need to judge you? you just judged me right now. I'm not judging you. I'm using discernment to tell you you well, will be judged, just like infidel, every maybe. other slave who's paid into this and won't leave. Just like every what other slave heart of an who votes for, for body politic representatives. Just like every other slave who pays the VIG without asking a question for their own slavery and genocide and to do World War III now. Are you kidding me? No, this is this is a, a joke of a script that you're reading off of. We have a lot okay. to discuss today. Okay, so when they do the World War III that I've been calling out for probably a decade now, at least two years on record, when they destroy your economy, which is built to fail, when they put you into greater depression and all the rest of it, will you sit there then and tell me about how Donnie was the only answer to vote? Because it's not going to well, matter like then. We've got nothing to eat, nowhere to live. Like it's already happened. Do you think it can't happen to you? Is that what it is? A false sense of security? It happened to your grandparents, but is it going to happen to you? Don't you think you would need to be voted in for that to be actually the, uh, the case? I'm just telling you that there's a constant loop and a wheel of history going on here. And it seems to me, I can't prove it, that it's for one purpose, to get everybody on record who and what they are and what they serve. And you are a, an example of the cross-section of society who thinks they're serving the truth in God, but all their paperwork and all their records and all of what their heart put forth is that of an infidel in the world and of it. Not so, willing to stand on rights and freedoms, not willing to secure their property, not willing to walk away from the beast system they keep paying into and voting for to genocide and enslave them. That is what is manifesting the judgment at this time. From the beginning of time, that's what's manifested it. So I'm just kind of confused where you're not seeing that script and that play that I didn't lay down. You didn't lay down. We're just subject to it. Right. And that's where your hypocrisy lies. And uh, I, I'll tell you, but you'll probably, you know, if you let me, you're sitting here telling me that you fighting for rights and freedoms and standing on. I didn't say fighting. This. Listen, listen for a second. I didn't uh, say fighting. Why are you injecting fighting into the dynamic? I didn't say I was fighting for anything. You're fighting. You're what fighting you, to keep your. You're, then what are you you're doing? Fighting to keep your lie and comfortable illusion. You're willing to fight me indirectly, passively, aggressively, or directly. I'm sure to keep your lie. I don't have to fight. I don't have to do anything. I'm, I already got that position. I don't have to I fight know. For it, You're right. right. You don't have to fight to keep your slavery. You're comfortable in it and you've earned that position. But so don't care about fighting. It's not fighting. By standing for what's, what's true and what's right. Verb? And what's, surrendering what's the, the rest of the faith. I'm far from fighting. That's you. Uh, well, you just said, we just agreed that I don't have to do anything like that to to rest in my position of the whatever you call corporate slavery. Right, uh, but system. once I shine the light and the truth, you'll start getting like you are resistant and frustrated. You're not getting combative yet, but we'll get there at some point if I push this line hard enough, I'm sure, or you'll run. Well, like most listen, folks. if you're going to have an unreasonable discussion that's not going to produce anything, yeah, I will just drop off because I, I figured I that. Expected more, I expected more than this. Right. I expected more Plus than I this. Want to too. Talk about Jack Talcott. Plus, I want to talk about Jack Talcott with you. I don't want to just go over this. 
Right. Why talk about you and you being accountable to your slavery that you're creating for the rest of us when we could talk about Jack Talcott doing the exact same thing in his own way? Well, I mean, it doesn't have to be about Jack Talcott. It could be about you in relation to Jack Talcott, if you don't mind. Well, absolutely. We can refocus and redirect. I think I made my point. I wanted to do the simulation with you proving why we're going to have to get worse and this land's going to have to go into an economic depression because the average person thinks voting is going to be their solution, that the legal system is the same thing as law, and that, hey, we've paid in so long on our own slavery and genocide, we definitely can't drop out now. So we got everything we needed on that front. Let's refocus. You're right. Go ahead and give me whatever you'd like. Ask me whatever questions you want. Put forth whatever narrative and I'll respond. Do you think that you need Jack Talcott's leadership or do you want it at all? Absolutely not. How could Jack Talcott lead me where he has no knowledge and hasn't gone? He's not told me or shown me anything in the realm of knowledge that I haven't seen or heard before, quite the opposite. And he has not shown me any results that would indicate that by me taking his leadership and, and kind of mediocre, mundane ideas, nonsensical ideas, he's not shown me any reason to believe that it would prosper me in any way, that I would prosper in any way or that it would be fruitful in any way. So why would I want or believe that I need leadership from a being who cannot lead themselves or generate any positive results for themselves in any venue? It's kind of silly. Do you, do you presume, do you think he's presuming that you uh, need his leadership? Of course, he's presuming that everyone in his life needs his leadership, and that's why everyone in his life is driven away from him, because he's putting forth leadership ideas that make no sense, that no one believes him for, because he has no results to point to, and by pushing that line of having to lead and change everyone in his life, they wind up breaking away from him and not wanting nothing to do with him. It's probably the same thing he did to his woman, his child. It's the same thing he does to his coworkers. He forces help and advice on people who don't ask for it, don't want it, and upon reflection and looking at it, think he's completely insane and non-credible. Do you think you could ever see him as some sort of mentor? Again, you know, a wise man can learn from anyone or anything. That's not seeing someone as a mentor. That's learning from someone's mental behavior. So, I mean, could I, could I and have I learned some things or been reminded, more importantly, of some things about myself, things that I can practice more readily to move through life and not be affected by it? Absolutely. I do that with anybody that I interact with. They show me something about myself uh, that I can look at or practice a different way with to get a better result for myself. But as far as a direct mentor, him sitting around telling me what I should do and be when he can't accurately assess himself and he has no positive witnesses of anyone in his personal life, of any good works he's done, I think that would be, again, a bit silly. Usually you go to someone as a mentor who has or is everything that you want or has created that. You don't go to someone as a mentor who has nothing and nobody and is constantly in ill repute with everyone they deal with personally and has no physical resources or value that they've created or stored. It just seems very counterintuitive for what one would want to achieve in themselves or in life. Do you think at this point uh, there, there could be any real like professional relation or, you know, production with you two? There could be if he could get out of his own thoughts and feelings and desires, which leads to his suffering over and over again. He wants to work with me. He feels I have something he needs. I may agree with him. The problem is he's too in his pride and ego to put his feelings and desires and wants <clears throat> out of the way and just accept us both for who and what we are and present as we are and surrender the rest. He can't get it done. So, yeah. I mean, there's potential there. I, I have, quote unquote, broadcasted with him in the past. We've done some good bits, some interesting conversation, right? But once it gets back around to that elephant in the room, no, not me or Cynthia or Scott to be the elephant in the room that Jack knows consciously and subconsciously that I view him on the ground as non-credible. He can't let that go. He can't get away from it. He desperately wants my respect and credibility. And when he doesn't feel like he has it with me or others, it eats at him. 
So he can't perform. He can't broadcast. He can't just have a conversation because he has to cycle back to trying to achieve and get that credibility and respect he feels he's lacking. Why do you think, besides age, what might be a reason that he would think he, he should be like the leader of or have the authority say over you or, or, or you know, over you? Because he exhibits, and again, I'm not saying that if you analyze me clinically that most folks wouldn't probably determine to some degree that I have some of the same qualities, but I think there's a slippery slope there in the like religiosity aspect, the, the faith aspect, the on-the-ground uh, thoughts, emotions, uh, actions, responses, uh, results aspect. If you can show that, then you may be on to some idea that may be unorthodox, but may have some merit. Uh, he, from what I see, largely in part suffers from sort of a, a messiah complex. He's got a, a grandiose, narcissistic messiah complex where he believes he has answers for everybody else and doesn't have to be accountable for not having answers for himself or, or not doing and being and having what it is that he desires. So I think that there's a pretty severe mental and emotional spiritual illness going on, Mr. Talcott. I'm not saying that to demean him or attack him. I'm saying that's my analysis, feelings aside, right? This is yeah, a pattern that's all that to do with everyone. That's all, you know, that's all uh, we're doing here. You know, not, nothing personal or anything. Uh, I, uh, I've i been on board with the Jack Talcott train, you know, up until about yesterday. And, uh, and so I'm just, you know, I'm just trying to see where you're at and stuff. But if you if you were, let's just say you were five years, 10 years older than him, do you think he would just fall right in line with your with your leadership? Absolutely not. Age is no barometer of intelligence or maturation generally. And he has no reverence or adherence to any kind of ethic or, um, you know, merit, really. So I've seen it over and over again with Jack. Jack's not going to respect someone based on their age, experience, and wisdom. Jack has no uh, uh, static rubric for what he uses to evaluate someone and respect them, uh, you know, for their merit or in some kind of ethic. So it's, it's purely based on his feeling in the moment. If he's not feeling received well, if he's not feeling respected, if he's not feeling validated, then he is going to be in resistance with you and he's going to have to get you to submit and accept something he's putting forth in order to continue on with him. So it's a giant power game over and over again with him, and it's based off of his feelings and desires, not off of any kind of static rubric, as I said, for any kind of value judgment. So Jack, you th you're saying that Jack Talcott is the type that could never be a vice president. He must always be president. Well, yeah, I mean, he, he doesn't know how to play second fiddle. You know, he doesn't know how to how to kind of go along to get along for sake of the broadcast and the audience or the bigger picture. He's got to have what he wants when he wants it. If not, well, then there's got to be consequences. He's a tyrant, oh, right? It's a classic. It's a classic narcissistic tyrant. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. You know, a lot of people say that, but, you know, he's so nice and he he he, he expresses his vision, you know, that. Maybe I'm um, a little bit, you know, under the hypnosis. I don't know. You know I'm, I'm trying to figure that out a little bit. But uh, same yeah, question. The majority of average folks are so, quote unquote, good, you could argue, that they're easily duped and manipulated. As if somebody who's predatory is going to come to you and be like I am, right? Direct, kind of uh, forceful at times, just real, willing to offend. He does that subconsciously when it oozes out of him, right? He won't go directly at the facts and the situation. It's all passive, aggressive, predatory, manipulative behavior. That personality is a front to get folks like you to feel endeared to him, to drop your guard. So you accept his gaslighting and manipulation and help him to be what he can't on his own. That's all that is. He's not an actually loving, caring, nice, kind person. If he was, everyone in his life wouldn't have left him. He's an angry, bitter, resentful, manipulative, deceptive person with a narcissistic, grandiose messiah complex and tyrannical streak. And again, I could then turn around and say, I probably have some percentage of all of those things in me. 
I try to observe myself impartially and objectively or reflect on myself and my behaviors to make sure those aspects of self are in check, unless I'm purposely trying to use them to do a bit. So um, if, if there was a, say, leader, quote unquote, in the panel versus sphere, whatever, that, that could you ever play second fiddle or be the VP, do you think, at this point in your life? Absolutely. I've said from the beginning that while I present myself in a kingly way at times, while I claim to be king of unslavia, which is, of course, conceptual and metaphysical, uh, the reality of it is, is I'm not looking to put a target on my back any more than I am just being my authentic self and doing what's true and what's right and upholding God's law. That's enough, right? I don't need to be validated or verified in some leader position. Right. It's really just about the truth leading. So I will be outspoken and loud and abrasive when it comes to leading with the truth. But if somebody else wants to lead with that truth, I've shown here many times I'm capable of playing second fiddle or taking a back seat on my own broadcast. Right. If you have something to say, you have a voice, you have some inspiration, you have some value. Absolutely. I'm waiting for folks to come out who have that and can be that regularly so I can take a break and back off and play second fiddle it would be it, see this is the this is the laughability of it i'm so not egotistical and narcissistic that i would love for folks to come in and be a replication of me in a sense of what we do not not me in the sense of you have to be like me in every aspect in what we do right so when you see so player come here when you see rainwater come here when you see other folks who are in the game who got good conversation who got some energy and inspiration and value and do it every day. <laughs> I'm overjoyed by that. I get to take a fucking breath. I get to work from a different perspective without the, all the burden and obligation feeling like it's on me. That's a, that's a joyous occasion. That's not something like Jack Talcott that I get furrowed eyebrows at and start looking around the room and putting my finger up and saying, Hey, can we get back to me? I only do that when necessary. Yeah, um, I really appreciate you uh, answering the questions uh, very much. So, I had another one, but I forgot. <laughs> yeah, I like the question and answer thing, man. It gives the audience and the being who I may be sort of, you know, being persecutorial toward or, pro you know, prosecutorial. It gives them a, 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 a step back from that to view me from a different way and ask questions that might give them. <laughs> some clarity on who and what I am and what I'm doing. So yeah, man, I, you know, I'm always into that. I think that that's a, uh, uh, should happen more often, right? So this way there's, there's less chaos and confusion. There's less judgment and condemnation of myself. There's just accountability. Why is he doing this and saying this? What is his intention and motivation? What are the results and how does it work for all of us? Yeah. Going back to leadership, it's and part of this is just my delusional fantasy of you know how I think <laughs> how I think things should be you know there's the way it is and the way the way it ought to be and the way that it is. Uh, what did you think of my analysis yesterday where I said that his leadership is more of a, you know giving direction, having a vision, working towards that goal, and yours is more like you know running an operation, getting making sure that shit gets done every day, that people are clocking in on time. I think that that's your, again, I think that's your attempt to try to see the highest good in everyone and everything. While that can work at times and is a good tool to have in the box, it can undo you because you start seeing things that aren't there. Like you said, what you want to be true. So again, I don't need somebody working with me who can see a bigger picture, grander vision. I'm that person. I'm also the person, as you say, who day to day on the ground can put the pieces together. I don't see him as someone who has a grand vision. I see him as someone who who visions so grand that they don't have to take responsibility and accountability every day on the ground because their grand vision takes the place of that in their own mind and delusion. So he doesn't have a big grand vision. There is no cause and effect there. There is no systems dynamics there. There are no moving parts there. When you ask him to clarify his grand vision, he tells you he doesn't know. He gets angry with you. He tells you just listen. And when the more you listen, the more confused you get. Because it's this generalized idea of ending wars and legal secrets that he has no actual plan on the ground of how to get it done. 
right? I mean, ironically, his whole life stands the testimony of why we have wars and legal secrets, quite frankly. So yeah, you're looking for good where there is some, but that's not it, right? It's like there is no bigger, grander vision that then has to be fulfilled by someone on the ground. He's he's engaged in delusion and illusion and, and self-sabotage where he creates a vision of himself and what's going to happen so big it can never be achieved by virtue of that fact, allowing him to just ramble on and whine and cry and talk about how he's being prosecuted because the vision can never be completed, right? It's a, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy and self-sabotaging uh, mental and emotional illness he's experiencing. It's far from some grand plan that he's envisioned that needs someone like me to get it done on the ground. Yeah, I think you're right. What do you think? He, maybe he should just uh, insult Margo and, and go uh, go off to the dance at the tango with her. And, and that Think would about it. Happy. Think about it. For <laughs> if, he's not in, if he's not talking about me and others persecuting him and prosecuting him, if he's not talking about how misunderstood he is, if he's not talking about this grandiose platitude of ending wars and legal secrets, what else does his life consist of? What is his daily habituation what results does he have what value has he created what community is he a part of it's called an empty vapid man and life so he has to come on the internet uh, try to uh, uh, play to the audience with some grand vision of the world and how it should be so folks like you will only see the good in what he's saying and completely ignore the rest of where he drops the ball day after day in himself and in his own life and has self-sabotaged himself in his own life and has been essentially cast out of everything he's been a part of in his life. This is what the mental and emotional and spiritual illness does. Give you a vision of yourself in life to allow you to cope with an actual life that you'd rather not be living. Uh, yeah, and I mean, the fact that, like, I mean, I think that I have solutions to a lot of, like, you know, the... Yes, that's going on politically or you know in the country or whatnot but you know i don't think he's ever put anything forth that i could like you know that's tangible that's doable or anything like that but also he's I'm not a good... now look at the look at the narcissism right there on display he's just he's one for one a a a um synopsis on narcissism i know this shit's overused nowadays people are running around calling everyone that you could argue everyone on some level has streaks of this or aspects of this this man is one for one on every level right so my narratives are not accurate because i ask no questions and i fight for answers i imagine that's gaslighting 101 i don't need to ask questions to understand what i've experienced firsthand that, that presumes that you are always the final say to create clarification on an experience the rest of us are having. You don't get that kind of control and power. I know you want it. Most power-hungry narcissists do. They want to be able to influence everyone else's opinion of them and just conveniently fit it into line with what they feel about themselves. That is completely delusional. So I don't need to ask questions. I've had firsthand experience, and I've come to a conclusion. And no, it's not answers I've imagined. It's the same answers everyone in your life has come to by experiencing firsthand with you. See how that works? Jack Talcott is extremely deluded and delusional, and he's extremely ill. And no, the childlike false persona of it's all good, man. I love everyone, man. It's just another duping delusion. <laughs> it's not who and what he really is. It's not how he really feels. It's a put on persona and affect to dupe other folks who are easily manipulated, suggestible, or traumatized. Because a lot of folks grow up with parents like Jack Talcott, so they wind up identifying with them. Well, I would say that, you know, it's a little unfair because some of that is probably assumption, but I say, you know, I like Jack and I think that he's on the Freak, right path. Why is it that you, you folks have this appeal to emotion? What are the odds that every single person having a negative report about someone who they're close to in their life is not a fucked up person? Is it everyone else but them? No, it's when not. When have you but found that's... that to be true in life? You meet someone, they're alone all day, every day. They make an enemy out of everyone. They're constantly in drama and projecting onto people. They're poor and broke. 
Is it everyone else's fault in their life that they are the way they are? Or when they tell you it is, do you start looking at them like they're sad and pathetic and mentally ill? Well, all I could say is when someone is in that position and they finally ask that question to themselves, that's when Jesus actually does show up. Right. I'm not arguing that. I'm just saying that if we're going to be honest with ourselves and each other and cut the new age bullshit of seeing only the toxically positive in everyone and ignoring the rest, we're being fair and true to ourselves and life. We know through experience when you meet someone and everything's constantly going wrong in their life, it's because they are fucked up. It's not because everyone else in their life victimized them and didn't help them. So I don't know why you guys continue to enable this garbage instead of just calling it as it is. Well, like I said, I think that he's on his way to finding the Lord. I think he's just stumbling to get there. I'm not arguing that. that Everybody's a part of that. I'm not going to discard him like trash either. But at one point in my life, I had to ask myself, everyone's no good but me, right? And the answer was no. It couldn't be that way. That would be logically impossible or uh, probability would be impossible. Everybody's on that path. The way to help them on that path is by being radically authentic and accountable for them. The way to help them on that path is not to enable their grandiose delusions and feelings about themselves and how they want life to be. As you just said, we all know who've been through this process of turning from our wicked ways on some level to a source of faith. We had to confront the cold, harsh realities of ourself and our life and what we're creating. The process does not begin or continue until that happens. That is the humbleness and humility before the creation and creational force. I don't see any other way. Yeah, that's 100% true. I mean, that's, you know, that's what I witnessed with myself. So, you know. Right. So if Mr. Talcott or others would like to come up and speak about the dynamic and the art of living and their own personal uh, perceptions and results, we can do that. They're open to confronting the cold, harsh reality that we all live and have to be response able and account able for and to. If not, we're going to get the same thing we oftentimes get in ourselves and in life. Chaos, fear, confusion, Lack of co-creation, lack of understanding, lack of reconciliation, resolution. That's a choice. It starts from within and ends from within. The truth doesn't change in that process either. And there is no my truth and your truth. There's the truth. We can get in line with that. We're going to do and be and have better. If we can't, notice I'm making an inclusive statement. We're going to suffer and die. (laughs) We're probably going to have pain and die anyway, it seems. We're all mortal beings in this physical incarnation. Suffering is a choice. And it's oftentimes dependent upon your wants versus your needs, your desires that lead to self-chosen suffering. So if you're going to desire, you're going to want, let's desire and want within the purview of the law of creation, not in the purview of your ego and imagination as Mr. Talcott likes to speak about so often. That'll get you in trouble. All right. Uh, I think I'm done with that. If, if, you know, if you are, we can go back to politics if you want real quick. Sure, go ahead. All right. So being, being what I believe, it actually is Christian for me to want to vote for Donald Trump because the man has literally, literally everything it takes to fulfill Daniel 10 through 12 in the Old Testament. Everything. First of all, that's like one of the most hard, that's like the hardest part of the Bible to actually interpret for uh, end times prophecy. But if you look at it, literally Donald Trump has everything it takes to fulfill that. Okay. So that's another reason for me just to vote for him. Not Forget about the system, forget about Joe Biden, forget about the DOJ and it's how it's completely corrupted. He could actually fulfill Daniel 10 through 12, get the temple built, and, uh, you know, somehow defile the temple. And Can we get Freeman or someone up here to respond to this? I'm interested to hear someone else respond to this and argue. 
I mean, I can, as you know, argue all day, every day, and argue just means to make the facts clear and presently known. It's Latin. So, yeah, if someone else wants to come up here and argue with Mr. DeFreak, and I can play kind of a third-party <clears throat> neutral role, uh, I'd like to hear someone else's perspective on this just at the, you know, behest of not creating a echo chamber here, right? I, I would rather not create an echo chamber here where Paul Unslaved, a la Jack Talcott, is the only voice and the only opinion and the only value that matters in the room. I mean, it is, but it isn't. Right, if that Even makes if sense. It's nubs. <laughs> yeah, but I get that a lot of folks come here want that right? and see that. That's fine, but at times we can kind of, you know, we can we can play the second fiddle, right? We can play a backseat uh, and allow sure. other folks to give their perspective, and then faithfully, I was going to say hopefully, but we kind of take that out of the vocabulary. Faithfully, through these communications and these arguments, these perspectives. We can come to one understanding and one truth, not because I say it or believe it, but because it is that, right? So that kind of is the purpose of these uh, fellowship gatherings or these debates or these arguments. It's not to prove something to oneself or others necessarily, right? If you're going to prove anything, prove the truth. I could argue nothing can be proven conclusively here. You know, you oh, can just um, argue toward what it seems to be. Go ahead. Yeah, uh, actually, I call it the ham sandwich theory, that what I just laid out there uh, with Donald Trump. But uh, if we just look at it from a, a complete DOJ, Department of Justice perspective, and you being someone who, you know, uh, I don't, you know, I, I'm going to say fights, but I don't know if that's the word you would use for, you know, rights, freedoms, whatever, you know, against the authoritarian, you know, killer cops and stuff. And you see what's going on with the prosecution of Donald Trump. I mean, I don't see how you could not be on board with the underdog there. Hold on a second, Freak. I'm going to invite this person up. It's his fifth comment already. This is probably one of the haters from the original channel, just like that other guy down there. Come on up, sir. If I am those things, and there should be no reason why you would be here, because if you just made the clinical diagnosis that I'm, again, this is going around the, the tubes now. Everybody's this. I'm an egotistical narcissist. Well, then why would you waste your time arguing with someone who could not be argued with or treated? You're already proven you don't believe what you really said, right? Or at least maybe you do believe I am that, but you believe I'm redeemable, in which case you should find your way up here uh, and you can have a conversation with me and you can do the analysis with me and you can ask me questions so that I can answer them and reveal my dysfunction and my syndrome why would you not want to be a part of that process exposing me getting me on record showing my syndrome so that more folks can leave me in what i do and move on to greener pastures so to speak so please come on up and let's have the interaction since you have so much knowledge and wisdom about me or the audience and others here who you're obviously giving it for you're not saying this to me you're saying it for the benefit of them so let's conclude and complete that process if not I'm going to ask you to leave. And if you don't leave, I'm going to have you removed, right? Because it really doesn't benefit me to have you down in my chat on your fifth comment now about me and my character and persona, but not willing to talk to me or give the folks any clarification or content, right? It's pretty much a waste of space at that point. So not much else I can offer you beyond that. You were saying, sir? Uh, yeah, just from a... Department of Justice standpoint and, you know, the law enforcement that we have, the corrupt police departments, the 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 abuse of the citizenry by the police and everything that, you know, that you kind of are or have, you know, stood for, fought for, uh, uh, you know, uh, relay out here. And you see the prosecution of Donald Trump that's going on. How can you not be for the underdog in this situation? Okay, hold that last question because now he's responding to me because I charge you 140 an hour and you can't afford that. Okay, so more bizarre power games where you pretend your time is so valuable that you can't talk to me unless I pay you, but you're here wasting your time talking at me in the audience. So what you just said made no sense and has no validity. It's just another, it's just another egotistical way of getting out of the obligation of having a conversation with me and substantiating your claims that was very cute and clever but there's no validity or credibility to it you're just a coward you are the egotistical narcissist you projected onto me because you just showed that by avoiding accountability and accuracy 
uh, and and conversation and content, which you're desperate to have here, because if you weren't, you wouldn't be in the chat typing. So you want what you yeah. want when you want it the way you want it. You're not willing to actually be authentic and accountable. So thank you once again for proving that every time someone calls me an egotistical narcissist, they're doing all the tactics of that thing they're labeling me of while I'm not. Right. So that's great stuff. I, I appreciate that. And and I can't afford it. No, I could afford it. But here's the clue. I absolutely could afford it if I saw that value in you. I don't. You're a loser, failure, tard following me around and hating on me in my chat. Not only would I not give you $140 in an hour, you should be paying me because I'm your biggest obsession, right? You're, you're, you're another obsessed fan. So you're a little confused about which way the power and value is flowing in this equation. You're a faceless nobody who nobody's checking on and looking for. I'm the guy you're watching, waiting, hating, and stalking on, right? So you should be paying me. So because you're so all got no money, uh, we're not going to do that, right? I'm not going to go into the cabinet and get the three stacks laying in there that I'm going to be putting towards silver over the next week, right? I'm not going to go do that. So you're, you're not going to get me to do that and put myself on record and create a whole bunch of liabilities and conversations for me. That's good stuff, though. More egotistical, narcissistic appeal. Paul has no money, as if that, as if that's like a an indicator of my inherent value, right? Hey, or hey, like Paul. my results as a beingness, and it's also a, a, a false claim. So, uh, I'm gonna just go ahead and and remove you because you're desperate and pathetic, uh, and you're lying in bad faith and dishonorable, right? And you're embarrassing yourself. So I'm gonna go ahead and do you a favor and just let you go. Go ahead, Mike Freeman. I'm sure that you want to have a back and forth with the freak because you're like tearing the hair. That, uh, out of your head 140 is probably pretty cheap for a pentagram psychologist. Right. And I'm sure a very intelligent, credible person that person was. I, I'd bet anything on it. All right. Hey, what's up, guys? So, the freak, I got a question for you, man. Do you only look at the things that tell you that Trump is going to save you? Or do you look at everything, including the ways that he's proven that that's not what he's all about? I thought uh, this was going to be something related to Daniel 10 through 12 or something, but. No, like when you look at that kind of stuff, you got to realize they've created this. They've created this image of him to make him look like he's the savior to come in and save everybody. Because in my opinion, what they want is for him to basically be the key to further enslaving everybody, getting everybody on the digital ID. Uh, he, you know, he did the Operation Warp Speed, you know, getting more people back, whatever the, the word is, you know what I mean? No, and, uh, dude, you know what? He advocated for everything. It wasn't just warp speed. He advocated for ivermectin. He advocated for hydrochloroquine. He advocated for bleach. You guys all thought he wanted you to shoot up bleach. He advocated for antibody, uh, uh, whatever it is, where you trans, you know, the blood transfusion thing. So when people just say all, all uh, of that stuff is a moot uh, point because uh, all speed, that stuff's a moot point because yes. listen, man. It's total BS. He advocated for everything, therapeutics, whatever would have, whatever was going to work. He didn't mandate a thing, by the way. I think I might have lost audio right now. I can't hear anything. Give me a second. What just happened? I had a phone call. Sorry, it dropped me out, I guess. Come on, Freeman. I'm back. Can you hear me? <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I told you I'm, expe I'm expecting people. So I lost my train of thought here. And Basically, the way, like they've, 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 they've propped him up. They've propped him up and they've tried yeah. to make him look. They've propped him up and they've tried to make him look like he's here to fulfill some prophecy. Whose game plan is that? Who else does that? Do you not well, see that? that Mike that's Freeman, because I'm going to get a motorcycle soon, new, 
and I'm not going to fucking register it or title it, and I'm going to ride all around, and I'm going to secure and prove this concept once and for all uh, about titling and legal paperwork because I can't get the Honda, right? I can't wait. I want to do something in between them, so I'm going to do it. I'm going to I'm going to do it on the ground. I'm going to do what Donnie won't do because he's a fucking coward, just like all the rest of them. Continue to uphold rights and to travel freely and speak freely and generate value off of my beingness um, and show folks a different way, potentially, that they can live. I thought that was what he was supposed to do. I thought he was supposed to never surrender like his shirt said. No, he turned himself in for bullshit warrants at a local courthouse and then got talked down to like a slave. Donald Trump so, just wants the 80s back. That's really all he wants. But I, I need new content. Right? I need something anymore. for people to hate on me more. So I'm gonna go get something new, and I'm gonna like blast it all around the road, and I'm gonna make videos of my fat ass on some scooter motorcycle, just traveling freely. And then you know, at some point over the next three to five years, uh, like especially after the next year with this having uh, and slave coin like 10 X's, if we don't go into economic collapse before then, uh, then I'm gonna really get to pimp on these folks. Why they get me fired up, idea? right? Why do you think that's a good idea, Paul? Because it just is. Like, we have a limited time in this body. You got to, like, pimp and mac once in a while. You got to trigger the slaves because, really, they're rebuking a symbol of who and what they are or mm -hmm. would like to be to, to cope with their horrible reality. So the more that I put on, the more that I shine, the more that I come out of my shell, the more that I'm doing well, the more other people are inspired and motivated and then other people hate. And it's a great process to be part I of. Think, I think that's some low Just level point out. Joe Cool BS. You you should be focusing on the DOJ at this point, the higher level of the, oh, of the okay. system. Sorry, that yeah. Sorry about being corrupted. all that I can be. Let me focus on the DOJ, right? Forget about being oh. a living embodiment of something godlike in a sense, not God. Not overriding God, but God-like in the sense of divine and extension of that creational force uh, embodying that Holy Spirit. No, forget about that uh, well, and, and hey. kind of shining that bright and, 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 and being the true light of the world like the Christed being we started societies off of. No, let's focus on the DOJ. Got it. All right, I'm taking notes. Well, listen, if you want to stay at the Joe Cool level of the ground soldier, fine. But I think you're uh, beyond that now. But that's just my opinion. Yeah, I know. My father told me the same thing. Paulie boy, just do a broadcast, pay some folks to come on and promote you, get your numbers up, and live happily ever after. That's not an authentic walk. I can, that's not how a being, a man, can live with himself at the end of the day. That's a lack of integrity. That's a lack of conscience. That is corruption. The corruption starts the freak. The freak. Oh, you don't get to become. You don't get to become in quotes. Paulie boy, unslave. Do a broadcast, make a living, and then not have to live the truth anymore. That's Donnie, your daddy. That's not me. The freak. What's a good litmus test for whether or not Trump is what you think he's going to be? Right? Wouldn't you say that it would be? What is it that he wants you to do? All he wants you to do is vote for him. That's all he wants. He wants you to help him with his criminal thing that he's got going on. He wants you to vote for him and he wants you to sit down and just wait for him to save you. And that's basically what I've seen, you know, in terms of how he's positioned himself. It's not speculation. It's, speculation. it's not speculation. It's proven fact. How man. do you know what, how do you know what he wants? He can't even recognize the same behavior in Jack Talcott. Why could he recognize it in Donald Trump? Yet it's one for one dynamic. Cause we're in a holographic universe. Everything you just said that's true about Donnie is true about Jack, and he can't see it. You're fighting for rights, or, or you're you're upholding rights and freedoms, but yet the DOJ is is prosecuting this guy. It's total hypocrisy, actually. Again, the you're DOJ prosecuting him because he entered himself into their corporate jurisdiction and body politics, so they're going to use their policy and code to govern him if they're able to do it. Well, as long as we're speculating, I could very well easily What's just say... What's the point of even being the president if you're commander-in-chief if you can't use affidavit to, yeah. to veto and overwrite their statute, policy, and code? He's not even doing in the system what he could do based on what the system allows. He's a fucking coward and a clown. Well, do you think do if you voted me in, I should run for president? I'd never win because even if I got the votes, they wouldn't let it happen. But I should run so I could go in there and show you what you could do with the system if you weren't a punk coward. He is. 
because he's well, too afraid he's that the leftists and everyone else are going to say he's Adolf Hitler and he's tyrannical. Bullshit. Maybe, maybe he's maybe he's you, and he's going to do and pull a switcheroo when he does get yeah, in. I know. And he's do I know. Trust you. the plan. Of storm coming. Trust this the plan. Of storm coming. Right, bro. What, my, what first is, what term, is, what? my first what? term, if I was in there, as soon as I heard the rumblings of Wuhan flu, I arrest everyone on conspiracy because I know where it's going. You're not going to use the WHO and the NIH to take control over our domestic authority in this land and try to impose your worldwide fascism. So I just start writing up all the affidavits and using the DOJ to prosecute. And any judge or administrator that doesn't want to prosecute based on the law, they get indicted as well. They're part of a conspiracy. When's it going to happen? We've had the grounds for the longest time. We have folks sex trafficking while, uh, while sitting in official position. Abusing official Donald power, Trump official position. We have to the from sea to shining sea internationally. Are you kidding? We have everything we need at this point to not only summon an American court, top down, bottom up, but an international court of affairs and have all these people hung for treason and traitorous behavior under the law right. and under U.S. code. Where is it, fuck slave? This guy's doing business with it. He's not only trying to not stop it, he's deep in bed with it and doing business with it and selling T-shirts and sneakers to clowns like you while doing the opposite of what he swore to uphold. Are you kidding? He's doing kidding? the opposite of liberty. Never give he's any doing the opposite of liberty. Body liberty like is Joe right American freedom. American citizens to Guantanamo to torture them to find out about bullshit terrorism that the people on the inside are funding. When's That's it going to happen for the rest of them? You guys keep talking about it, all you national frauds saying Donnie's taking people to Guantanamo. No, he's not. Because if he was, it'd be on every front page news. It'd be, well, be front-page it news everywhere. It's another lie. That's what should yeah. happen. That's what's supposed to happen. That's what could happen. That's what Homeland Security was for. That's what the law of the land is for, to pre protect us against terrorists and frauds and corrupt scum, foreign and domestic. He has all the grounds he needs, and he has enough of a team and enough military men and folks who, if he got them together and got the affidavits together, he could have them all dragged into a court and all court-martialed. Give me a break. You think He's Donald Trump scared. is going to give authority over any scared. foreign body? He's too scared that the leftists and the rest of them, if he is real, he's too scared. Israel, if he is real, <laughs> we'll leave it there. Um, he's too scared to be characterized as another Hitler. He's not real, though, I have to suspect. He's just another useful idiot dupe or outright fraud. He's been working with leftists and Democrats his whole life. He's given a speech before. If he ever was going to run for president, the folks are so dumb, he would just pretend to be Republican and he'd know what to say and they'd buy it all. And that's exactly what happened. He's, I'm hey, sorry to break the news to you. you he's Trump a good actor and a good puppet, just like anybody. Ronald Reagan. There's no difference between Trump and Ronald Reagan. TV actor, characterized as a maverick, voted in as a Republican. All the background and history shows something to the contrary of what they've duped you about again. So he wants the 80s back. Again, you're duped and confused on many levels, and you just keep appealing to emotion and false authority, the cornerstone of cognitive dissonance. There's no reason to believe anyone in and of this world and this system can or will make change in and of the world and the system. It hasn't been no shown. Quite the opposite has been shown. When folks do There's get no in there and try to make a change, they blow their fucking head off on that. the back of a Cadillac like John Kennedy. Where were you when that happened? Do you I remember that? Uh, well, right. I saw they just him. can't get it done to Peter, Big Man no. Donnie yet, right? He's so bulletproof. They've, they've tried hits on him like Aaron Gauchi. He's surrounded by ninjas, but they can't get to him. No, he's playing ball and sucking dick in the background. That's how you stay alive. If you get in there and you tell people the truth and you try to do something different, they whack you at high noon and tell a conspiracy theory story about what happened and then tell everyone else they're a conspiracy theorist if they don't believe it anyone can be killed at any time right
And the fact that he hasn't been yet shows who and what he's working for, let alone all the other things that he's done that we know about on record and not done. Continued the wars in the Middle East and didn't extract the troops. Gave everybody stimulus to implode the economy. Had the the stores locked down for being non-essential. Encourage folks to wear face coverings and take treatments. Get a clue and wake up. You're in it pure was Joe fashion. Biden and gave over the authority life. to the HWHO. Donald oh Trump my never God. The WHO of doesn't the WHO. have any domestic authority over this land and its people. What are you talking about? What are you? He to, gave away our domestic authority to a foreign body of any oh sort. Oh my God. You folks love your slavery. This is why the Christ did being took a whip out one day and started whooping everybody because he ooh, couldn't ooh. believe he was surrounded by such low level consciousness and awareness that was never going to wake up and do and be something different. But, but let alone trade their fucking souls and their personal choice to the no. demons in the church. Again, you're wrong, Paul. He did this that. This is to the why I can feel that it that why that the money. eventually just lost it and went off on everybody because it's beyond absurdity. Yeah, everybody. It was a specific group of people. No, it's on everybody because there's, there's, th- th- when you get to that point, you realize your friends and family are dumb trader slaves. Your community are dumb trader slaves. Uh, the people who you walk with, the 12 disciples, half of them are dumb trader slaves. So what's the point ultimately? Where are we going with this? Other than me living the rest of my life, having to watch a bunch of dumb, cowardly trader slaves destroy themselves, their land, and by proxy me. Where does it go? Well, we have to fight the corruption, first of all. That's what that's the first thing. Fight the corruption. The corruption exists within you. It's clear and evident. That's why it's existing outside of you, because the majority of folks are like you. You're the corrupt corrupt one. You're corrupt. You don't follow your father in heaven. You don't follow the law and the word of truth. You follow Donnie Trump and the Barabbases of our time. You are the corruption. I think Donald Trump's a good leader for the country. Yeah. Go ahead, Peter. Have a conversation. I'm going to hit the reefer. That's why. That's why. The Christ had been needed reefer, I bet, because if not, he needed the reefer. Go ahead. Earlier, like me, I need the reefer because if not, I'm going to take the whip out on freak and you, and then I'm going to wind up hollering like Aaron Gouchy and growling, and then I'm going to wind up whipping myself. I'm just going to start <laughs> self flagellating here as some kind of metaphysical, uh, transmutational event. Go ahead, Penal Power, please. See if you can talk to him, ask questions, get answers, provide me some clarity. Maybe there's something I'm missing. Anyone? Penal's putting his hand on. Christo. Christos, can you help me, sir? All right. Christos. Yeah, mic check. Yeah, you're good. Go ahead. Maybe right. you can yeah. figure out what's going on here. I'm being judgmental, egotistical, and narcissistic, as yep. always. Please help me. Yep. What do you got, Chris Cross Dresser uh, Christos? Dude, could you blow your nose before anything? I mean, bro, you sound like the archetypal geek or nerd with a bunch of shit stuffed up his nose. It's in it's honestly incredible. But no, for real, you fucking exposed yourself and destroyed all your credibility just as much as Goblin this past week. Uh arguing with Morgan, the recording of Morgan, bro. You're still going to fucking ride nope. on this daddy Trump train, dog. It's crazy, man. You're in your 30s, bro. You know, you're born again Christian rap. Where do we start here? You know, we could start with the religion tart aspect, the Trump tart aspect. I don't know what Pineal is doing here. I'm going to you know, tag you in once you get your mic right, bro. Unless you just want to show pictures. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's just amazing. It's amazing, brothers and sisters, how people can trust the planning so hard and not see the forest for the trees. It's amazing. Incredible. Um, wow. Chris I, Cross Dresser just gave us a monologue, zombie-esque, uh, 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 not even great insults. Doesn't bro, even know so my Jewish. age. <laughs> What a fucking idiot. Power. This is why I tell you and others here, you're the underdog like I am in creation. You're the one they've counted out. You've counted yourself out. 
you're the one who's procrastinated and been lazy because you're self-doubting and you're full of fear and insecurity. You have a vision and a discernment and you are an attractive being. They're going to say, I'm gay now, whatever. Uh, maybe I'm gay for you. Okay. So the bottom line is you have a light in you. You have an attractive magnetic beingness. You have an ability to discern and you have a certain ability to speak. So that means you need to like start equalizing with other folks who potentially are beneath you, or you need to start surpassing them and outcompeting them in certain venues. So right, I like more this can do nothing yeah, else. Chris this you actually look pretty pretty. You look pretty today. You know, it doesn't right, look like I'm, you're totally I'm confused wasted. why a Christian man who's constantly with Jesus dick in his mouth is defaulting right to insulting Christos's manner of dress or his physicality it's you went right to the ad hominem to further discredit yourself you're not going to argue the ideas are you because you know they make no sense well so no because when everyone's putting him. forth lies and, and deceptions and lies about the political uh, uh stage right now why should i do anything but troll them again you're the troll that's what you're not getting you guys are ignorant and arrogant that. and that's a you're ignorant and arrogant, and that's a bad combo. That's why you resonate with Jack Talcott, because he is that, and so are you. You're missing the mark on many levels. You refuse to take in the information that's available, and you keep spitting out your own brand of information to cope with the reality that you can't exist inside of. You created your own to exist uh, in. No, because everything that you've been putting forth that these guys will put forth is going to be false. And so it's right. not even Everything really a discussion Everything we're going to put point. forth is false. So, yeah, what you're gonna going to put forth is true. Into this is the cognitive dissonance. So that you you've might decided, consider Jesus Christ. You've decided as the arbiter, you've decided that everything you put forth is true and everything they put forth is false. That's why yep. you can't take in any new information or any information on record because you're arrogant. I you haven't heard anything have yet that's been truthful answers, about Donald Trump. You think you have answers, and your answers make no sense, and they're predictable, and they're manipulated answers. Well, you haven't even asked me for any answers. You just I uh, have. Oh my God! It's it, it, don't folks don't or tell solutions. me that I I say missed solutions. the mark by playing Jack Talcott here over and over and observing him because you're all pretty much all of you are Talcotted out on some level, and I'll throw myself into the mix. Everybody's got Listen, a towel hot streak in them that causes them to be delusional and deluded and not want to take new information in because they're too fucking ignorant and arrogant in their foolishness. The ham sandwich theory is mine and mine alone. So do you really think that you're I'm going to go right at this. Here's where I do the quiet part out loud that they're all going to give me shit for anyway. So own it. Do you really think you're more intelligent than me? I don't know that. You don't know that. You, If you had a guess, if you had a guess like on record, on paper and in conversation, you think I'm maybe a bit more intelligent and discerning than you and communicative? Um, you probably have more uh, charisma and are able to articulate Okay, so better. right away, another another downing, another passive aggressive well, demeaning and downing. You're probably more downing. charismatic. You're a good what? bullshitter, but you're not more intelligent and, and discerning I, and communicative. You said bullshitter. Who said bullshitter? It's the same thing you guys always do. Paul, you're just a fast talker. You're from New York. You got a gift to gab. You're a good bullshitter. But intelligence, no. I never no, said you, you weren't intelligent. Know. I never said that. If you you're had definitely... a guess, if you had to guess what everyone else is thinking right now in the room, do you think they think I'm a bit more intelligent, discerning, and communicative than you? Yes, they would. Yes, they would. Why do you think they would come to that determination? Because they're drinking the Kool Aid too, probably. Right. I don't there know. it is. It doesn't so matter to me. The correct answer was because I am that, but you did what they always do, and you presume that the whole audience, who I didn't even poll yet, in your arrogance, is all culted up. Great stuff. I couldn't. I Listen, I can't write it, it better for you guys. Intelligence is a wide range of things. It's not just the your, right uh, answer. Was as you know, if you get out of your ego and pride, it's because I am that. That's why they would perceive that. You well, chose how much to go, do you know? You chose to go with the arrogant, egotistical, cognitive dissonance of every member of the audience is culted up. That's why they okay. would perceive me well, as hey, more Paul, intelligent than you and discerning. What's your favorite verse in the Quran? What's your favorite verse? in the Quran. Strike down the infidel wherever you find him. All right, what verse is that? That's my favorite. That's my favorite uh, Quran verse. That's also 
in one of the Christian Bible verses that they think the Christ did being was such a loving, caring, peaceful man all the time. And he said at certain times, bring the infidel before me so we can strike him down. So, okay, that's not true. But based on that, uh, it is. I'm because more intelligent what I've than you. In life is a lot I'm more intelligent than you. It's a ridiculous This is why notion. I'm potentially more peaceful and loving. I'm really going to trigger now. Watch this. I'm more peaceful and loving and faithful than the Christ did being in Scripture because I wouldn't have infidels physically brought before me to be struck down because while I'm aware that's what they need, I'm not going to be that's the one to undertake that. Either. Vengeance is mine, say the Lord. But I know that most of you folks will never learn until you're beaten and broken and humiliated and your spirit's kind of reoriented, right? So I'm not going to be the one to do that. The court system is, though, and so is Shatan and his agents. So good luck with them. Jesus never said that, by the way. I don't think you have what it takes. As someone who's been there over and over again and may have to go back, don't I don't think you have what it takes. You don't even give me a chance to explain and myself. And that's why it's going to be great for you. Listen, I've, I'm already justified before God. I've seen him. I've been there. So I know. I know. My position and somehow is secure. You vote for Donald Trump. That's the level of your ignorance and arrogance. You had a vision of God, the creator force, and you still choose to vote for Donnie Trump and pay slave tax. That's how I know you're, gonna, you're ultimately you're ignoring for, an you're arrogant. You're going to vote for Joe Biden. You're going to tell people not I'm not going to vote for anyone do? because I don't need anyone to represent me in a demosocracy, mm -hmm. which is the So you're going to tell all these people to forego their right as an oh American my to just not God. vote? Yeah, how, I'm going to tell everyone is that? to forego their fake benefits that? and privileges and rights they gave you to opt into a contract where your rights are taken. Yes, I'm going to tell people to forego their pimp game that they're duped and deluded on right out of their who's, power. Who's, yeah. Who, What's an outsider to think that you're not a CIA op at this point? Though? There we go. I'm a CIA op. Right. Uh, this is the inversion therapy. This is why you resonate with Talcott. Everything we would you're believe tell you people to are, forego their right. Post upholding does rights. Well. You're going to tell them to forego fed. their right. Paulie's a fed. Paulie's a rat. Slow state does this too. Yet you guys are the ones spouting the orthodox political narrative and fascist rhetoric. You folks are the ones paying the tax to have me locked up. You folks are the ones supporting the slave masters Nobody and the Democrats. Right. Nobody Is it possible you up. guys are all fed plants and CIA and here to just get everybody focused on I'm a not system? You that that I said the opposite that? Is there. it possible? How are you fight or how are you upholding rights and freedoms and then telling these people I not just to, told to exercise you. their right to vote? The antithesis of rights and freedoms is democracy, communism, and collectivism. That's what democracy that's what is. We have. Uh, right. That's what you have, because that's all you know and won't listen to the second jurisdiction and alternate uh process and procedure of this land and of the world. You you can't understand a private man and, and private process. An it's original a law. You're, You're not even in Jesus Christ. Christ. Oh my God. It's literally like talking to a broken child. How are you going to claim sovereignty in God and not even know Jesus Christ, Paul? How are you going to claim to know Jesus Christ and then vote for a master in and of the world? You can't serve two masters. Doesn't your scripture say that? Yeah, but it's, yeah, I'm not supposed to. Uh, yeah, but you're only interested in cherry picking the scripture for what you like and leaving the rest when you have to be accountable. I know. Uh, no, that's nubs. No, that's you. No, that's you nubs. just did it. What you you just about? serve two masters because not only do you believe Jesus has to be served to access God, you believe Donald Trump has to be accessed and voted for to secure God's law and God given rights. You're tarted and duped out. No. Donald Trump is the government. You fucking religious losers. Fucking religious losers. Fuck you. Fuck, fuck you. Your fuck your bullshit the Pope. religion. Fuck, fuck Trump. the Pope. Fuck and knock the fucking Pope, Pope out unconscious in the cage fight, which never, never answered me. my challenge. You get knocked the fuck out, boy. You know why? You're because you're this is who and what you are. Scumbag, demented, defective fucking mental apes. That's what you guys are in the freedom movement. You're morons. Everywhere, you're morons. You got owned. You got punked out like a bitch. And you don't want to acknowledge it. You don't want to admit it. That's what Satanism is. Hello. That's what Satan is. And you got owned. You got played. You got duped. You got punked out like a bitch. And you don't want to admit it.
That's no, what Satan triggered is. You're triggered like a motherfucker. No, I'm not and triggered. I'm pulling the trigger on you and folks like you. And telling people I'm to disengage pulling the trigger on you and folks like you. I'm far from triggered. How are you going to do that, Paul? It doesn't make I any just sense. Did it. I just did it. I do it all the time. I've done it for hundreds of days straight. I bring up somebody. You give me the reason why we're in slavery. I show you and tell you the truth. You rebuke it and ignore it for your anti-Christo ways while claiming the flag of Jesus. It's beyond ignorance, arrogance, hypocrisy, treasonous, traitorous, infidel behavior. And I love it. I we love it. Because it's going to make it all the, the more time. easy you for me to go through the pain of what's coming, knowing I'm surrounded by slaves like God. this. And it's going to make it that much more easy their rights for me to submit to the will of God and creation and go through the pain in hell, knowing I'm surrounded by slaves like this. It makes it that much easier for me. I love it. I need it. I need to be reminded of why things are the way they are and why it's going to get worse. And continue. Thank you. You're welcome. Christ is not king. Donnie Trump is king. That's what we've learned here today. Because he's going to save us from what we keep creating and funding by voting and feeding into it. By voting yeah. and feeding in, he's going to save us from voting and feeding into it. Stellar logic. I don't think you're understanding what I'm saying when he is the one that could. I don't could think you're understanding how Daniel any aspect well. of creation I'm in the world he's works. He's the Antichrist. Do you understand that? Now, Donnie Trump's the Antichrist. When I tell you he has everything it takes to fulfill Daniel 10 through 12, I'm saying that, yes, he's the Antichrist. Okay, so you're so you're you're doubling down on your dogma and cognitive dissonance because the prophecy's there in the book. It has to unfold and happen. So we may as well vote in one of the two tards to make sure that the world goes into World War Three and we can destroy all common law nations and republicanism once and for all and be a thousand years under the reign of the kingdom of Shatan. You're going to further that endeavor because it has to happen anyway. I totally now have a different perspective. I totally respect your faith now. I wasn't aware of that. That that's actually ignorance. And so, like, if you want to say intelligence, we can compare that with that and this and that. But that's a wide range of things. I'm just saying that I want to get the H E L L out of here, and that's the fastest way I see it happening. Right. You want to die and suicide, and you're going to do it by Donnie Trump. Suicide by Donnie. Let's, let's move someone in. Let's <laughs> expedite the process. Let's bring out the hellfire and the genocide and slavery. Let's really double and triple down on it because it has to happen anyway. So we may as well go, go on record as the ones who bring it in. Great Build fucking stuff. Simple. This is why I support religion because it's run by the devil and it's got all of you duped and deceived and pimped out 10 different ways to Sunday. And it's got you all believing you're powerless and have no ability to choose. So just give it up to Jesus and God vote in Donnie and, and kiss your ass goodbye. The absence of faith, the non believer. What do you mean? That's, that's the absolute uh, uh, okay. Definition of faith. All right. You, you're right. You do have faith. Temple. You have faith in build the dark temple, one to run your life and everyone else's without your own. Build the temple. I totally agree. Now we're 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 coming to an agreement, right? We're we're totally have no faith uh, in earthly man and woman for whom there is no salvation. Therefore, we're going to rebuke our faith in the truth and God's law. We're going to put ourselves on records as serving a man's law and man's codes, and we're going to bring in the abomination and the desolation. I totally support that faith system. And you can lull cow me from here till the cows come home. I'm the lull cow from here till the cows come home. I don't care. I know how I look and sound out here. I, uh, I purposely let it fly because I'm so embarrassed by everyone around me. I can't even be embarrassed on here. I'm so embarrassed by my countrymen and my friends and family and the people on this land and the last four years that I'm so free to just fly openly on this broadcast and be the clown I need to be to expose the irony, the hypocrisy, the intransigence, the lack of inspiration, the disempowerment the lack of logic, morals, and ethics. I'm so for it. It feels great. Go ahead, Snafu. My Snafu creature is here now. 
I feel so free in these moments like this while you seem yeah, so free, enslaved you're free to me. The fucking pedophile support piece of shit with Monty last night. You were over there <laughs> wow. fucking with Monty How last original. night. And here's what's funny. Hey, the wow, anti-Christian the scripture, you dumb fuck, is not going to be love. You think everyone you know loves Monty, you dumb fuck? The Antichrist doesn't even match do. up according to scripture to what you just said. But we know you support you're pedophiles you're because you're, you're, you're actually insane. Why don't you, hey, why don't you be the person to walk the pedophile hey, uh, piece of shit? How is that suspended animation? Do you support monograph, you pedophile piece of shit? The what do you mean I support the monograph? The freak children, change the laws. What do you mean I support the old men uh, fantasize about rape and torture. And also wether lamb masks. The freak wow. thinks the Antichrist is wow, Trump. Look, the Antichrist is going to be surprised. But what does Trump the love? You are a dumb fuck, the freak. The pedophile supporting fuck. No, you're a, you're a freak. insane. Support you're actually pedophile. insane. <laughs> and stupid, by the way. Every you you're fucking insane. religious loser. You should be the playing the race card at this point. Yum, 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 you should be yum, calling yum, Al Sharpton and yum, crying about uh, yum, yum, racism yum, 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 because that's how yum, stupid yum, you are. Yum, 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 I'm the freak and I support pedophile. How's that curse working out, by the way? Yay! Let's talk about your suspended animation. How about that? Trump, the Antichrist, even though that goes opposite against scripture. Yay! I'm a program fuck. See the zebra doesn't even know what's scripture. Up. Fuck you! You don't, don't, don't know what I'm talking about. You don't know what I'm talking about. Why don't you stick your finger up? You don't know what I'm talking about. You don't know what you're talking about. Boys, dude. You might be a little boy to freak. Stick your finger up his dude, butthole and see what you happens. You are the one with the pedo pan fucking song. The Sam I Am. Monograph? I saw you talking and Why don't you call up Mayor Pete and go hang out on a, a, a plane somewhere talking about how you're going to fix the highway potholes or whatever. Because all you're good it's for is nothing. Fruit cakes? You fucking fruitcake fucking pedophile. Bring fuck Tommy back on. Fuck you, the freak. I don't want to make it. Y'all fix their heart. He's a punk, man. Why are you such a punk? All right. Well, you heard it here first. And he's probably actually insane. Yeah, is it possible that's also you? Nope. Okay. That's what someone who was insane would say. Just so you know. Well, listen. I'm not the one looping on the same accusation every day. You kind of are. Am you're I? looping on Donnie Trump and Jesus. You got a Donnie Trump Jesus Listen, loop that you're yeah. running. Yeah, that's the subject of the insane. day. I, I mean, it can be argued. It's pretty Why insane. Why didn't you're, he come up here and talk about the, the subject. same thing for the next two thousand years, hoping it's going to get you different results? Why couldn't he come up here and talk about the subject immediately? It was the a pedo thing immediately because he's but thinking Jesus about pedo. Trump's going to say pedo. another two thousand years. We're going to get there. I'm going to die soon. Pay attention to me. That's Goblin Cock. Is that was that you down there, Goblin Cock? Did you change your name down there? No, you got a new I name going? I got a fan, boy. Appreciate it. And that is me. Yeah, appreciate it. Yeah, that's got to be you because that's you. That. Yeah. I know that's you. That's yeah. obviously it right there. And it says he's, Goblin, and, he's and then there's a than, uh, picture of you. And he's more sane than Snafu. Hey, Goblin, you should be ashamed of yourself, too, you fucking pedophile. Oh, sport. man, here we go. I'm goblin, that's a freak. We're seeing side by side with Mom and Dad. Cupcake with a cupcake. Right. You you think you're proud you sitting proved, side by you side? You prove me right if you play the song. You prove me right if you don't play the song. Both you and the Pedro Pan. Sam I am. Green eggs and ham. What a spam. Think about children, you sick fucks. What a joke. You should be ashamed of yourself, you pedophile supporting fuck. Fuck you, goblin. Yeah, fuck you too. Yeah, you like little kids chained on walls, right? No, you're that's okay you. With monograph presenting no, that's rape you. And and that's no, you no, no, you're on a panel supporting that shit with the freak. Both you guys over there the cupcaking with gun files last night. You think it's you? You're, you the, you're the only one thinking about this shit. Why are you, you thinking guys, about this I all the time? God, the shit hits the fan soon because old Sam I am might go on a little hunting trip. Uh oh. Please, I'm not digging the hole though. Oh, I don't think no, 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 no. See, that's the funny thing. These guys think I'm joking, Paul. 
They all think I'm fucking. You know I'm risking my life by saying the shit I say every day. You motherfuckers, you're an idiot. Come I don't think you're, junk. you're an idiot. I don't think you're sitting junk. next to an old man putting his fucking messaging that he likes to rape children and torture children and flow states. I don't know anything about that, dude. I don't even no, know you what you're talking you're about. I haven't you're seen him. Why are you thinking about a a child rape 24 7, dude? Fuck off, you fucking fucktards. Fucking sick you know, ass fuck. I can, no, you laugh dude. at children being chained to walls, goblin. You I don't even know. No, I'm laughing at you because you're being presented as great. Yeah. I'm laughing at you because you're, 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 you're projecting your sickness on everybody and everything fuck because that's all you think about. That's all you think you about. Why don't you call Al Sharpton and start crying racism or something? You can't breathe. You can't breathe. What happens to pedophile supporting fucks like you guys? Moron. You're looping, Snap. I'm not the one sitting next to a pedophile cupcake, you morons. You're All right, we're looping. On. We're looping a little bit. Let's let's rain in the loop. Paul, how, how is, is it that you haven't actually just kicked? A lot of uh, looping does go on here. Kind of, uh, pedophile uh, cupcake and fucks. Some Enjoy sort of extortion. Your time you some can. sort of reason. Right, let's rain it in. Let's rain it in. You satanic. Let's rain it in. That's why I don't go to these places. I don't know why you keep going to these places to watch him and see him and get triggered to yell about it. For him to be coming up with the same. This is why I don't go anywhere anymore and don't deal with anybody. It's not good for everybody's health. You like you just answered your own question with your own question. We were yeah. talking about Trump and we were talking about uh, Talcott. He could have brought up into. either of Same with those three subjects Same with and Talcott he comes up with the pedo you guys immediately. On children's it's ridiculous. You guys are spitting on fucking the people that he claims that he's, oh, prostitution. Shut the aware. hell up. Just shut up, man. Idiot, we, no, he's an Paul, can, man. Paul can reiterate what you say every day by just being you every day, Snafu. He, I bet you he's got the same script, probably. He probably wrote your script. There's no reason that you should be this stupid and this insane. Yeah, no, this is not a script. If I wrote the script, I'd write in another act to the script. Thank you. I believe you. I believe you. <laughs> you hear me? Yeah, I wish I could write the script. I'd add some more onto it. Hey, the freak likes little children fucked by please old men. Please don't Goblin start like little your, children please fucked by old men. Please don't start altering the mic yet. volume. Please don't start putting your mic volume up. If I put it down, your mic is very loud. You know that. And I could put it down all the way almost, and still you're heard almost above everyone. We can hear stupid no matter how loud it is, Snafu, and that's you. It's also you, to be fair. That's kind of uh, always the... No. That's kind of always the problem I face here is every which way I turn is more stupid. And then there's just some less than others. Hey, I, I may be stupid. I'm not a pedophile supporter like you two. I don't Sorry, know guys. The freaking tonight. goblin. Like, okay. I have a few pedophilia just by rebuking you. You just came with monographs last night in Flow State. You guys are woke, okay, sitting next man. to a man for getting it's fantasy so of sad rape and torture. The only way that you can get attention is by accusing everyone of what you are. And fucking it's deal with what comes to support and pedophile. It's disgusting. Enjoy it's actually it's insane. Goblin. You're pedophile insane. Support. Okay, can we hey, take Sam this conversation? I'm like clean eggs and ham. I don't okay, know how you can actually. All right, why do you keep engaging with them? If you don't like it and you don't want it to continue, why, why do you keep engaging with it? You go, he's insane. I, we don't want to hear him, but you keep yelling things back at him. What is that? I'm going to deal with a clown like this. That's the only. Okay. You were saying, Goblin, someone else. We're going to have to move on here because, once again, it's like you come in and you just drop a bomb of stupidity. It's just constant with you folks. You come in here and you drop the mother of all stupid bombs. And then yes, it just it explodes and everyone's ears start ringing. And then, like, the dust has to clear. And then I go, well, there's a big hole here now that I'm in. What do we do? Ask Goblin what he was going to say. Yeah, now only came up to say one thing, man. Because obviously I don't, I'm not able to speak with you when other individuals are around because they want to hate their narratives and all that. Cool, that's cool, whatever. All right, but I wanted to point out that uh, I've had a revelation regarding the Talcadian one. Finally, you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, because I, I run late on certain things sometimes. I wanted to share that with you. All right, we'll go ahead and share it then. Oh my God! Whoa! 
There was some backblast there from another uh, stupid bomb that was dropped. Mother of all stupid bombs. Sorry, Goblin. Should, there might be some explosions and bombs going off around us. You are sorry. I, I, love you. Is I still love you. Right. Right. Um. Uh, the the fact of the matter is, I actually had um. I had, um. I don't know. I don't even know the words right now to say this, but Chat, I, I talk about revelation. It. Yeah, Chat, I did have a Jack Talcott revelation. All right. Now, everyone knows that I believe in God. And not only do I believe in God, I believe in Jesus Christ. You can run the whole, oh, you religious fucks, this, that, make fun of it, whatever. I'm entitled you to my fucking belief. religious losers. Fuck you. Fuck your bullshit religion. Fuck the Pope. I'll knock the fucking Pope out unconscious in the cage fight, which he never answered my challenge. You get knocked the fuck out, boy. All right, continue. All right. All right. Now, now, that's my belief. That's my faith. And the Talkatian claims to be of the faith of Jesus Christ. And when you say that you don't care if he existed or didn't exist while you're speaking on Jesus Christ, that makes you a hypocrite. Which means that your word is no good. That's what I just wanted to say. Now you're not speaking about me. No, I'm speaking about me. No, but I'm saying I've never said I don't care if he exists or not exists from my knowledge. No, you haven't that I know of. I'm saying the Talkatian one. Because that that's heartbreaking, man. We've had conversations about how I be getting in my feelings when I see things that I'm not satisfied with, but that just messed me up, man. Right. I, I failed to see the connection other than that we are all oneself on the highest level and we have the same journey to quote unquote Christ, if you want to call it that, the same journey to faith and the recognition of the Holy Spirit within us and the connection to the higher order and the law. I, I don't agree see with all of that except for the first part. We are all oneself on the lowest level, is what I believe. But no, on the lowest level, there's a space between us and we have a bodily incarnation and I can't control you, nor would I. And I'm not responsible and accountable for your thoughts, emotions, actions and inactions. You make a good point, Goblin. I agree with that. Right. Just, so on the highest level or oneself as a conscious and awareness, as it comes down to the dimensions in the third dimension as a physical incarnation, we are that still. But we're not because I'm not responsible and accountable for your thoughts, emotions, actions, and inactions. The same thing goes for Jack Talcott. So there is no disparaging. There is no demeaning. There is no mischaracterization. If you can't show me and then tell me who and what you are and the results that we should adhere to, then what you're saying and doing is probably a figment of your imagination or yet to be determined. I'm open to yet to be determined. I don't have all the answers. But it's you just, can't claim you do have all the answers and not show and tell that and then expect us all to be open to uh, yet to be determined, but take what you're saying as absolute truth. We're all going to find out long game, right? So if you really, whoever you are, believe in what you're saying and know what you're saying to be true, well, then you should have faith in that and surrender the rest. What I and others think or feel or say should not fucking matter unless you're fearful and insecure and you don't really believe what it is you're saying and living. And I suspect that's what's happening. Jack Talcott knows he's lied to himself and everyone else. He knows he's bullshitting himself. He knows he has no results and he knows he's procrastinating. If he had true faith and really believed and knew what he was saying to be true, he wouldn't be losing his hair, dry heaving and vomiting the closer he gets to being thrown the fuck out of that house. Who are we kidding? His biology is responding exactly the way we know that his uh, theology is being presented and lived. One comes before oh, oh. the other. If you were sound metaphysically, your physical beingness wouldn't be suffering. You've been oh. burdened by me as a lot. Because you're the guy I come to complain and cry to. So I just Jack Talcott, you're being a coward again. If you're down there, you can come up and have a conversation or you can fucking leave. You don't have to be here. You don't have to focus on me. Very and you don't have to feel anything about what i'm saying try practicing stoicism and self-control and directing your thoughts emotions actions and inactions stop always feeling something about what you see and then reacting to it it's embarrassing i'm starting to really think that 
Hey, Goblin, why don't you tell Daddy blind. what you said about him last night about how his travels? And you're not gonna, you're right. not gonna prove me no, no, wrong about him. anything. He said all is fake when he talks I don't, about. I traveling. never said he was fake. You said no, words, no, 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 bitch boy. No, no, no. Did you tell you're Daddy lying. about that? You're lying. We we witnessed you say uh, everything Paul says about the traveling and all you're that lying. is fake. You're lying. No, you, you guys are shitting on Paul last night. All right, night. Mute the, the footage, footage, right so footage right and then now. Listen. I'm getting reminded about what you said, and I remember you said it, because they were shitting on Paul, and then you were like, well, all the traveling talk and all that shit he does, says, it's you're fake. You're trying to paint narratives You right want to tell him There's what you meant about that. There, but you're still trying to lead direct narrative. You're literally capable of memorizing again, one thing, Snafu. Again, Snafu, you can only remember one thing. what I've told you all in the past is, that I actually feel and believe and have seen at times what appears to be evidence of the idea of karma. I don't have to say, watch, feel, or do anything about what other folks want to go around saying and doing about me. If you speak negatively about me and you cast lies and aspersions onto me that are not in line with truth, you're going to draw more cursed behavior and lifestyle to you and those around you. So keep doing it. You're going to learn your own way. I don't need to lie on here. It's precisely the opposite of why I come here and why I do what I do. So no, no, if other folks want to call me a liar and persecute me and prosecute me in lies and not truth, then blessed are the prosecuted and the persecuted for theirs is the kingdom of heaven for all the other demons who want to mm -hmm. continue to oppose and deceive and deny and lie on me. They got hell to pay. Paul, it's not I'll for me to, to be in judgment or even feel anything about. I surrendered it. What I said. How she can you said, claim any sort truth. of connection to the Holy Spirit and deny Paul Jesus Christ? Is full of shit and his traveling is full said, of shit. You right right said he's a liar. If you want the truth, so just that. To us, but you got to shut the fuck up to listen about traveling. We all got to shut the fuck up to listen if you want to know what I said. Go ahead. We heard it. Go ahead. As God said, go ahead. Tell us why you said Paul's full of shit about traveling. How go about ahead. your bitch go ass ahead, cams up, and then we'll go from there. Dude, we all heard you shit on How him. How about your bitch ass cams up, and then we'll go from you there. You said he's traveling. You're is lying all right now. It's You're fake. lying right now. No, look at the chat. Even Jeeps and others heard you, but you fucked off. I spoke you're about it, but I didn't say we what you're what saying you the way that you're hearing what you said. Right now. You're denying and lying you're now. Bullshit. You're, you're bullshitting. Why I'm did not you lying. say you traveling was I fake? I spoke on it, and if you want to know what the fuck I said, your bitch ass got to shut the fuck we up. We know what you said, bitch ass drunk. Otherwise, it don't matter. You're, you're still a fucking whooper, bro. And you're a pedophile. I think it's a bad idea. What the fuck are you doing, bitch boy? Again, again, focusing I'm not on the top of the that DOJ at your level. When he showed us his travelings, he's retired. Right? I'm like, you're drunk ass. What do you travel to? Yeah, you're to drunk the ass. Store and store and you're the ground level you're work for the, for the ground, and like, you know, dumb fool and, and, and Jesus someone is good at it, like Joe Cool. You're fucking scum of scum. You're fucking ignorant, You're ignorant, bro. And you forget that. I don't even know how this guy can actually speak language at this point. You won't let nobody die. You said everything you know. Paul hey, guess what? <laughs> my witness is here. Are fake. Yes. Because you were cupcaking with flow. You know what the fuck I said. So you actually, you were literally. I wonder if he's going to say something that I'm going to have to hit a hit a credit for. I wonder if he's going to accuse me of something. I wonder if he's going to accuse me of something. Well, you're a pedophile supporter. You we don't need to be accused of much. You're a pedophile supporter. How's that, Stefu? I rebuke pedophilia every time I rebuke you. You can rebuke all you want. Go tickle monographs balls some more, you pedophile supporting fuck. Shut the hell up, man. You're a one-trick pony, you're even less. I'm a pedophile you're supporter. less than a one-trick pony. You even look like a horse. Goblin. Look at you. Why you're a you horse. A one-trick pony. Why did you one say trick pony with zebra stripes? And why were you, you know? creating a flow state in them? You should go to the county fair or something and just be a, a friggin' horse that you are. You know a donkey. Fafu, you're not revealing anything here. I know I'm surrounded by faithless uh, liars and deceivers and haters and duplicitous two-faced folks who pretend to be about what I'm about and cool with me and then go other places and talk shit and reveal themselves. I'm totally cool with that simulation and dynamic. Why are you upset for me? No, I'm not upset for you. I'm upset at the lies. You both take lies. Why are you upset at the lies? Liars are supposed to lie. What else are they supposed to do? 
It makes like no sense. It's like back saying back you're back. upset at a thief for stealing. That's what they're supposed to do. Why are you upset at an at a at life on life's terms dynamic that we exist in every day, day after day? When are you going to update the program? Why would I be upset at these pedophile scumbag fucks? I Sorry. can't trust this guy to check the fucking mail. You're a pedophile piece of shit. Go fuck off. I wouldn't even ask you to go check the mail. That's how... Uh, I don't you are. do. Are you a wizard? I use the postal mail services. You're probably like Jack Talcott. It just got released that Jack Talcott was fucking banned from the postal services on a terrorist watch list. Basically, you had to wash your hands and not turn off the sink. Hey, hey, the freak, go tickle uh, Flow State and Monograph's ball some more. They like little children. You probably go go good with that. Fucking to freak, but hey, goblin, you just bold faced lied. Paul knows you're fucking shitting on him. You but the thing is, everyone heard you say that it travels for faith. He knows that you're doing it. Your not good so I would like you to explain to us what you I meant by that. It says you shit on him there, you might as well shit on him here and tell us what you meant that he's fake. Go ahead, goblin. Go ahead. Can we get that music back, please? You retarded, bro. I'm not retarded. You shit on him and well, said everything he does is fake. And I we watched it and that. heard it. I'd shit on you, but you'd like it. The freak, you shit on fucking children by touching them and hanging out with people touching them. You're a fucking pedophile supporting fuck. I'll knock you straight the fuck out, bitch. Dude, I wish I see you. Whoa. I'd fucking put you down oh. in a hole of dirt on top of it, you fuck. Such Jesus love. Yeah, maybe he'll fucking raise up from the dead. Such Jesus love. You know what happened in the Garden of Gethsemane when supposedly he came to be arrested? One of his disciples chopped off a Roman's ear. He said, don't do that. I wonder if that's the kind of behavior he's talking about. Why do you think I'm Jesus? You said you were God. Because he's why delusional. Do you, why do you think no. God? Notice when he started getting cornered, he brought your name up, Nubs. I, I saw that too. I know. When he that's why I came up. Your name well, up. Yeah, because he actually probably knows Daniel 10 through 12. That's the only reason I brought him up. The problem no, is here. Is, that jealous in, in that he book of knows yours, what this actually says. In that book of yours that you don't read or don't understand, nor do you pay attention to. It no, talks I, about, post, it, would you shut up, sir? Every chat that I'm in. No, you know, because if it's going to be a clown show, well, then I'm going to be a part of it. I'm not going to let you guys frame me in some manner just to try and get I'm over. not framing you. you. I'm basing it off of your actions, sir. You were monograph balls last night, you pedophile. And you're lying and you're wrong. So you I'm and gonna, Goblin uh, framed yourself. You support pedophiles. You got to do you know, the thing. Paul called me a long time ago. You got to tell on yourself. Nuts called it out yesterday. You tell on yourselves, man. You guys are fucking scumbags and you tell on yourself. You're like Goblin here trying to absolutely lie when we heard him last night saying Paul is and all his travels to flush the toilet at least. We heard what you guys say. You're an idiot and you're probably insane. I'm not the, the one bringing the Bible files, says though. be yeah. ready in season and out of season when you come against me and you don't know your own fucking Bible. I think that's what the scripture's talking about. Just me. Dude, hey, did you, you hear what he said? He said Trump is the right? Antichrist, dude. You, uh, you According to scripture, the Antichrist is going to be loved by everyone. You think Trump is beloved by everyone, you dumb fuck? See, he doesn't even know what the doctrine in the scripture is. The Bible also says, cast you, all your cares upon me and lean not on your own uh, understanding. Even his speculations are projection on a... Uh, Excuse me, on other people. It's stupid and ridiculous. Go to the you circus and be the fucking you one trick pony that you are. Go to the fun house and accuse people of bringing their kids to the fun house that are pedophilias, you idiot. Hey, freak, freak, is your, your name from Jesus Christ. Freak, that song? Is that where it's from? Yeah, yeah. I have okay, you realize that Illumai means Illuminati. That's why Illuminati is coming through. So in essence, you're supporting somebody that's directly supporting the Illuminati. Just an FYI. I mean, hey, you do what you need to do. But uh, don't DC, claim you're uh, one thing and then do another. I'm going to call you no, on no. it just like I would expect uh, no. you to call me. 
I don't even know who who sings the song. It's like DC something. It's not whatever you said. Kind of like you don't know what the it's Bible DC says. It's DC talk. Kind of like what you the, don't know what the your own specific Bible specific says. song is Toby so Mac. So you lie. The specific so song me, is Toby so Mac. You me who is and you from DC and you talk and you're during the mid nineties? I got a man with a tack on his big fat belly. It wiggled around like Mama made up. jelly. It took me and a while to catch what it said because I had to match the rhythm of his belly with my head. Jesus saved is what he raised in a typical tattoo green. He stood on a box in the middle of the city and claimed he had a brain. And you're under the curse, by the way. Says you. He is constantly in his feelers. You don't hear him? <laughs> he gets going on his fucking rants. It's this feminine, well, bitch, feminine bitch energy coming uh, out of him. Strong. Strong. Oh, are you going to quote strong. Jesus Christ and believe in the New Testament? <laughs> and not think that you're being a deceiver. Hey, to How say, am I being a teacher? Why is it time, that you've huh? not read it in Psalms 89 and adhered to the Bible? Does it make you feel uncomfortable that this man fucking thinks and about you constantly, Nubs? Like you're on his mind? Snap I'm not too worried about it. Okay, hey, just kidding. Hey, I'm not too worried about it. Because they're pedophile supporters, so. Hey, but that's just me. Hey, fuck you, hey, you pedophile you're a goblin. Big, you're a fraud, don't tickle my crap balls you're the more. Face, don't you tell everyone that Paul is full of shit and lying about traveling. That's the right one right, right there. Lying about you're his travel videos. Do you have a mental institute? Videos, how it's all fake. Tell us, goblin. Tell us, goblin. What you guys are telling everyone. Now that you hear the Paul, now you hear the daddy. Tell us what you meant by saying his traveling is fake. Let's hear it, Goblin. I, I, I love when that that Christians try to tell Christians how to be Christians. I, I think that's absolutely you wonderful. That, Both you fuck cards were fucked with that, pedophiles. Now that. you guys are up here triggered at damage control. The optics are high. Oh, the, opti the well, optics are high. This is just your, your, uh, your type of environment hey, that is in this I said you're but a guess what? And I if can you play want to chaos too, that, we can figure but that out. And you're it doesn't matter because you bring fine. absolutely nothing. This is just insane at this point, guys. Wait, Wait a second, that, that was Jack. That's what Jack was like. Toilet. Toilet. You know? And you're a great <laughs> while you talk you to You both are fucking damage control. You both are fucking scum. You, say, you both support pedophiles. And Goblin, I'd like to know what you meant by all the earth is flat. Like you're and fucking free. You were part of that conversation the Bible too. says it but is. Y'all were shitting on daddy. The Bible says it's thing. flat and motionless. You don't read oh, that book, verse? do you? Which verse? Which verse? I don't know the verses offhand. I just know what they say. Oh, you're 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 like me, and I implement them in my life, life because I guard it close to my heart, like it tells me to. Give me a break. You say you deny the New Testament, but you're quoting Jesus Christ. How the fuck does that hey, work? I can you quote anything I want to. Yeah, but you don't believe in it, so that hey, means why you're don't you quit from supporting the pedophiles deception. and then talk about faith. Quit supporting <laughs> pedophiles, then talk about faith in God and Jesus. Don't hey, freeze. You're just mad because, because I know more scripture than you. You're 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 pedophile. You guys hey, want to talk about God and Jesus, but you're a pickled pedophile. I have a question for you. I have a question for you, Snafu. How does the freak support that? How? No, no. Do you know where you are right now? No. Hey, how? Goblin, tell us how tell Paul lied about traveling videos, how it's all fake. Right. Tell no, tell us what you were meaning when you said Paul is fake, right his traveling shit is fake, and, and everything about it is fake. Why don't you tell us what, what you meant? Right now. Tell us what you meant, Goblin. We, we can replay right it and review it. I'm you're sure fraud. Daddy would you're watch fraud. it. You can pull the time down. You bear false witness. But since, since he's right, he already knows you guys shit on him. Let's hear it out of oh, your mouth right now. right now. Why is he fake? How is he fake? Were the videos fake? And to freak, we know to freak was cupcake with you guys shit on him too. But we know to freak's a pedophile supporter. Most moronic person. So go ahead, pedophile supporter fucks. Dude, I'm rebuking pedophilia every time I friggin' insult I'm you. I'm rebuking, but I tickle monographs balls and flow state balls and support pedophiles. Rebuke it all you want, you fucktard. I rebuke your pedophile supporting piece of shit ass. You're a one dick pony, and you should go to the circus before you learn. Why are you talking about another man's ballot? That's disturbing, sir. Goblin. 
Tell us why. Hey, you're ignoring what you said on flows last night. Not a pew right right in Paul and you so that get over it. This week. You were saying Paul's videos, traveling videos are all fake. He's fake. Everything he that. does is fake. What are you talking about? I said no, it was look, a bad idea. Last hey, night. Which one? That's not this even video the part that, That's not even the part that... I didn't even know what you were talking about today, actually. He doesn't look like he's traveling. He's faking it. It doesn't matter, bro. No, it, it does matter. matter. You said it last night. It you said last night everything he's about is fake. You said his videos are fake. And now no, you're I coming here saying, oh, well, that don't matter. matter. I could say he's a fake fuck, I didn't but say now when I'm questioning about it and he's sitting next to me, I don't want to tell him what I fucking said. You're a coward. I put Paul in the right now. He's driving. Look, back for life. You're a fucking coward. You're, You're a fucking coward. He's not in the UK right you now. No he's driving. Skills, bro. Go back in the woods somewhere. He's Tell us why he's fake. Tell us how the videos are fake, Goblin. Tell us what you meant about him being fake. Oh, a, a Go ahead, Goblin. Go ahead. Go ahead, Goblin. Go ahead. Go ahead. What? What do you want to know? What you meant by telling everyone he was fake and the videos were fake. I didn't say he was fake and I did not say his videos were fake. Bro, I now you're gonna lie. Like, when turn, you're like, I did not say he was fake. I did not say he was fake. How about this? If you didn't say where does this go, Snafu? Where does it go? If you got the video, show it. If not, he's saying once again, like they always do, that what it's you're hearing like them they saying. Do, they're saying me. no, no. You guys always do this. Everyone hears you say shit, it and when they call you sense. on it, you go. No, it never happened. And then when we wind up getting no, it, it, it happened. But then you say, okay, it happened, but not the way he said it happened. It's I the same fucking fake, shit over and over again. It's like dealing with children. I am you guys' daddy. This is literally the same dynamic. Daddy, daddy came home from work. The children were talking shit like again that, when daddy's back was turned. Snafu, the older that. brother, brings the information, and everyone goes, no, we don't know. We didn't see. We don't know. Then if they play, they're going to go, yes, daddy, Show we were me. talking shit, but not it was the way that that brother Snafu said. Period. It's like, I well, what do I care anyway? I don't even care. Snafu, I'd rather Snafu not get himself all riled up yelling and screaming about me and wind up in the hospital again. We know these folks are haters. We know they're duplicitous. We know they're fake. And we know they like to hang around certain places where they pillow talk and get fly with the mouth because they like to sit around and do drugs and drink. And then they get fly with the mouth. Which is why they find themselves with so many problems in life usually. Peace is available, brothers and sisters. You guys want to shit on me and hate on me and lie on me? Do it, because I've surrendered it. That's I'm not, not going to fight you about it. I'm me. not even going to defend anything. I'm not going to correct the record. You know what's true and what's not. So if you want to lie on yourself and fuck your own credibility and let everyone hear it and see it, have at it. Okay. Like, like, like I said, said your, 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 your opposition is more it. likely to die no a suicide than, than, than you having to kill them. What do you mean? What do you mean, bro? If I said that this you were fake and your videos were fake, I'd tell you dumbass. You already know that, dude. No, I don't I because there's been times idea. in the past well, where this shit happened. Well, I'm telling you dumbass, I didn't say you're fake. And Again, I you, don't have to, you don't have to start yelling at me and cursing at me because food. you're... I, I apologize. Yeah, I'm not saying that you said anything. I don't know what was said no, or not. I, I know it's happened. But it wasn't that. And it I know it's happened in the past with you and others where things were said and then it has to come out and I don't see the point of it. Like, I'm do just you saying, like? It wasn't he what does he was that moving. as if like I'm gonna go really goblin? Now we're gonna fight. Like I don't. If that's what you want to go and do, whether you did it or not, if you didn't do it, then it doesn't matter. If you did do it, well, that's it on you. Doesn't matter. matter. That's what I'm telling you, Paul. All you're gonna do by this traveling thing is prove wizard right, and he's gonna he's gonna it say that matter. you're, uh, you're not gonna he's your daddy. That. And that's what I, I don't know. Again, I don't know how that makes any sense. Like what you just said makes no sense. By well, me upholding one. my right to travel freely, I'm going to prove someone else is something. How does that work exactly? It well, doesn't matter. Because he's the matter. one that's always talking about that stuff. It, and, it doesn't uh, matter. Don't you get it? They're not going to honor that. That's where we're at in, in reality. That's where again, we're at. I'm not, it, you, you guys presume that I'm interested in what the liars and frauds and haters of this world honor or not. I'm going to honor it. I'm just I, saying I he's going to he's gonna use that, I bet. And I, I don't give should. a fuck what wizard, the poor, broke, loser, failure, who's with an obese woman whose health is failing because they sit around and do and be nothing all day, every day, except sit in drama and gossip and hate and division. 
and don't serve any purpose or any truth and don't create anything. I'm not interested what these motherfuckers think about me. They've already failed in the game of life. That's clear. They failed well, on all levels in the game of life. Mentally, emotionally, well, spiritually, financially, relationship based. I'm glad that I successfully completed all my personal goals in life by the age of 30. That's why so I'm him, glad I, I, I like, like so I if I travel you. freely, it's gonna change the fact that Wizard had to come here so I and the, the audience that's could right. care for his health. Because I'm that's his daddy. Because I'm his daddy, me. and I have a stable here of honorable audience members who don't hoe for me, they hoe for God with me, and they're willing to do good works at certain times for what they perceive as good people. They're willing to do good works for all people, really, despite what the judgment. So how what is it going to change that God is everyone's daddy and by proxy, I'm wizard's daddy on here because without me and this audience, he'd be dead right now. Wouldn't Nothing I do with traveling is going to fucking change that outcome. For him. Just so you know. I think it's good. He's also the same good. person who hasn't come back since to substantiate his lies and be accountable because he's so much of an unthankful and grateful grifting bitch. He's now on the slow state sucking his feet and begging to go up on his panel. He's looking for a new audience to bullshit and lie and grift on. That's how little integrity and credibility and care he has for his own reputation. He's pathetic like many well, others on here. I, don't I know. wouldn't I care if he had a billion fucking dollars and was president of the world. He'd still be pathetic because of his course of action and the choices he's made and the choices he hasn't happened, made. You know, maybe you read him off. Again, if I can run you off, then that proves who and what you are. You didn't listen to Timmy the other day when he completely elucidated an idea that I've been living on from day one. This isn't about me. You folks don't come here for me to help me and do me a favor. You come here on some level for you and whatever your needs are and what your life's about and what you want to share and create. So at the end of the day, if he wants to now twist and turn and act like he was doing me a favor by coming here, he wasn't. I didn't need him here. Obviously, he had needs here. All of a sudden, those needs changed when the accountability time came. This is why folks are alone in their life and broke and unsuccessful or with people who they have to accept less by being with because they can't rise to an occasion of honor of productivity of procedure of loyalty of even entertainment he's going to take your success or failure in this travel thing and use it as a, a success i don't in his care life. And he's I, already and a failure what don't you get about i'll get on here so you can look at me when i say it what don't you get about nothing I do or don't do changes him being characterized as he is as a poor, broke, delusional loser failure with no value and no network and no community and no relationships worth looking at. But you're going to be his puppet now, though. Well, it's not even that. It's, 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 OK, it's, you're it's, obviously it's, like trying to get me to do a bit and to go it's, off it's, more it's, like it's, it's, either that or you're no, just so you, fucking like I can you're tell so you, dense the more that, that we, it's we, one or the other. You're trying to play me or you're really dense. The no, more that we should be at ourselves, the level of the DOJ and critiquing that and working on that now. Why are two tards talking at once? I can only deal with one at a time. And I was just trying to present what I my perspective. All right, bro. I want to hear the you, but you obviously speak. are talking when he's talking, and he's talking when you're. Someone has to yield at that point. The more that we speak in, in, on here, we expose ourselves for who right. we are. Right. And that's this why I was just I came on here you. knowing I can, I'm so sick that I came on here knowing that I will have one option by the end of this because it's a long game. We all get exposed for who and what we are and we're okay with what we see or we get exposed for who and what we are and realize, oh my God, we need to change. I'm part of that process. I'm not exempt from that. No one's that good. I can't lie and cheat and act and do whatever and avoid that long term. So it's a dangerous game. Are you willing to play? And Most folks are not because they don't want their dysfunction <clears throat> and or their outright lies to be exposed and shown. And when they are, they fight and run. Because they're beat already. And where we're at in the timeline, it is very, very essential that we make critical decisions right now. Yeah, That's you're going to get put on record. You don't get to run from yourself or this self, which is a replication of you. You can't go to Slow State's panel and everywhere else now and play the wizard game. 
You know what happened here. You know why. You know it's a you problem that you won't solve. Don't make it a me problem. Take the accountability and change it or accept who and what you are and what you don't like about yourself, just like Scott Too Fat, and move on with your life and what we do here. They can't get it done. And they don't understand it's going to create more of their impoverishment and their judgment because they're not coming with a pure heart for with a pure motive and living a pure virtuous truthful life they're they're trying to bullshit other people and you can't bullshit me and you definitely can't bullshit your own conscience and that thing it's connected to so why try just stay silent you uh you uh you problem because i think that you're putting yourself in a joe cool boot on the ground level again at a comfort and fear instead of focusing on the DOJ where the corruption actually starts. Can you help him out? He just did the that's him thing on me again. He's in a delusion for his comfort and fear while claiming me doing the work on the ground and sacrificing and dealing with consequences in courts is not you, where the work you is done. It's the inversion perversion the the perception, deception. It's a waste of talent. It's the not a waste of time. Your life you is the time. waste of time. Oh, this is what you and Jack Talcott and all of you need to do. Put up a mirror, look into it, and all the criticism you give to me, give it to yourself because it'll be accurate at that point. It's not accurate when you project your analysis of you and how you live onto me and then claim it to be accurate. It's not. I'm doing the work that needs to be done. The rest of you won't do because you're too fucking scared. Don't tell me the work is not done on the ground with the courts and upholding rights and the law. It's done with the DOJ and Donnie. You sound like an embarrassing clown and tarred, and I'm all for it. I need content. You're it. The freak. Yo. What would you like to see out of Paul? I don't think he should be a ground soldier again. He's that, he's that's, done. That's, he's been there. He's done that. Like my mother that I didn't have. If I had I'm a mother, it, if see. I had a mother, it would sound like you with that mama spirit. You're going to be chasing ambulances again, again on Paul. the ground and have to go to jail chasing again. Ambulances and, again for what? Uh, nobody's. Ch- have you for seen the, me for the Paul Rose show? Hey, fuck slave! Hey, fuck slave! You're talking about the cash. You're talking about the castrated again, not me. There is no past it or beyond it or behind it. It's a state of beingness. You're free or you're not. Starts inside, extends outward. You have to live that way for it to be the case. It doesn't matter what the consequences are. You'd sound just like the mother I never have with all that mama's spirit. You're beyond that, Paulie boy. Don't live free and die young. Just secure your ass and be a broadcaster and go along to get along. Have you seen me for the last year ambulance chase? Have you seen me not to submit to somehow now being characterized as a fraud and and scared and not willing to travel freely because I went back with Jennifer and have stayed and I'm not going to bring two cars back and choose to to move? You don't know what I'm talking about. The point is you haven't seen me have any interactions in the past year because It hasn't been convenient or practical for me to do what I was doing. When it is, I will. And there's nothing going to change that. There's no past it and beyond it. The day that I stop living this truth, I can't come on here and talk it. When that day happens, the rest can't live it either. On some level. I've forsaken the cause. That's who you are. I have to go down with the ship at this point. I've I've created no other alternative for myself indirectly. I did it purposely. It forces me to be ultra radically accountable and faithful and with my conviction. This is why what Illumitami and others call me fake. They're so foolish. They don't understand how I do what I do and why. I came on here and ran my mouth so much and got so known that now I can't turn back. So I don't have an option. Because the day that I stop living this information is the day that my integrity and credibility goes away. Now, I could get the license and all the stuff and fill out the documents properly and not sign it. And I could potentially walk the middle way and show folks another way to go about this where I could have those things and not be identified with those things. I've I've entertained the idea of doing that. If I was completely just go and submit 
adhere to the code, sign the documents, put myself in, the, in their jurisdiction, undo my status correction, essentially, I would not be living my truth and my information. And nobody who has been on this journey with me would take me as credible and respectable. I really Why? believe that and feel Can that. I share an experience Why do you, you want to put yourself in a position of arguing law with police instead of lawyers? I'm not arguing law with Can police. I'm upholding experience? the law. And when policy enforcement charges me, we deal with the courts, either directly or indirectly. Listen, man, I want to share this with you. All right. If you've ever had any identification card or license, okay, and you've ever had it and signed it, okay, prior to knowing what you know, okay, whether you follow up, comply, do whatever, all right? If you go in there without going through the, the proper process of correcting your status, they are not going to allow you to sign your own signature and put, you know, the ARR on it or any of that. Unless you go through the full process. I just want to share that with you. Again, you can say that. I don't know what your experience is on that. But at the end of the day, this is practicing law and nobody in an official position can give you legal advice that you're not willing to take. So I will go to any installation and I will take out all those contracts and I will not sign any of them just to get the documentation on record. And I don't you can't compel me to sign that documentation. You're there to perform a service. The service is creating these documents and these credentials. You will create them. You will distribute them to me. I will decide how I will sign it or not. And you will put it on record as is. That's compelling folks to do their obligation and their duty without them coercing you into some standing you don't wish to be in. So I've done it before with notaries. I've done it before with many well, folks. That's why I was just going to say, not gonna do what down to the notaries. That's the, the corruption. Yeah, the point is, is down. people are people first and foremost. And if they think you're doing something, they're not going to comply with you. So I have to remind them, your duty here is not to make legal determinations on me. You're not qualified for that anyway. You're not an administrator. Your duty is to formulate these instruments and these documents in the proper process and procedure and fashion, and I will decide how I intercourse and interact with them. That is my free choice. You will not coerce me and compel me to make a legal determination outside the realm of both of our understanding. I'm here to be a lawful man. If I have to fill out those paperwork with the name of the trust, first and last name, all caps, and a social security number to generate an instrument that I can use to secure my beingness without taking on the liability and obligations of the contract, that might just be good sense mm -hmm. to keep the cop from blowing my brains out on the side of the road. Here you go, sir. Here's your license and the rest of your crap. The only difference is I'm not willing to pay for it. You're going to have to generate me a certain document for a certain standing and or I'm not going to sign the contracts and obligate myself with those liabilities in that and status and standing. And ultimately, whether it's a complaint or a contract, the, the burden of that's on them. Because you're you're trying to present yourself as you. Listen, bro, you really want to get down to it? I said it and it was in the intro today. You think that I wasn't speaking from my heart on some level? There's different aspects to me, but ultimately at my core, I've overdosed twice, bro. I was supposed to already be in prison and dead. The fact that I'm not is nothing short of a miracle and to me is evidence of a purpose and a process that I'm here to take on. If I have to go to a 180 like the Castro, I'm still way ahead of the game. I know folks who are involved in different things in the past who are still in prison for 10, 15, 20 years. I'm way ahead of the game. There's no other way to see it in faith. If you're out of your victimhood and your fear and insecurity in faith, there's no other way to see it. So if I have to go and ride around again and get the car taken and then get a charge and then come get me with warrants and say you're going to get 180 because you because you obstructed justice and you didn't present and all the rest of it, do you think I'm going to cry and whine or am I going to look at it as my penance? As what's meant to be for me one way, some way, somehow. This is what it is, man. You're not going to get wins by arguing with police who I'm don't gonna, have the authority listen, to make bro, I'm going to throw you the fuck out of here soon because you're not going to give me advice on how to be a man. I think you're a punk ass bitch living in a delusion and a hallucination. So stop <laughs> telling me what I'm going to do and not do. If I would have listened to motherfuckers like you, just like my father, you wouldn't even know of me to begin with right now.
So with all due respect, even though I don't respect you completely, just like I don't respect my father completely, stop telling me what the fuck I'm going to do and be and have. Because you, you and people like you have been wrong all of my life, and I'm done listening to you. Please understand that. That's my choice. I get to be inspired and inspiring. I get to be empowered and empowering. I get to have a choice. And cowards like you are done having a say about it. Respectfully. Tell me about what a fucking win is when you're already a loser in life. You wouldn't know what winning is, motherfucker. So don't talk about it. I'm just looking at the landscape ball. I don't give a fuck what you're looking at when you can't see, feel, and hear. You're wasting everybody's time. And you're projecting onto something that's bigger and better than what the fuck you're doing and being and talking. So leave it alone. You wouldn't know what the fuck winning and co-creating looks and feels like because you're in the sense of it. You're in the face of it. And you're rejecting and rebuking it. So you're ignorant and arrogant. And when I look back at you, I don't see and feel the same. So respectfully, know your role and your function and position, which is to be a bitched up slave and do what the fuck you're told to do and hope Jesus saves your bitch ass over the next 2,000 years. I'm walking a different walk. We're not equally yoked. I just don't think you're going to get a, a win Arguing with the police. You could have stopped right there. You just don't think. You just don't think. You could have stopped right, right there. And more importantly, right. you don't feel because you don't have a heart to get the sense of what I'm talking about. And that it's beyond this incarnation in this world. You just don't have it. All right. You've decided. So you've keep decided. Keep claiming to know God. Keep claiming to know truth while you keep voting and paying your slave tax to have a Christed consciousness enslaved and genocided. Whether it's in the form of me or any other incarnation here, keep doing it. Synagogue of Shatan, Babylonian infidel. I'm all for it. I don't hate you. I just hate what you do. And without what you do here, I wouldn't become the man that I am and the man I'm becoming. So I thank you for your darkness and sickness and twisted ways. It's been a great servant to me, the darkness. The freak. Yo. These are all divisive paradigms to put you in a box and title you. And if you even do get close to finding the way, whatever that is, they're going to crucify you, persecute you, and get rid of you. It's very simple. You know, some people walk yeah. that walk to the fullest. Some people walk that walk in different different matters, ways. I mean, it's it's a journey. You know what I mean? It's a way of life, a student of life. You know what I mean? And it's definitely a death cult that controls this reality that we're in. That can't be denied. I mean. No, I don't deny that. So, so what, what are you, what are you looking for from, from Paul? Well, uh, today specifically, I, I uh, had that conversation with him about Jack and how he feels uh, about him and maybe, you know, a lot of different things. And then he wanted me to come up and explain why I think Donald Trump is the best vote. And I tried to explain it to him. And, you well, know, that's the problem of course, right I'm there. wrong. You're participating in a paradigm. It's I'm part of the system. I'm part of it. Yes. Okay. I admit that I I pay too much I, into the system okay. to not get what I I'm owed at the end. So yes, so, I, so unless I was charged with a federal crime so or was facing federal to. time, okay, I'm not so going to be engaged. They they owe you yeah. something, right? You're entitled. Okay, right. That's what Social Security right, is. So, yes. All right. So you're in a delusion. Go ahead. Well, no, I'm part of the system that's created. So, like, yeah, I paid into it unknowingly, the whatever. The I'm going to get the part of the translation. Give us Barabbas. I'm in and out of the world. I've I'm sold gonna, my I'm soul my for fiat out. coupons. And there's no sense in me giving mm. this much fiat coupons without getting the slavery and genocide that I'm offered and entitled to. Great logic. I love it. Keep telling the God of creation. Keep telling alive. the God of creation you don't believe in and live the truth of for who and what you all are, so I can sit back and laugh as the judgment comes down on all of us. 
keep I doing told it. You, I love I told it. You. It gets my dick hard. It's better than sex at this point. Keep blaspheming the creator, putting yourself on record, keep substantiating my position as an exposer and a prosecutor for that force to get you all on record, just like the Shaitan and the courts are going to do so they can bring about righteous judgment on all of you. I fucking love it. I have nothing else to live for at this point. I've played all the games of the world. I've got all the dopamine hits. I've done it all at this point. There's nothing left. So now we come down to co-creational living, the art of living, actualization and realization, surrender the rest in faith, and put the rest of you infidels on record once and for all. Now we bring in economic collapse, more genocide, grid down, and all the rest of it. I fucking love it. It's the best game ever. I used to hate life and be afraid of it and want to escape it. I can't get enough now. I love life. I love this game. And I love you folks, foolishness and ignorance and arrogance, because it's going to be your undoing. And when you love the enemy and you understand the enemy, it ceases to be your enemy. And it's that much more pleasurable when they destroy themselves. I have no hate for you. I've only tried to love you and care for you and give you truth. You will not take it. So now I will enjoy your destruction just like the God of creation will. Pretty sick and twisted daddy, huh? You did it. Oh, how is how is it unfaithful to believe that Donald Trump can fulfill Daniel 10 through 12? That's but I'm the problem right words. There. You're, Get you're this goofy ass. bitch. Get this goofy bitch the fuck out of my presence. I'm done with her too. I've seen her for too long. Whoever she's chained to, block her ass. I don't give a fuck about what she has to say and feel. She's another drunk in delusion, and she can't even read a room and understand timing. So I don't even want to look at her, especially when she's going to make a claim I'm talking too much on an audio-based broadcast. You're insane. Why are you here? That's my only question. Well, you're here because you're insane. This is what happens when I open this portal. So you're still stuck in a device of delusion, the freak. I would uh, ask no. you, I would ask that you go back. <laughs> and link slave in their confusion, right? We have uh, another no. chain uh, slave in it? their confusion. I'm surrounded by it? slaves. I claim to know. I claim to have seen God, but yet you are claiming to. Uh, uh, what did you say? Uh, who? who God's hold will on. Or something. Stop, please. Who is? Who is this slave chained to? There's Brian O'Shea up there. There's penile power. Someone please remove this chain slave immediately. I don't want to look at it. In your chat. it. I don't want to look at it and hear its cries in misery. Just let the slave be a slave and expire in its self-chosen suffering. I don't want to hear its cries. Please don't subject me to this inhumanity. I think Manel's in your chat. No, it's well, not. She, she it's might. a chain slave. I'm looking at the chain icon. It gives me. Oh, a, I don't a, see it on my end, so it's not my No, this chain slave doesn't come directly to my channel because it's another passive aggressive power gamer. Thinks I don't know. I got them all red, like the god of creation can read their heart. I got the same ability. It's not hard to tell, by the way. I could just look at your actions and reverse engineer them. I know your subconscious mind. You don't, but I do. What That's the, the cornerstone of psychology and sociology and anthropology, by the way, is the ability to read a slave and know what they're going to do next. You should ask your masters about it. It's working perfectly on you right now, whether you know it or not. Because <laughs> they go, Polly boy, it's not possible. You think you're some kind of wizard soothsayer? No, I've just done thousands of hours of psychology, sociology, body language analysis, tone analysis, facial movements and recognition, eye movements, recall, and all the rest of it. Criminology is essentially what that study is or where, where it will lead you to. How to identify an infidel, bad faith, criminal-minded individual based on their presentment, their tone, their activities, and the reverse engineering of such. They say and now the freak is doing it. He's got five messages in the chat when he's up here and can just speak. It's outstanding, that outstanding, happen? outstanding, outstanding. It happens the, because uh, I allow you to be here. Because somehow I'm so loving and caring and, and patient and peaceful and forgiving.
that I allow slaves to be here day after day and show their their incompetence and incapability and I'm lack not of faith. Control of that in Streamyard. Oh no, you are. Does that? No, huh? you're in control of most things that you don't know you're in control of, and the things you're not in control of, you've created a reality to take control of. That's your problem. So I should. So it's a very Talcadian. It's very Talcadian. I'm I'm asking you, should I not use chat in Streamyard? Yes, you should not use chat in Streamyard. Okay, sorry about that. It's okay. I don't know why that happened, brothers and sisters. I gotta thank Julian Barbary. Says, wish I had a million fiat notes to share. Thank you. Um, well, thank you, Mister Barbary. Uh, Rob G says for unslave asylum fund. Thank you, Mister Rob G. I just Find don't out. understand how you can be stuck in the paradigm and put your faith in man, the freak. What what man am I putting my faith in? The child of the lie, like the scripture says, he's of his father, the devil. Mama says he's of the devil. How is putting? How is wanting the prophecy to to come to pass because there's an opportunity? I was putting my faith in man. Making a prophecy pass. Daniel 10 through 12, he's got everything it takes to fulfill it. Who? Donald Trump? Yes. Bro, you're definitely in a delusion right now. You don't even know what it means uh, when I say Daniel 10 through 12. You're putting your faith in a like man it. regardless. You're, if, if, you no. believe, if it's making a prophecy fulfill, you're still putting your faith in a man. If you're going to participate in it. Otherwise, you're being... It's putting faith in God. Oh, okay, so putting your faith in Trump God means putting your faith in Trump. All right, bro. All right, bro. I put my faith that. in scripture Trump by, by from God. activating the Antichrist. Do you hear his yeah. logic? I put my yeah. faith. He, look, he's look, he's uh, grinning. You can tell he's look, look, he's the, the, the demons coming right out of him right now. Damn sandwich he's theory. Him. He's gnashing his teeth and giggling because I like I finally spoke it the way that he knows it is in his heart. He's supporting no, scripture total, by activating like and supporting and funding the antichrist. And it's, it's a lie. Him. And I don't really, I don't, I don't, I don't oh, appreciate I know that. The, I know you guys are devils. I know you're devilish. It doesn't matter what you say to me and who you say you serve. I can tell your heart. Yeah. I know uh, your heart. You're a devil at heart. You just said it many times. I've paid into my slavery. No, I so I'm going to get sword. my genocide by the end of this. I know you are. And you're going to bring it on me too. How, how, how do you figure? You just said you support the word of truth in the scripture. So you're going to support the antichrist to activate it. Cause there's no other way other than to support it and bring it about. That's the I only way you can get his records and and right and now. of the antichrist. Cause and you believe there's be no other way. way. Actually save you're America. Death worshiper, and I love it. Please do it more. He believes the devil owes him money. You don't understand. I understand the scripture and faith. That's why I love you putting yourself on record as a death worshiper along with the rest of my fellow countrymen so we can bring How? about the inevitable. You don't vote for Donnie to do that. You let dummies like you do that. How do you even claim a connection to the Holy Spirit and deny Jesus Christ? Oh, my Christ God. Lord? How do I claim a connection? I don't claim anything. I'm telling you what I suspect or what it seems to be, unlike you making objective claims. I'm telling you no, what my experience is what and what it said. seems to be. You said Holy so it Spirit seems is to me, sort of it to seems it. to me that even, I don't need Jesus. Jesus. Christ. I don't need Jesus as a middleman pusher for me to access a God of creation. He never There's said no I way did. To receive the Holy Spirit without Jesus Christ. And that's Paul. your claim. Could you now substantiate no, your objective? Claim. No, that's it's not. Claim. Greater yes, things than is. I you shall do. And don't tell me the only way is through me. I'm not gonna. I'm. I, I'm not interested in your dogma. I'm not interested so in your Jesus remix. Jesus is a liar. You're saying Jesus no, is a liar. You're a liar because you've repeated a lie. No. Yeah. There's no other way to receive the Holy Spirit except you guys through Jesus are Christ. Paul. On and duped, and you keep repeating lies that have been given to you in books, obviously in the Bible. Uh, remixed and altered by kings and your masters and your, your fascist. So you don't believe system. in any of it. So you don't believe in any of it. I don't need to believe. I have a first hand experience. Okay. Oh, you okay, you have a, like what happened? You were in suspended what, what happened yeah. is I've been almost completely changed as a personality and a beingness to have some level of discernment and realization of some truth outside of my own pride and ego and wants in this life. 
There's a will and there's my will. They've been revealed and delineated more and more so each also, day. Is that process happening to be cl clear with you? It's more of a practice right. than it is an attainment as far as I can perceive. That's good. But, minus, but you minus. also had that's the good, floating. You weren't even listening and processing. You were just waiting to speak because you're ignorant and arrogant. I know. My that's the way the panel is. That's the position you put me in because you're not you're interested not in your own say. personal Jesus. Okay. Not interested in your own personal Jesus. I think what it is. Not interested, I am interested in your false claim of knowing the Holy Spirit. I know you're not you interested in the Jesus truth Christ. beyond your dogma. I know possible. that. You're an infidel. Vote for Trump, pay possible. the tax, claim Jesus is going to save you while you activate the Antichrist. I'm already no saved, way. by the it. way. I'm already saved, by the way. I'm you're, just a, you're a conglomeration of oxymorons because you're a moron. Everything you're saying is oxymoronic. Something well, then you're not very intelligent. Yes, I am more intelligent than you because you're not going off of scripture or what it says or what Jesus said. So I get that. There. I get that. You're a genius. You're lighting the world on fire. It's obvious. You've, I've completely outmatched myself by getting in this conversation with you. It's clear you have way more knowledge of self, knowledge of the universal dynamics and the system, and you have way more solutions on what you can do and be and we can all do and be to solve our problems that we face. I totally get that. I was mistaken. Does that work for you? Uh, no, because you're still going to go out. And, no, and, because uh, you know it's not true. And even when I try to bullshit you, you're aware you're bullshitting yourself. So it's not going to work. I know. I know. No, We're going to have to take it deeper. Gonna go you're going to have to take it deeper with your passive aggressive power cost. games where you really that get me to submit to your nonsense. You're going to argue cost. law with I know. them and they're not going to do anything but throw you in the bin. And you're above that, in my opinion, but maybe I'm just having another Jack Tarkadian delusion. Yeah, you actually are. It's because I just said that. If you actually just shut up and listen, I know you better than you know yourself. I know that sounds like an arrogant claim. No, I'm saying that I can see beyond your arrogance and ignorance into the true you and the false you. You can't see past the false you because of that arrogance, ignorance thing. So I so know it's, somebody, it's a tall claim to think that someone could know you better than you know yourself. But I think that I'm on to something here with a lot of folks. Tell me about your suspended animation, Paul. My suspended animation. And why is not this quite sure where you? Yeah. Not quite sure where you're going with that. You said you had a personal experience. I'm assuming that was when you overdosed twice. That means you were in suspended animation. Why are you assuming and presuming things? Is that what ignorant, arrogant people typically do? Yes, they do. So I'm I'm wrong. Yes, you're wrong. It wasn't the first time today, by the way, if we're keeping count. So then what was your personal experience then? Are you actually interested in hearing my personal experience or are you trying to look for me to talk so you can wait to speak, think of the next thing you're going to say and try to get me in a gotcha? Is, no, because you saw we had a good conversation about Talcott earlier. I thought this was actually productive today, but I'm still leaving timed out in your chat. Okay, so you're a victim now. No, I'm just saying I think it's whack. Right. What made you think that I really actually care about what you think? You asked me to come up on panel and uh, tell you about Trump, so you did care at some point. Right. I wanted to use you, as I said, for content to show your ignorance and arrogance and slavish-like ways, and it worked perfectly. It's still working perfectly. Well, that's fine. I wanted to use you for insight on Jack Talcott, and I don't know which one of you is the biggest clown at but this that's point. That's kind of the point, is that you would need to use me for insight on Jack Talcott because you can't simply look and see and understand. For there's your problem. No, Not it's only called me, but Jack Talcott and life. It's called verifying and cross-referencing. It's being objective, you know. No, because you you kept making these subjective claims that Jack Talcott has some bigger vision that... I'm a part of, and I'm the on the ground day to day person, and he's the big genius mastermind. It's just delusion. It's, 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 well, there's no other way to see it. How do you, you see it? You being objective. I already told you I saw it. Did you not remember that he has mental, emotional, and spiritual disorder, and potentially so do you? Well, I'm talking about leadership style. How do you see it? Leadership style? I don't even really know what that means. You presume there's a leadership style, like this is boxing. Are we going like, you know, regular? Or are we going southpaw? Like there's a man and then there's not. 
right? So typically, like if you're a man and you adhere to certain principles and values of a man objectively throughout time, then you tend to have, I guess, your own style of personality and the way you do that. But the leadership style doesn't change. It's pretty well, you objective. The, you have the owner of a team, you have a general manager, and then you have a coach. They're all right. leaders. Like, I have like a comedic way of doing accountability, responsibility, values, and principles. It doesn't change that leadership style. The personality style may change and the way it's delivered or worked with. It doesn't change the facts uh, and the, the, the conscience-based appropriation, if that makes sense. Why are you going to put yourself in a position to argue law with a cop who has no authority to talk to Again, even really you're argue? You're not getting it because you're not looking to understand me in the truth. You're, no, you're looking trying to, to prove that you're right and I'm wrong. And by That's virtue of that, you're proving that I'm right and you're wrong. That's not true. I'm not looking to argue the law with policy enforcement. They're looking to argue with me because like you, they don't understand it. They think they're supposed to vote and pay tax. And that's the law. Right, but they could still tase your dumbass and throw you in the psych ward. Right, or in they jail. could still do a lot of things, just like to the Christed being who basically was teaching us to be like him. They could and did do a lot of things to him. Did that stop him from doing what he believed was true and right? So now you're the Talcadian Messiah martyr. I didn't say that. I said I'm saving myself. I didn't say I'm here to save the world by saving myself. Although by saving myself, I inadvertently save the world from themselves if they let it be. That's how the one self principle works. If I can figure out how to save myself and do what's true and what's right and surrender the rest in faith by virtue of that action and that process, I've helped to save the others who can do the same process. So false equivocation. You expect these people to do what you're doing? I don't expect gonna, anything. That's the modality of a slave like you who's constantly in confusion, chaos, and suffering. I don't expect anything. With expectation comes disappointment. I just do what I'm doing and speak my experience and try to surrender the rest as much as possible in faith. So you're going to lead by example, but you're not expecting them to follow you. Again, the presumption is that I wake up going, I'm going to lead by example. Other people decide that about me. I decide I'm leading myself by example. I think I'm going to jump off now. Uh, am I welcome back or do you want to talk to me again? Or What makes you think that you're not welcome back? You think that I do what you and know. the rest of the people in the, of the world do and hold grudges and project my dysfunction onto others and then make judgments and bring consequences to folks for just being foolish and naive, duped out, rejecting, ignoring, and arrogant? No, that's your judgment already. Why would I punish you double time? Well, because you basically said you don't respect me. So, I mean, right. Why do I, I don't have to respect you living a lie in order to love you and care about you and forgive you and surrender in faith that you will get what you need when you need to get it either from me or from the universe or a combination of both. Cause typically they work together, not exclusively. Yeah. Well, uh, I do respect you. I thank you. And I'm just going to hop off now. I appreciate so you being open to this experience and allowing me to present the way that I do and seemingly uh, not holding a grudge. If you are, I'm not detecting it. So I appreciate your grace and your humility. Uh, there has been a bit, as I say, of ignorance and arrogance, but that seems par for the course. When we do the same things over and over again, and when we're born into a system, it's all we seem to know and have. So we cling to it. And seemingly part of my job or my process or my obligation as a facilitator is over time to break down that resistance to the life on life's terms presentment, to take in what is rather than to exist in what we want to be true and ignore the rest, right? So forgive me if I've been abrasive and obnoxious and a bit presumptuous and assumptuous myself, uh, but I almost need to do that to do what I do. I almost need to shake folks up and challenge their sense of self in order to get us back to what I believe to be or what I see to be for myself and others as a more true enough perspective, right? So I'm not necessarily here to get you to feel bad about yourself. If anything, I'm open to you feeling bad about the way you're living and what you're doing, which of course can be changed. So what's the offense? I wouldn't do this if I didn't have faith that there was something better there for you and myself and the rest of us. So just so you understand what I'm doing and why I'm doing it, regardless of how I come off at times or how I present the facts as I see them.
Yeah, uh, it, it's fine. I'm I'm fine. It's been a great broadcast, and I really, really, really appreciate your candidness about uh, Jack Talcott and your your uh, insight there. So. I really much. don't have any other choice, man, other than to be as real as I can be and be as authentic as I can be and be accountable when folks bring something to my table that I need to look at again. So uh, I'm here for Excellent. it. Excellent. Later on. All right. I appreciate you, Freak. Your thoughts, being out Power? Stop falling asleep on streams, Pineal. It's not a good look. It's me, Christos. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Stop falling asleep on... <laughs> I love when Christos gets that penile power, starts talking shit. Come on, Pineal power. Stop falling asleep on streams, man. It's a bad look. All right, Paul. See you later. <laughs> he loves taking shots at penile power. Oh, man. Well, uh, you know, wish good night to Pino Power. It seems he's fell asleep on another stream or he took that bullshit acid he's had lying around and now he's beating his baby meat, walking around the block in circles, sweating, huffing and puffing. You know, his eyes are all wide. Who knows what this kid's up to? I don't know what I'm going to do with this kid. See what the fuck I got to deal with here day in and day out. You know, they say I'm obnoxious, I'm arrogant, I'm abrasive, I'm all these things narcissistic, egotistical. If you had to see what I see with my eyes and, and my understanding, and you had to live in this world day after day, you had to deal with what I had to deal with. I'm not victiming. I'm not making excuses. I could be more graceful, right? I could, I could be a bit more loving and caring and graceful. There's no doubt about it. But, you know, again, I'm only human. You know, I'm in a male form. I got testosterone running through me. And when you've seen enough, you've seen enough, right? Oh, man. Another day in the asylum, that is the universe, universal holographic stimulation, as it were, uh, and the replication of that, which has become this broadcast. So they're one and the same, regardless of how beautiful it looks outside, how quiet and peaceful it is, and supernatural and the energy and magnetism. Uh, still, right on the periphery of that, in that, is pure insanity, pure faithlessness, uh, pure lack of discernment and understanding of self and how the world works, just right on the edge, right on the periphery. You might even be right next to you. Might even be in the home with you. So what do we do with that? How do we cope with that? How do we process that? How do we bring solutions for that? Well, conscious and awareness, facilitation. That's all I can come up with. The guru, non-guru, fellowship. That's it. We're doing this till the day we're up out of here. That's what I've come to the conclusion of. We can laugh and giggle and joke. We can have the festivities, you know, the circus, as it were, and then it always comes back to square one. If you're not in isolation, uh, if you're not existing only with yourself and you're communing with others, well, then there's going to be a constant process of conversion through conversation, a.k.a. fellowship, where over time, it would seem, through having these conversations, folks are brought back to a perspective they may have once occupied, they may not remember it, May have been very early on in their life before the indoctrination, the emulation, uh, the duplication. Uh, you know, I could go on with the adjectives, but you get what I'm saying. It's become like a child again to get to the kingdom of heaven. That means completely observant with a certain level of intuition and discernment, which is basically just pure conscious and awareness without the overlay of your theologies, your ideologies. Uh, your toxic attachment, feeling-based styles, your your thought processes that are uh, intrusive or an impediment to your peace or your growth. Right. This is a process. This is like the undoing, what some might say, of mental, emotional, spiritual illness without the use of psychoactives or at least conventional orthodox psychoactives, right? Because a component of this process may be the use of cannabis, ayahuasca, other quote-unquote hallucinogens to uh, kind of, if nothing else, show folks a different vision, a different perspective of different reality that's a bit more real uh, than this sanitized, mundane, mediocre AI overlay you call culture and society. Turns out when you get more in touch with the real reality, it's a bit less real than the lie that we're living. It's a bit more magical and mysterious, miraculous, 
uh, rewarding, fulfilling, right? But it's elusive to those who live the humdrum day-to-day habitual life and existence of a mind and heart controlled slave. There's really no other way to see it from my perspective. If you have another perspective to offer, I will accept it. And then of course, at the end of a rant like this, it's important to remind self and others to let go at times. If we're not doing the broadcast and we're not tasked with observing and reporting, then we should be letting go. It does not serve self to go out into the world and constantly have the intrusive thoughts or the awareness come up that you're surrounded by slavery and genocide, right? You may have to practice mindlessness at that point instead of mindfulness. You may have to just let that go and accept that it'll be what it's meant to be and just do your best to not be a part of co-creating a reality you wouldn't want to exist in, right? Everything after that is just kind of like, we're letting it go. Do we need to do guided meditation? It's been a while since we've done that here. I want everyone to close their eyes. Go ahead and breathe for me. Close your eyes. I want you to go ahead and imagine an ocean, okay? All right, I hope everyone's eyes are closed right now and you're imagining. Imagine an ocean. It's very vast and deep, certain parts. Shallow on the banks. As you walk up to it, you can see there, shallow on the banks. But as you gaze off into the yonder, you can see the ocean gets more vast and deeper. And deeper and vast and vast and deeper. A lot like Cynthia's cavernous vagina. Okay, let's get away from that. Get away from that and get back to the ocean. Just see that ocean right out there? You're visualizing with me? Okay, eyes are closed, visualizing the ocean right there. Vast and deep, deep and vast. And I want you to go ahead and notice that if you look down your left, you can see there that there's a, a pad and paper, right? I want you to go ahead and pick up that pad and paper and I want you to write down on there all your fears and insecurities, all the thoughts of slavery and self-doubt. I want you to go ahead and write it down on that big pad of paper there. It's got to be really huge because you're probably filled with insecurities, fears, self-doubts, and justifications and excuses for your own slavery and genocide. And I want you to go ahead now. And I want you to look to your right and notice that there's a glass bottle right there. Right there to your right. You didn't see that walking up. It's a good thing. Uh, You didn't step on it. You cut your foot open and got some kind of gangrenous infection. All right, let's get back. Pick up the bottle. I want you to go ahead and pick up the bottle. Put that big, huge, large piece of paper right into that bottle, just full of all your fears and insecurities and doubts and excuses and justification about your own slavery and genocide. I want you to just cast that bottle right out into that large, deep, and vast ocean and just watch it float away. Just watch the bottle just go ahead and float away. And as it floats away, you can just kind of feel your insides lightening. You can feel your bowels kind of start to move again. You're out of your neuroses. Okay. You're out of your incompetence and incapability and fears that just locked up your bowels, forcing you to have to take various over-the-counter drugs to release them. You can start to notice now with all that fear and insecurity self-doubt and excuses and justifications for your own slavery and genocide. Now that that's kind of just washed away and it's so far from you now, you can start to feel everything just kind of open up and unlock, just kind of lighten up. You might even just have the inclination to move your bowels right now into your own pants. Go ahead and let it free. Let it fly. There's no rules here. All right. Now I want you, everyone to start to come back, start to come back and then Realize once we come back and open your eyes and we're back here that you got a big mess to clean up. Okay. Because the majority of what I just did there was complete and total bullshit. All right. Penal power. You got any thoughts about that? It is, but it isn't. See, there I go with my morbid sense of humor and false self. Uh, Because there might be some value to guided meditation, right? There might be some value to visualization. There might be some value to going back into one's life and imagining what it was like and then imagining a different response now to an old and past trauma. So I don't want to completely throw the baby shit out with the seawater. Um, what the hell am I saying? What am I doing? I'm oh, sorry. I'm still in my alternate world there that I just visualized. Really nice there. Sun was out. There's no trash on the imagined beach. There was no migrants. Boy, we can't stand migrants, huh? We're bonding now as Americans. There's no migrants on that imaginary beach. Everyone was pure white. Pure white is the driven snow. That's a beach that you want to be a part of. Am I right, people? Anyone out there? Anyone? Shout out to the Society of Jesuits. Is that what that says? Society of Jesus. There we go. Penal power. Penal, are you awake? 
again? Are you there? Hello? Every time with this kid. Every time. All right, we're half an hour over, 37 minutes over. It's completely, as always, well, it was degenerating the whole time. Let's be real about it. That's what this broadcast is. Broadcast about nothing, and it only stands to highlight the incompetence, the incapability, the intransigence, and pretty much all the morbid and dark aspects of humanity that we regularly ignore. This broadcast is here to highlight that for you people in order to bring some kind of reconciliation and resolution. That is my dedication and testament to you people. And I will do that until it kills me, which might be shortly. Living in a very, <laughs> living in a very negative world. You know, power. That's what Jack Talcott has been seeking to reveal to me. That this world that I've chosen to live in, and chosen to become aware of, is very morbid and dark and negative. And I could use some more love, brothers and sisters. I could. I could use some more love and light. Oh, well. Maybe one day. You never loved me, Dad. Oh, the mic was still on. Okay. Israel reportedly launches strikes in Iran as air defenses destroy drones in Isfahan. I don't know where the fuck that is. Does anyone really? Uh, oh, we never. Oh, I'm, see, I'm way ahead of the game here. We, we made almost no progress. I'm almost four hours in. We didn't get to the breaking slave news. We didn't get to Chile de Castro, really anything other than Snafu, De Freak, and all the rest of the asylum cases. Pretty much just going off here again, as always. And I joined in. I was a part of it. I'm guilty. All right, we got the Castro. I'm going to play a few minutes of it, and I'm going to wrap up. There's always tomorrow. I'm sure someone will show up. Someone will always show up. You know, even if we get down to like 10, 20 people, like one of Penile or, or Loomis Slavery's broadcast, someone will show up. I'll, I'll be there. They'll be there. It'll be nice. Excerpt from upcoming book. Chile de Castro is now writing a book from behind bars. This is exciting. So with your next order of a trifold, an extra $10, you'll receive a Chile de Castro memoir which this should excite a lot of people. Another way for Chile de Castro to cash in on his story while he cries and whines and uh, manipulates and deceives and plays both sides and begs for forgiveness while apparently being an activist and, and righteous freedom fighter. I don't know how that works exactly. Don't ask me, go ask him. Excerpt from upcoming book. Let's get to it. Hello, everybody. This is Chile de Castro calling from the Clark County Detention Center in Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm an innocent man who has been locked up for filming a cop in the streets. So I, I wrote something today as I have a lot of time to think and this is gonna go in my book. So this is an excerpt of my book that'll be coming out when I get out of jail. I'm gonna read it and there's some things I'm gonna say in here that is gonna give you an insight to my thinking and why I am the way I am. As I lay down and I think about what went wrong, how could this judge put a first time offender in jail on an obstruction charge? And I can't believe that I have deserved being put in jail. And yes, I may have said that I hate police. And there's a lot of reasons why I have said that. And there's a lot of reasons why I feel. But I thought it was my right to say the things that I said. And so what this book is going to do is help give you comprehension and understanding as why I am the way I am. And so I want to put it into a perspective for you that you can understand so let me say for example that you were going to get a job would you take a job where you take people as prisoner where you put them in torture cuffs and take them to a cage who does that an outright pig now i'm going to change my verbiage publicly because i'm not because i must but i'm not done yet building the comprehension of understanding myself for you to understand me the goal of this book is so that you will always be able to say, I know why he called them PIG. So I will change my verbiage. I have to. I have no choice to become electable. But because they sign up to do to us, to the public, only for themselves and completely for themselves. To me, the American cop is the most selfish, greedy person on earth, and I can prove it to you. If you had a job at a popular pizza place, and this pizza place sells pieces by the slice, and the front door that you worked at had a little turnstile. And every time someone came in, the turnstile would turn around and whack them in the hip or smack them in the back. It just didn't work. You know the three little bars like in the subway where you walk through it and it flips around? That thing. 
And so now imagine this. At your pizza at your pizza joint, after the person pushes through and they get whacked, imagine you would say to them, it's not supposed to be comfortable. Could you even imagine it? Could you even, if they were to complain, whack, ow, 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 this is hurting me. How long would you keep this job? But yet you continue to hear it day after day, time after time, as people get hurt by police with the torture cuffs, them saying, ow, ow, ow. And the worst part of it, the absolute worst part of it, you go into the pizza joint and they stick you in a giant high chair where it sticks you in the ribs and it hurts your back and you're saying, I can't function, this hurts. How long would you keep that job? You wouldn't. Of course, this is a parallel. We're talking about the initial attack and the torture that these people called police in America put, put on it, put on us. And so if you worked at that place where you served pizza and they got whacked every time, you would demand to change or you would say that they either have to change it or you're going to quit. But what does the PIG in the street say? He says they're not supposed to be comfortable. Torture cuffs are always torture. You cannot apply torture cuffs to a human being and then slip them into a tiny slot in the back of a cage and say that if you're not torturing them. You Here he goes again. They're doing it again. I'll throw the link if anybody wants to be part of it, but they seem to like the one-man show, for whatever that's worth. Freak, you're doing it again. Starts at the top, the DOJ. No, it doesn't. Donnie Trump came out. I'll let you see me while I tell you this so you know that I'm speaking to you. Donnie Trump told you when he came out that he can only do certain things. The rest has to be done by you. He said that. You won't even listen to your daddy. You won't listen to your metaversal daddy, which is me, and you won't listen to your political science daddy, which is Donnie. I told you, and he told you, and you ignored it in your arrogance again. So Donnie folded at some point when he realized he was, if he was ever real, if he was real, man, uh, he folded once he realized like I have. See, I didn't fold because I realized there's a bigger story going on here. It's spiritual before it's physical. He realized he was surrounded by traitors and cowards, so he folded if he was ever real. He may have just been a dupe from the beginning. So when he came out and told everyone, I'm going to put these certain acts and certain bills into place and you guys got to do it from the bottom up and you folks folded like a bunch of cowards and waited for Jesus and Donnie to do it all, you forsaked your power and your choice and the manifestation that leads off of that, extends off of that. You did that. Stop going to daddy. Stop making God do it all for you. Stop making Jesus and Donnie do it all for you. Stop making Paulie Unslaved do it all for you. You're idol worshiping. So if you uphold the law on the ground and you uphold your rights one person at a time and hundreds and thousands of people do it across this land, a different conversation is going to fucking happen. It's already happening. You fuck slaves. I got dozens of folks who've come here, said they got dismissals doing the behavior that they say is going to get you locked up and charged. That's illegal, but still lawful. Okay. So it's already underway. It's already in flux. It has been from the beginning of time. And the only common denominator on every land that allows this to continue and proliferate and or get worse before it gets better is folks' ignorance, arrogance, and cowardice. Stop looking for someone and someone else to be who and what you need to be for this to change. The world is full of good, righteous people. If you can't find one, be one. If you do find one, you're still going to have to be one because good, righteous people are not going to co-create and do business with scum who won't live for something and stand for something. Get a clue. Okay? So it's not top-down, bottom-up. It's top-down and bottom-up. It's going to require everyone in between to establish on record these rights once again by standing on them and living them. If you don't use them you lose them see what it says right there use it or lose it this is as old as the hills it's cliche as 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 any uh storybook cliche would be you don't use it you lose it so you exercise your rights and the and the information of creation or it gets obfuscated and deflected away from and you get disempowered because you're already disempowered from the inside so why wouldn't you be disempowered from the outside if you're not walking in the way, the truth, and the way of living life properly. So you can vote for Donnie all day uh, and then turn around and say he's going to do it while also saying he's the Antichrist. You're in cognitive dissonance 10 different ways. 
This is about the DOJ. No, it's not. It's about the men and women who the DOJ serve. If the men and women who the DOJ serve act like a bunch of slaves day in and day out, well, then the DOJ is going to let that be what it is. They're not going to stick their neck out and put their ass on the line and potentially go to prison at the hands of a bunch of other corrupt folks because you on the bottom, on the ground, won't do and be what you're meant to be. It's not their job to live for you as a man, you fucking clown. You took representatives and made them your daddy and act like you're a child and they have to live for you and provide something for you. They don't. It's precisely that belief that got us here. So when you act like the men and women you're supposed to on the ground, you'll get the government you deserve. Until then, you're going to get a bunch of folks who are just like you, ignorant, arrogant, corrupt, and cowardly and duplicitous and say one thing and do something else. Very simple. If you understand systems dynamics and holographic simulation theory, which has pretty much been proven at this point about how this simulation of a universe works, any of this clicking in with you, go talk to Mr. DeCastro, constitutional law scholar. He's got a trifold you can buy, and now he's selling a book. Because, you know, we really, like my father, have to find out who he is and how he ticks. Like, he's so complicated. He's so profound. He's done so much, and he's done so much in such a different way than what we've seen it. No, just more ignorance, arrogance, bravado, false strength, presentment, and more grifting behavior. You're not an anomaly. You're not hard to figure out. Nothing you're doing is mysterious and miraculous or mythical. It's predictable. It's pathetic. It's embarrassing. And it's par for the course. And it's why what I just said is true. Because the cash show and the rest of you are the way you are is why these courts and this government treats everyone the way they do. Because they see right through you and they think the same thing about you as I do. I'm just telling it to you, honestly. This is why many of them respect me more than they respect you because I'm not kissing their ass. I don't even agree with a lot of what goes on. But I see why it happens from both sides. And I see how it's going to change. And until then, you're going to be mocked and humiliated, and you're going to be cast out, and you're going to be given the consequences you deserve based on the universal idea of what's going on here. It has nothing to do with the localization at the end of the day. You think it's some woman on some bench somewhere who did something to you. That's your lack of faith and understanding of the bigger picture. This is what I've had to be reminded of over and over again that just mind fucks me and, 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 and bends over my ego and sense of self as someone in power and in control completely. Sorry. You know, it's something I have to come back to over and over again, and I can't deny it. And it's been there from the beginning of time. So chances are, it's not the experience of an insane man. It's the experience of a man who's going sane, realizing that we live in an unsane world. And the only resolution and reconciliation is going to be God's law, the truth, and surrendering in faith. There's nothing else to be done or shown or seen here. It's all been done and seen and said and shown before, one way or the other. There's two tracks laid down. And then you can argue there's a neutral middle ground position. This is why I say, I'm not even fighting for the light or for the truth or for positivity because I've come to the understanding we need the darkness and the negativity and the fascism, and all the rest of the things that we're fearful of and try to fight with and overtake. We apparently need that because the only way that a man is going to come to true honorability and presentability is through tests and challenge. Adversity makes men. Prosperity makes monsters. You folks have been too prosperous for too long, too safe, too happy, too comfortable, and too unwilling and undisciplined to be responsible presentable, honorable, good faith, and surrender the rest. So now the courts and the shaitan and all the evil forces are going to force you to do that or suffer and die. Greatest simulation ever, far as I can ascertain, because the majority of it seems to be beyond the comprehension of mere mortals, as uh, the skater boy would say. What's his name now? Jack uh, Harlow, right incomprehensible to the mind of mortals and almost completely uh, chaotic to the mind of an infidel who's in the world and of it, right? Beyond incomprehensible, looked at and seen at as nothing but complete chaos, right? So, you know, the mere mortal, once it puts its wants and desires aside that lead to its suffering, can start to comprehend the incomprehensible. 
can start to see peaks beyond the veil and see how this is working seemingly. Right. So that is the, the paradox. What is incomprehensible to the mind of mortals who look at this dynamic in this universe and see nothing but chaos and disorder can start to comprehend the way that it works if they would put their way aside. Do the will, not your will, lean not on, on your own misunderstanding. Because this is far from chaotic. And it's far from disordered. It seems completely organized on the highest level to me. And it seems like it's all meant to be carried out exactly the way it's happening at this time. And there's clear trends that can be observed to prove this, right? History repeats itself, especially when we fail to learn the lessons and the thematics that have been present from the beginning of time. So I believe potentially we do have choice here. We do have influence. We can make a change in ourselves and in the world. It's going to require us to know our history by knowing ourselves and then becoming the self we need to be individually and collectively to change the world because the world is a reflection of the beings who populate it, you could argue, right? So there is only one way in and one way out of this dynamic, and it turns out it's self. It also turns out that you can't run from self. So if you will not go in to get out, you will become the sacrifice. If you will not choose to sacrifice your lie and your lifestyle and the comfort of the lie you've been living, right, in your bubble, all the bubble boomers out there, if you won't sacrifice your comfortable lie, well, then you will become a sacrifice for the truth. This is what your masters know. They understand alchemy. They understand duality. They understand neutrality, it seems. And they understand co-creation and inherent hierarchical power and value dynamics. So when all you folks want to talk about the evil and how you're going to fight it and resist it, don't seem to understand, on the highest level, it's ordained. You don't want to make a choice with your God's free will to sacrifice the lie you're living and the lifestyle, you will become a sacrifice for the truth that you have ignored in your arrogance and lack of faith, leaning on your own chaotic misunderstanding. It has been this way from the beginning of time. I think I'm done. Looping. The freak says I'm looping. Right. He has the answers. He's going to critique me and my broadcast style. Uh, guess what, sir? You see this thing behind me? It's not a gotcha. The reason why I use this symbology at this point is because from the beginning of time, the ancient mystics and the wisdom all alludes to or illustrates the idea of the wheel within the wheel, the loop within the loop, the mandala. Right? So on some level, we're all looping. Right? All criticism is self-criticism. So on some level, you get up every day, you eat three meals probably a lot of the same shit over and over again. You vote for one party or the other. You take one good shit at least. You take your medication. You watch your bullshit programming on TV. You go to your institution. You make your fiat, and you do it all over again. So we're all looping on some level. The question is, what is the consistency of the loop? Right, Your DNA is looping. You remember the DNA spiral? So you're looping down to a mitochondrial level. The question is, what is the consistency of the loop? Is, are we doing this or are we doing this? Or do we think we're going to do this? Because it seems in life, the only thing constant is change. So neutrality leads to en entropy beyond a certain point. Right? Neutrality is in inescapable on the highest level because if you're not material, then it doesn't matter. Nothing that goes on in this body, in this world matters when you're pure consciousness and awareness. I've been there. I've left my body and I know the difference in the feeling. So while this reality and this our incarnation in this body is a bit elusive, it is a bit of a, a, an illusion, it's still real, as real as it's going to get while we're here in this body. So what do we do? How do we live? What does the loop look like for ourselves and those around us, right? What does it lead to? What are the results? We're still in the world, even though we're not of it, and we understand a product of the world is the snake with the tail in its mouth, a loop within a loop. It can be maddening if you let it be. It can be salvation if you let it be. Once you realize it's a wheel within a wheel, a loop within a loop, nothing to do but do the next right thing and surrender the rest because there's a higher order going on here. We're just a spoke in a wheel.
there's a reason though. There's a reason I believe why we were give, gifted a conscience that can know right from wrong. So that way we may do the next right thing and surrender the rest. Then we become the living example as much as possible, right? No, it does not mean we have to rebuke our nature and deny that a man is just a man at the end of the day. The best part about that is a man being just a man is a man is made in the image of the most high. And you could argue the most low. That's what makes it a magical experience. It's a conglomeration of the all that is all. So we don't need to rebuke or deny or go to war with aspects of ourselves on the lowest level because that's still part of the experience. You know, the taboo, right? A lot of these folks are very neurotic. They're, they're pent up. They're unreconciled sexually and in other ways. So they act out with this overly pious religious dogma, this neuroses. Right? This is what I believe is truthfully part of, of the issue of the human condition. You got a bunch of folks who want to go to war with themselves and their lower chakras, the lower aspects of self, and they want to hold up higher self like it's the only thing in the experience. And this leads to their, their dogmatic cults, uh, overly pious presentment, rigidity, lack of fluidity, neurosis, uh, and essentially uh, a living dead-like creature. A creature who has has never really begun to truly live because they've always been broken and fractuated, unreconciled, and clinging to some coping mechanism to try to understand what it is they can't understand. And what we know human beings can't understand, they usually try to fight and run from. So that leads to the idea of human beings hating themselves in the modern day, drugging and alcoholing themselves to death, hating themselves, right? Fighting themselves, or the other side to that component with the same tools is escapism. This is the core of what we understand as psychology, sociology, neurology, the idea of fight or flight mechanism. So you'll see it over and over again here on these panels. As soon as someone is confronted with the truth of life on life's terms, they want to resist it, fight it, or run from it. The same way they do every day in their life. Because we are who and what we are in anything we do and everything we do. That's another thing folks don't want to accept. I'm a professional. I'm successful in this venue. Look at what I have and what I've achieved. Right. But show me the way that you've done it. Show me what you've had to do and not do in order to get it. Right. Show me the parts of yourself you've had to ignore, or cut off, uh, or dishonor in order to be and do and have that. At that point, it doesn't matter what you've been and done and have. You've had to sacrifice your true self in order to get it and be it and have it. That's from the beginning of time what they've taught us as the infidel behavior. Doesn't begin or end with sexuality. Doesn't begin or end with your profession, who or what you choose to serve day in and day out. Right? Carries over into every aspect of our beingness in our life. Honor who and what you are your nature and your higher self, lowest and highest self, and allow them to work together directed toward a goal or a realization and actualization of how a man or woman is supposed to live, in quotes, based on what the creation has ordered, not what a dogmatic culture and society has ordered. They wonder why they're seeing so much uptick in addictive drugs and pornography and all the rest of it, because folks have failed to reconcile their unconscious mind, the subconscious mind. And what you fail to address and reconcile will at some point overtake you as an individual and a collective. So, you know, we see the swings of history. Soon we'll be putting pants on pianos again as a aversion to sexuality that has become uh, deviated or perverted or hyper-expressed. Because it has been oppressed, repressed, depressed, and unreconciled and labeled taboo while also being mainlined in the culture and on TV. Now we're seeing the blowback. So your masters understand all this. Your masters understand psychology, conscious mind, subconscious mind, and how to literally run a train on the individual and therefore the collective society. You had a whole bunch of people running around, making enemies out of themselves and everyone else, claiming a whole bunch of shit they can't prove, that makes no sense, and then hiring someone to effectuate a resolution known as a politician. Fascinating. 
this is what I'd like to talk about more. I'd like folks to come up here and address directly the idea of mind and heart control and psychological operations. Then step back and, and realize how much you've been subjected to this and how much it's correlated with your beingness and your life path. Because I suggest it's all there. Scary reality to look at, I know. A reality seemingly we're going to have to look at if we want to transcend it. Oh, I better stop. Paulie's Paulie's preaching for the devil. That's what he's doing now. He's saying that sexuality shouldn't be deemed taboo. Uh, we shouldn't go to war with the lower aspects of self. We should just reconcile it all, conscious and subconscious, higher and lower self, and direct it in the world without being of it toward a co-creational, communal dynamic that works based on the form of creation, not the form of culture and society and the religions that extend off of it, who or what creates all that, I guess we'll never know. You know, I'm sure it was a bunch of individual random personalities who thought all this crap up and, and proceed with it invariably from the beginning till seemingly the end of time. It's a lot of coincidence going on. And now I'm preaching for the devil, so better stop that immediately. Uh, I don't want to catch more uh, judgment condemnation for daring to accept aspects of myself that are present in all other selves that they wish to ignore, lie about, uh, or all press, repress, and depress leading to dysfunction and acting out. I should get back to that. It worked so well for me when I used to do that. I just went on heroin, you know, I had no ambition or motivation to co-create anything or be creative or like run a business. I just all press, repress, depress, cut off aspects of myself to fit in and to feel like a, a righteous man and be absent to the toxic guilt. And I just go on heroin. Just kind of, you know, if you're not going to fight the aspects of yourself and go to war with it, if you're going to all press, repress, and depress, well, you got to have something to numb out the pain of knowing that you're broken and infractuated and not a whole self, you know, because your culture and society and your family and friends won't let you be. And then they'll, now they'll say, Paul, he must have some deep, dark skeletons in his closet. Is he doing love is love? His friends and family won't accept. This is where Snafu comes up. He says, Paul, boy must have been fucking children. That's why his friends and family and others won't accept him. No, no, no. They won't accept the aspects of themselves that when they see in me and I'm real about, they say, shh, that's supposed to be kept in the dark recesses of your mind or private areas. There's private parts and Private ideas should be kept in private areas. You shouldn't talk about them with anyone else around. I go, do you think possibly that there might be some detrimental effects to living that way? Just completely denying aspects of all of us that we engage in day after day, but won't talk about or address directly because we're too guilty about the way we're created? Hmm. They wonder, they wonder why so many folks on these panels, including me, I'm sure on some level or at some point, suffer from so much neuroses and depression and anxiety uh, and self-doubt, fear and insecurity and toxic guilt and codependency. I could go on. We're already four hours in. I'm rambling a lot here. I'm doing stream of consciousness. You know what it is? You guys need more Chile Castro. Daisy May Paul doing Paul right. That's well, who else would I do? What else would I do? Would I come on here every day and do you, be you, be slow state, be... Illumitrani, be slave cot. No, I do me and then they replicate what I do, not the other way around. So, yeah, remember how we came into this? <laughs> Day one, I just sat on here, turned on the camera, and I rambled for like two hours straight. Stream of consciousness, whatever the fuck is in my beingness, whatever I experience, you know, whatever I can uh, present that I believe has some entertainment value or informational value. Or I just use this as one big venting session and become a lol cow. I don't mind that know what that is I, I see that i get that it works if you work it right even if i don't have any valuable content or information i still get to work on presenting me in public with people watching and i get to free myself up of that burden and obligation of saying anything outside of whatever it is i wish to present that's invaluable skill it's invaluable practice so if nothing else i will use this platform for that and that alone until it's no longer valuable for and to me. Somebody just asked to come up, I believe. I, th I thought I just saw that. Either way, I got to get back to the cash flow. You guys need more of that. He's writing a book now. I feel like you guys need that. 
you know what? I might just buy 15 or 20 Chile de Castro books and hand them out here. Just give away. We, we got to do a giveaway at some points, giveaway season, it's festival season, giveaway raffle season. We might have to raffle off with, with one metaversal ticket, non ticket, you get a chance at receiving a Chile de Castro memoir book. Right. So this is like normally a 15, 20 at least. No way. You know what? This is invaluable, really, to me. You know, hold on a second. I know what it says here. I got the card here. Let's see what it says here. The card says, uh, yeah, it's a fifteen to twenty dollar value at least. But to me, to I, uh, it's invaluable, right? So you know, for a small contribution of maybe five pieces of four ply going forward, potentially, you may receive back a Chile de Castroir, Chile Chile de Castroir memoir which we're doing a name change now because we feel like if it rhymes it's more marketable so it's chile de castro our memoir um locked up and crying is is what the working title is right now it's a rough title locked up and crying uh but we're gonna brainstorm that okay so don't like quote me on that it's not an official title it's a working title snafu snaps is here snafu snaps your thoughts in general do you have any thoughts here, or are we just going to yell Pito Pogo? What, what's the deal? No, I just, I, do you, I don't, I know you didn't get to breaking news, but today when Trump, Trumpy, you know, the Antichrist to uh, the freak, you know, uh, yeah, he was doing his part of on fire. Let me help out real quick, and then you can go, because he's still down there. I'm going to have to throw him out soon. Proper instruction motivates people. What are the chances you won't, will or won't end up like the Castro if you hit the road? The chances are really great that I'm going to be locked up at some point and they're going to try to put me away for a long time. That's good for you and others. Then you can laugh and giggle when that happens. The difference I want to believe, it remains to be seen. I won't claim what I would do if I'm not there. I'm not going to do egotistical pride. Pride goes before the fall. The difference between me and him is while I do what I do, I almost expect that to happen. And when it does happen, I probably won't be whining and crying on the phone to Brian and others and begging for folks to give me shit and buy my book. So even if I do end up like Chile de Castro, I won't end up like Chile de Castro. Hopefully, faithfully. Does that make sense? Your thoughts, Snafu? Yeah, they have no clue, man. They're just a bunch of fucking poser of losers that will learn. And I think you already have an understanding of what what consequences are standing up for rights, freedoms, and this and that. So I mean, goes, these motherfuckers, man. you don't get it, you don't get to think and feel about it. That's the thing. You don't get to think and feel about it. What needs to be done needs to be done. You either do it or not. If you do it and something happens to you, you don't get to think and feel about it. If you don't do it and something happens to you and your people, you don't get to think and feel about it. It's life on life's terms. So keep sitting around having a bunch of thoughts and feelings while I practice not doing that because I practice detachment in order to not suffer so I can do the next right thing and surrender. If I had thoughts and feelings about it, I wouldn't be able to do what I do because I'd punk myself out like a bitch and I'd sit around continuing to think and feel and talk without doing and being. Do you see the problem there? You got owned. You got punked out like a bitch. And you don't want to acknowledge it. You don't want to admit it. That's what Satanism is. Right, Mark. Your thoughts, Snafu, Warthog Creature? We got to wrap up soon. It's been quite an eventful day. I, I have a feeling they're all going to be like that dude that set himself on fire. Th they think they're making moves, doing shit, and it's really for nothing. Like, no one gives a fuck. No one cares. Uh, right. They're yeah. not getting that I'm doing what I'm doing for me. This is what right. I believe life is and how it's supposed to be lived. I don't care what anyone else thinks or feels or says. I'm doing this for me to free me See, so I can know I what my boundaries is. are and aren't. I need I this. I think that's what the confusion is. They, they think it's for them. They think it's for the people. They, no, you know, they don't. I don't get so up every day and live my life for you. That's you. You get up every day and live your life for other worldly people and slaves. I don't. I'm doing right. this for me. By doing it for me, I can do it for you, if that makes sense. No, I get it. 
I put. I don't know if you heard about that dude that set himself on fire at the Trump hearing, but I, they they finally got footage of right before he did it, and I put it in your backstage. Dude's fucking like Talcott, man. He's like, Talcott it out, lighting himself on fire dude, and look, wars. Look what he was saying before he went and set himself on fire. I put it in your backstage. This is him, and he went to the Trump hearing, set himself on fire this morning. Start a fucking revolution. Start a fucking revolution. USA. USA. You get to receive to what you receive. <laughs> Start a fucking revolution. Right. It's just another du useful, duped out, liberal, institutionalized clown who thinks that they're going to start a revolution completely blissfully unaware that the word revolution means a complete circle. So great job. You started another complete circle. It's the exact circle they want you on. And they're going to bring about their problem reaction solution off the back of your programmed ass. Yeah, and, and what's so funny is this motherfucker lights himself on fire, offs himself, right? Thinking he's going to start this movement revolution. Well, he got six minutes of fame. It's over. I mean, people are going to talk about it, but... Yeah, it's another just, daddy, daddy love me move. I'm going to self-emulate to prove no one loved me and cared for me while I didn't care for myself. Great stuff, all you folks who have daddy and mommy issues and can't overtake your bizarre past trauma and dynamics that you live out day to day. Great. Great stuff. When you realize, again, it doesn't matter beyond the body, it just allows you to reconcile death that much more easily, right? Death is part of life. So I don't death worship, but when these folks kill themselves, to carrying out some bizarre program, they just become a witness for the rest of us of what we can do and shouldn't do, right? And like everything in between. So great simulation act. Act one, scene one is, uh, you know, indoctrinated tard who's basically just a pawn dupe of this simulation, holographic simulation, self emulates to prove a non point. Only proving that they're indoctrinated and, and desperate and dysfunctional, right? It's like one last stand. This is how indoctrinated, dysfunctional, and deviant I am. This is how lacking in faith I am. We don't even know if it's real. Is this real, man? Like, is this more psyops? Ask Penal. Penal, can you do the number code de uh, uh, deconstruction? Is this a crisis actor? Is this psychological? He's fell asleep again. All right. You were saying yeah, now? I, I honestly, it probably is because we're going to start seeing a lot of these optics ramp up more, you know, those yeah, type of that, now, Phil, am I going to have to hear you every single day, all day, yelling about optics ramping up as we go through a complete depression and civil war and world war and all the rest of it? I can't take it. It's one thing to have to deal with the, the economic depression, the civil war, the world war, but to have to hear you screaming and yelling and hollering about it the whole way, I don't know if I can well, bear no, it. No, soon, soon, soon people will be in action. These fucktards don't understand that. So this soon is gonna they're going to just life. crash this, this whole internet life. and this whole... Soon they're going to take this whole internet grid down and the economy, and then they're going to bring about a new grid and your new social credit digital system. So you'll have oh, like yeah, a good probably six months or a couple months. years of. Yeah, I'll have the, a break. The then. Yeah, down, just keep going. I'll have my break when they take the grid down because they've been training for it anyway. So that'll be when well, I get when my the, break from this. Down, there'll be services still available, but not like what we're used to. And it'll probably be about three to four months until they get it back up. I'm excited. So what do you think about the word that Gorilla Gems was cupcaking with slow state last night? Whoa. And wizard. And wizard. Whoa. And wizard. Yeah, I saw yeah, it. We saw it. That was the words that the crew was on it. Crew monitors everything, man. You guys think you're just going to go around town cupcaking with all the folks who, who lie cheat, steal, mischaracterize me and not be under some judgment? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. I can't call it. But Snafu can, and so can the crew. So you're under crew well, judgment we, now. We witnessed it, man. Bro. Yeah, we it witnessed, witnessed it. That's the thing, man. You know, there's a fine line between unconditional love and surrender and faith versus getting in your feelers, wanting things to be different, and then getting out of character, if that makes sense. 
So while I'd rather Talcott and Wizard and others be here and things be like the old days, I'm not going to follow them around and I'm not going to pad their their insecure ego and I'm not going to live a lie with them so that they can cope with who and what I am on this broadcast and on this panel. I'd like it to be different. When it's not different, I'm not surprised and I don't go looking for a different outcome. They can create that by being who and what they're meant to be or it's going to be the way that it is. And I'm okay with that. They're not, ironically. They're not okay with that. I am okay with that. I'm okay with us winning together. I'm okay with us, quote unquote, losing together. What do you think, Peniel? You witnessed it too. I saw you over there, not cupcaking, but you were watching, you were monitoring. People are subject uh, to emotion at times. They want things to be the old way, the way they've experienced in the past, or the way they think it should be, but that's not the way things are. You know, what, uh, what stream are you talking about in particular? I forget. Was it Goblin that you're talking about? Flows. They all had the powwow. Don't act stupid now. Flows yesterday? Okay, Pino's acting like a fucking stupid cupcake. No, no, no. I, <laughs> He's not remember, acting. That's just him. That's the thing. I don't remember shit that... I push out of my memory intentionally. Why are you, you know? telling me not to let? Why are you telling me to let Simon in as if I wouldn't let him in? I put the link down over and over again. How am I ignoring you, bro? Paul's ignoring me. Like, I'm not ignoring you. You guys are projecting again. I threw the link down. If you come up, I'll let you in. Where are you at? Right. I wasn't able to come in until the link was thrown out. You fucktards. I had to wait till the link was thrown out. You fucktards. Oh, butterball. Well, well, what are you doing, butterball? Paul. Butterball. Simon. Paul. Simon. That was, that was the first time I saw the link, bro. I remember the news. That was the first time you saw the link. Can we not all talk at the same time? I'm getting rapidly drained and my head's starting to hurt. I just say when I was his age, I was probably still making plastic water bottle bongs too. So it, you know, it is what it is. Did you I know the show. <laughs> did you see did you see my beautiful bong? You know what I would do? I would take the Crayola markers and hollow it out and then put some fucking disgusting foil in it. Poke holes in it. This guy's head looks like a cube. Now, if you put on uh, put on your camera, bro. I don't need to. You look like a cheese poop. Oh, what song is that, man? <laughs> that was on Tony Hawk. Bro. Why is Snuff so mad always? Simon still plays video games, then. Yeah, I I play I play video games, man. Yeah, I'd like to hear from Gorilla Gems. Fuck you, Gorilla Gems. Accomplished author and band chaser. Gorilla Gems is taking over with host day. Jose. Oh, man. He's doing the line for my father. Shut up, you fat fucking slave. It's way too late for this shit in the broadcast. I'm not going to yell over you. And every time I turn your mic down, you turn it back up. It's not so fucking obnoxious. It's not for you. realize that like, there's no way ever, like, we could try to respect you. We're trying my best to respect you, bro. But you're always <laughs> this negative. Bro, you're you're my father. That you're both that accomplished authors. Oh you're my god, I hate you. Die. Hey, Not really. JG, man. I'm wishing death upon Snafu. Just hey. metaversely die. Now when JG is here, I want to apologize to him as well from last weekend because I behaved so unhinged. Do I get apology he's just, too? Where's he's just apology? showing... Okay. Okay, Where's whatever. my apology, Butterball? No, I don't care. I, I couldn't care less about Come on, you. Where's Snafu, my apology, you sap? Snafu, uh, please, man. Pump the brakes, bro. You're way too loud and excited. You just had I mean, surgery the other day. You're screaming and yelling. You're unhinged. Please. Rain it in a little bit, man. That's true. That's, I guess that's what steroids do. Hey, yeah, you're steroided out, bro. You're on I, HGH. I, I, you're on di the Dianabol, all types of shit. Why are you, you need to fucking steroids. dial it back, dude? There goes Peanut That's Power it. now. He got forty dollars from his aunt, and now he's showing off online. What a fucking loser! Hey, Why Peanut Power, snap, snap, zero zero seven cash app, dude. Stop behaving like a fucking. Fuck you, Butterball. <laughs> How do you say his name, Simon? Snafu. <laughs> Snafu. Snafu. Come on, man. Hey, you got to love Simon. Push -ups on camera? I'll do push-ups on camera if you do them. 
You ready to get a workout in here at Enslavia? Dude, okay. How many push-ups can you do? I couldn't care less about it. I'll do I'll do workout. a push at one for one. I'll go against him. I'll do one, he does one. I'll do one, he does one. Ten for ten right now. I couldn't we'll care less about doing a workout like on the camera. Does, you know? It's not appreciated, Snafu. But appreciate it. And if it continues, you will not be welcome here. So what do you have to say about that? We can go oh, swimming. Who is faster at swimming? But I'm not gonna do push-ups. I suck at push-ups. You won't do push-ups. He is constantly in his feelers. You don't. Don't you want to get a workout? He is constantly in his feelers. It's literally two thirty at night. I couldn't care less about doing a workout right now. I just came home. Damn, you still haven't got your shit together. What time he is in the constantly day is. in his feelers. You don't hear him? <laughs> Damn, I'm, I might, I might, I might just leave if everyone is just just gonna talk shit again. Like, no point being here. Let's talk some shit. The freak, you're a fucking you punk clown. You get to receive. Oh, what you he's receive. a victim. <laughs> I know what I'm offering. Butterball's a victim. And I'm offering... Well... I don't know. Behave like the victim if you're <laughs> shouting at me, <laughs> fucking moron. Hey, does your family know you're a coward-ass victim, Butterball? Explain to me how I am a coward-ass victim. You don't even know you me as a person. You just right now. I should go because I'm you make fun of. I, do, I uh, should go. I should go because I'm a victim. No, I couldn't care less about speaking to you because you you're obviously not did care less because you made that statement. To... You obviously did care because you made that statement. No, I just wanted to say hello, Snafu, and you say butterball. Fuck you, butterball. <laughs> you're so <laughs> stupid, <laughs> butterball. <laughs> But yeah, I have allowed it. Snafu. You're always attacking everyone. What's your yeah, problem? I, I didn't say anything bad to anyone, what and you started about, immediately. Huh? Well, I, listen, I'm trying, trying to cooperate with you. I pulled up the video. I asked you what your fucking problem is. Hey, okay. dumbass. Much alike. Hey, hey, you know what? I'm not going to continue your games. You can either grow up. Give me, I'm I'm trying to cooperate with you. I went and pulled the video up. I'm trying asking you what do you, what are you looking for? What is your deal? Dude, you're missing you're missing the point of what is actually oh, happening yeah, here today. Over at flow states, aren't you? Snaps, you're missing the point of what's happening here today again. This is regular, this is a regular thing with you. I just wanted to come in here and say hello. I didn't want to argue with They're anyone. I'm telling you there. hello, you fucking butterball. Embrace it. Why would I embrace <laughs> his abuse? Embrace the abuse, yes, Simon, yes. please. Yes, that sounds uh, awesome and very constructive to the. But I think yeah. it's karaoke time. Karaoke. I actually sing, but only in Finnish. But I won't sing here. Fuck that. I'm not singing this shit. Get the fuck out of here. Fuck you, Paul. You fat fuck. <laughs> why? Why? Why are you, so you gonna curse me out now? That's a, that's a standard hit. Yeah, I, I, see I, I, see, I see what you're doing here. Every time I see what you're doing. Case goes, fuck your ass party that was thrown by that little gay kid whose father left him. That's 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 the standard karaoke hit. This is me, Camp Rock. He set the he set the tone for that. You're not changing that. Man, you used to be cool, man. Oh, okay. Ever since, ever since I decided to really branch out and explore different aspects of myself, I got this guy saying I'm a pedo pogo. I got you saying I used to be cool. What I can't do Ariana Grande camp rock every now and then. 
Nobody's saying it. I'm not saying that, that shit. Oh, you can't be you part know, of the experience. I'm, I'm good on that, man. Oh, okay, yeah, too cool. You're too cool. You're too tough. You're too strong. Right, right. Right. You know you're into yeah, it. I'm, you know I'm too you, lame. Okay. All right, I'm too yeah, lame. Public, you can't do it because you're too cool and insecure and fearful, right? You're too scared that you're too scared that you're going to be seen for the homo you really are. So, you know, that, instead of you like, well, why don't you just sing? Look at, look at you Grande, trying to play me, homo. Stop being such a, a bitch. And, and look at and, you trying to bob down to me. Get the fuck out of here. You That's you. A fucking queer. You'd sing the Ariana Grande song, but you won't. Because right. you're, you're scared All someone's right. going to see you for who and what you really are. I'm up I here the other doing. night singing fucking Hall and Oates. That's fucking security right there. Oh, yeah. Hall and Oates. So you are yeah, gay. Yeah, Hall and Oates. Well, if you are gay, nah, then Hall and Oates is dope. Ah, oh, man. You're such a cocksucker, man. Yeah, you're up here singing Hall and Oates, proving you're openly gay, but you can't do Ariana Grande camp rock? Wow. You want to ride the line, right? You want to do like, oh, uh, Nathan <laughs> yeah, Sanders, yeah. he's just yeah, a good yeah. singer. I'm not gay like him. Yeah, and then, yeah. and then yeah. if I go, hey, do the Ariana Grande, it's a staple of unslavery. No, that's gay. I'm not doing that. But yeah, you'll yeah. sit up here and sing Nathan Sanders and Hall and Oates and all the rest of it. What are you doing? Dude? I thought you, I thought you were gonna put on a good song, but you put that nut shit on. What are you doing, bro? How does it feel like to be inside the closet still, JJ? Ah, uh, here we go. Well, the closet. Uh, <laughs> I'm not even gonna feed into this shit. At least you have some room. What am I doing? Why am I here? Is this real? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Who are you okay. kidding? That's right you, now? Paul. Fuck Who you. Who are you kidding? Who are you kidding? You're up here singing Hall and Oates yesterday. Then I say, let's go to. Yeah, Indiana a couple days ago. I'm singing Hall and Oates because you're playing nut ass Jack Talcott. Oh, clips. we don't do that here. We're gangsters. Yeah, why can't yeah, you yeah. play? Yeah. You're real gangster, bit. Paul. I've been real in gangster, prison, man. When I was in prison, all the convicts were watching American Idol. I didn't watch that shit, but they did, and I didn't judge them. All right, you. You're calling me a homo. That's you. No, I'm saying if you, if, if you won't sing Ariana Grande, it's obvious you're insecure about something. You don't nah, want to because it's a. Th wanna... Look at the lyrics. I'm not singing well, that I'm shit. The lyrics. I, I got this. It's a song about empowerment. It's I got crazy. this, homo. I've always, I've been, always the been the kind of motherfucker that hit, that hit my, my face, face, so afraid to tell the world right. what I've got. Yeah, fuck this. I don't even know the come lyrics. On, man. No, come on. Have something going there. the stream. There it is. Ah, what the fuck? Deep inside I'm going to let it show. It's time yeah. to let you know. To let you oh, know. Yeah, yeah Paul's gay. <laughs> this is real. This I'm is gay. real. This I'm is exactly me. Where I'm exactly where I'm. This now, song sucks. Man. This is terrible. Yeah, you know what? I didn't really like that Paul's gay thing at the end of the first. Hey, you first. gotta come into you, man. You wanna draw first blood? I'm Rambo coming right at you. You wanna fuck with Rambo, you're gonna see what's gonna happen. And to be clear, you sang Man Eater last night as well. Not only did you do Hall and Oates, you did Man Eater. Dude, classic song, classic <laughs> instrumental. Yeah, classically gay. No, no, that's Whoa. you. Right? Yeah. Totally not gay, but no, he can't. This is real. Mom. This is me. I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be. All right, and that Paul. Was you last night. You got butt fucked by your mom's babysitter. That's you. Just next time when you do the camp rock, just read it how it's written. Don't be editorializing and throwing it on me. I don't need I don't even know how to sing that song because I don't know but it. You do. You were you were somehow you were right on it. You were right there. Yeah. There right. Look at you playing games, man. Paul's in his fucking narcissistic, manipulative douchebag All way. Right, here we go. Every time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I'm calling you how it is, yeah. Yeah, G, why did my dad send a video when he had sex with you yesterday? Like a, Simon, like... that's you. <laughs> no, I, no, how can it be? Like, Simon, you were in the video. Simon, you told us that you're a switch hitter. I mean, your dad might have butt-fucked you, you know? No, I'm just kidding. All right, all right, we got questions for you. Has your dad butt-fucked you? Here we go. Classic. <laughs> no, no way. Now just look this at the, the shit. album cover of his favorite I song. I have just bust yeah, fucking yeah, weird, 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 weird shit, but dude, this is a classic, man. This is a classic. Alright, get the lyrics up. Alright, that's what you all right, that's what you want. Hey, how many cheese balls go up your ass, <laughs> butterball? Up my ass. Yeah, I know you stuff cheese balls up your ass. 
Here we go. They spelled time wrong. Come on, Pineal. I got a leg. I got a leg here. It's not for, how old are you, man? Totally not gay. I'm just JG. All right, one eight seven. Look at five new on the bandwagon. You guys are fucking fleas. Gaslighting like fleas. Here with JG. What's that totally mother? Yeah, that's you. You're the fucking fruit. I had a mother. Ooh, it hurts. Where's your mother now, bitch? She you know only come out at night. The lean and hungry type. Nothing is new. I've seen her here before. Watching and waiting. Oh, she's sitting with you, but her eyes are on the door. Totally not gay. What a whore. So many have paid to see. What you think you're getting to for free? The woman is wild as she can't tame. What the fuck is that? I can't even sing that shit. You, ah, you suck, man. Yeah, you ruined it. You're doing an accent. You're doing some kind of bid. It's not working. Yeah, Jesus, you right. sound like me. You can you, next time, just just fucking really put your heart into it. Man. You, you, you got an angelic talk, voice. Baby? You got the voice of an Who angel. What the fuck is this? This looks like a talk hot guy. Who me? Hell yeah, you look like an O'Shea Talcott mixture. You look like a <laughs> fucked up Talcott O'Shea. Do I look like a, a fucking homeless comedian? You look like an O'Shea me. Talcott mixture. But I'm fucked up handsome. Weed. But I'm good looking, though. <laughs> this guy really does have the Talcott O'Shea look. Look at it. Hey, hey have you? Hey, Snafu, where, where'd you get your name from? So I just saw this funny ass video called Private Snafu. On That's all. I was snapping <laughs> before it? that shit came out. Oh, you seen that though? Yeah, private snafu. Snafu is a World War II term. It means situation normal, all fucked up. When right, the people right, were right. in the trenches, they'd be on the radios saying, "Hey, it's all snafu. It's all mm -hmm. snafu," which means it's normal. It's all fucked up. Yeah, totally. Yeah, that shit was funny. It's a cartoon with Mel Blank does all the voices and shit. It's fucking hilarious. I probably what? asked you before, Snafu. How old are you, man? Old enough to be your daddy. Are you from Sunnyvale? Corny. No. Snafu? You're not West from Sunnyvale? Colorado, New Mexico, Arizona, West Coast. Oh, really? Oh, really? Yeah, I, thought, I thought maybe you were from Sunnyvale. No. California. What? All right, Joe what? King, what you got? Yeah. Joe what? King, what you got here? What do you mean? What do I got? I was just fucking... What you got? Out. This shit is awesome, Hey, do you man. know the Tiger King, Joe King? The Tiger King? <laughs> yeah, do you know the Tiger King, Joe King? Yeah, that gay, the gay tiger dude or whatever? Yeah. Bisexual kidding, tiger guy. He was bisexual. He's cool as fuck. He's like crazy. Paul and Simon. Uh -huh. What about him? Simon's a little more gay than the Tiger King, though. Because he's foreign. <laughs> foreign and all, you know. <laughs> Simon's face takes a whole fucking... <laughs> Do some push-ups, Simon. Come on. Have a contest. Dude, I, I do push-ups against Simon on camera. My fat No, I couldn't, I couldn't hear less about push -up. doing push-ups. Every push-up he does, I'll do one after it. I he couldn't hear do less about do doing push-ups right now. Let's do in... Uh, let's meet in 10 hours and let's do it then. Yeah, there you go. Because you really I, I'm, I'm going to sleep in like two hours. Yeah, where you at? In Finland. Mm. It's uh, two thirty. Two thirty in the night tail. here. Nice. Hey Snafu, what about uh, what about fucking uh, what's his name uh, the big channel with all the fucking people following him uh, Archaics. That guy's what a clown. Yeah, yeah he's fucking pseudo pogoed out. I mean, that's the fucking dude, dude to go after right there. That motherfucker's got too many, too much influence on people. Yeah, that's they're, they're pretty sad, the whole archaic shit. Some of this shit is just they're fucking losers, and nobody's really really paying attention to them. But fucking that dude, man, I swear, people that I think are got their shit together are fucking, oh, archaic. So, the, the so, so I am kind of tripping. You got like a Brian O'Shea look with the Talcott look, but neither of yeah. them. The thing about it is, Shout out to Terry and Truth. My, my, 
I, I just got off work and shit. I'm full of uh, glue and shit in my hands. What do you do for work? I'm plumber. Oh, nice. Nice joking. Oh. I am also a plumber. Are you? Yeah, nice, you put, cheese yes. pops up your ass. Yeah, man's you assholes. Plumber, butterball. No, but uh, I my. Uh, Bro, your plumbing fucked up. You're di- you're fat. You're diabetic. You have cheese balls coming out of your ass. Your plumbing dude, is definitely fucked up. <laughs> you don't even know how well I'm gluing toilets, bro. Don't talk shit, I, dude. dude. I know how well you're gluing to the toilets. Look at you. Your face looks like the fucking ring of the toilet. <laughs> they're, they're like these uh, these things you're saying. Like you always say the same shit, dude. Come on, come up with something That's else. It's not the same shit. When did I ever tell you your face looks like this? Look like a toilet. No, but it's, say your face looks like a cheese puff. It's always something about like my it's it's That's always new, something new about here, my looks. Get with the program. It's always something about my looks. But okay, what else do you want me to say? Your looks uh, are okay. Some, something that would, yeah, he that looks would like actually a make sense. Fucking butterball fuck. This might be Josh's dad. Try to say something that I would care about. Of course, I know I'm fat, dude. I'm you watching myself in the mirror right. every day. I'm Daisy, looking. All right, Joe, Daisy, Joe, Joe King. King. Joe King. Hey, yeah. Daisy, why don't you use your real account, Sophia, the fake Christian, Daisy May? We know it's a burner account, you dumb bitch. Joe King, Hall Notes, cool or lame? Uh, you know, I dig some Hall Notes, man. They're ex- Thank you, man. Thank you. Snuffu, yeah, not like her using a burner account. Snuffu Snap is not your name either. What did, Oates Shut up. Do? what did Oates do, though? You know, it's like, it's all about Daryl Hall, man. That's insane. True. Daryl Hall. Whoa, here uh, come the slaves. By the way, I have to ask you guys, uh, have you watched the new show Fallout? It's really good. I really the like the story. I got the sports still. The only shit I can't shake is the sports. I'm over the rest of the shit. The sports. How many, uh, is uh, how many ever been flat earthers here or no? Earth isn't flat. Earth is knowledge. It's not flat. The earth is gay. Earth, earth is, is gay. gay. <laughs> the earth is fat. The pH. <laughs> All right, Spirit and Sanity, give me the final word and I'm out of here. It's going nowhere as always. Yeah, hey, Paul, you suck. Thank you, JG. No, nah, Paul, you're, good. you're cool as fuck. Hey, see you some other day. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. Diamond. We'll see you later. And Snuff, we're still uh, as disappointing as always. Right, his parents feel the same way. Yeah, I think oh, so as well. Cheese puffs up their ass like this guy. Yeah, yeah, cheese puffs here and there, cheese puffs here and that. Like, <laughs> it's the only thing you can again. say, dude. That was pretty funny. Say cheese puffs again. Cheese puff. Say cheese So funny. Say cheesy say poop. Poop. Say poop cake. Say At least I'm is not scared of vagina like Pineal. Say yeah, fuck you, Kyle. I'm not scared of anything. I love everything. Final hey, it's by new, and I'm scared Final of vagina. Words. Hey, Paul, try to get on here earlier next time. What you're saying about you want someone to come on and talk about, you know, some deeper stuff and all that type of stuff. But uh, yeah, I wanted to hear what I'm, you had to say, I'm, Mr. King. I'm a, I'm a man. I'm a slave, man. And uh, when I realized it, you know, like five years ago, it fucked me so bad. That, that year, I had nine jobs, man. I fucking couldn't. Nobody could tell me nothing, man. I was just like. You know, fucking damn nine jobs. Yeah, I just tell everybody to fuck off. Yeah, you have yet to get your first. Yeah, (laughs) I fucking almost ruined my whole reputation and shit because I just couldn't hear nothing from nobody, man, or be the slave that you know it fucking was fucking me so bad. Do you you work for yourself now, or are you still working for the man? I'm still working for the man. I still got a fucking slave master and shit, but uh, you know, it's like uh. I'm just all in now that I'm making as I'm gonna make as much money as I can. I literally have, you know, I can't just let people down. You know what I mean? It's just like there's just no way. And right. it's almost like, well, I'm gonna be a premium fucking slave, man. You know what I mean? Like, 
what else am I going to do at this point? You know, and, and eventually about 10, I got a 10 year plan. Just tell everybody, tell them all to fuck off. But, you know, it's like, it's a, it's a, inter, it's, it's an interesting subject to me, man. Cause I'm fucking living every day when I could be creating or doing something or reading a book or doing something, I'm fucking doing some fucking plumbing. And, you know, I just, I had to reconcile my, myself with that, you know, and, 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 uh, but yeah, that's about it, man. I won't hold you up. All right. Come back okay. tomorrow, Joe King. I'm almost five right. hours in. We'll talk tomorrow. Yeah. Sounds good, buddy. For sure. Thanks, All right, brother. Man. We'll see you later. Final words, or I got some coming. Yeah, I'm working on it. Hold up, easy lover. She'll get a hold on you. Believe. All right, good stuff. I'll see you later. Final words. All yeah. right, everybody. Good stuff. To be continued. I was Snafu. That was JG and Peanut Power. To be continued. Right. All right, everybody. That was Peanut Power. That was Snafu, Snaps, and JG, and all the rest of the cast of characters. Good to be here, huh? We'll be back tomorrow, as always, somewhere between 12 and 3 MDT, Mazel from out west. Uh, I am your host and facilitator, co-creator. I wear many hats here. A one, Paul on Slave. Some might say the god of all media. Some might say the goat of all media. Some might say the fraud of all media. You decide. All right, now get the hell out of here. I'm done looking at you people. It's insane. Me, I always tell it. Even when I lie. So suck the night to the back. Go on. Go on. The last time you're going to see a bad guy like this again. The Great Reset's happening. So when you get all your pretty and nice shit taken away and your bullshit job that leads to nowhere, and you're forced back on the land and have to be self-sustainable and co-creative and work with what is, this talk about your feelings and your ego is going to go right out the window because the, the God and the elements and nature are going to present what needs to happen next. Nine out of ten times. That's the difference between me and you. I got it in me, not on me, just like you do. I'm trying to work it out, bring the subconscious to the conscious and figure out who and what I am. Am I good or evil? Am I real and true? Am I a narcissistic, egotistical deceiver? That's the difference. I'm actually authentically trying to work it out while you lie to everyone and project your negative aspects of self onto me. And I don't appreciate it. And the universe don't appreciate it either. And the students of life in this audience don't appreciate it either. This isn't about love and money. This isn't about chasing bags or anything else in and of the world. This is about the Philo Sophie. Right? The love of knowledge, the love of wisdom, the love of understanding of self and applying it to actualize and realize and get better results for yourself and everyone else. I thought that's what we were doing here. So let's get the game back in its proper perspective. The motherfucker doing this shit shouldn't have to talk about it because you folks want to lie on it. It's embarrassing to me. I didn't come on here with the intention of the understanding that this is supposed to be for business or a hobby. That's why I show up the way I do 500 days straight. That's why I have a care in my heart with passion. That's why I do what's true and what's right and see through you motherfuckers and get amazing results for me, for me, for me. We can't allow the generalized experience of life and everything it has to offer, good, bad, and indifferent, to hold us back or keep us paralyzed God damn or keep it, us Paul. fearful or self-doubting or unloving and uncaring of ourselves. How do I know? Because then look into me. That's all this is. I can see further than the rest. I can interpret beyond what's told and shown, and I can amalgamate and communicate the cause and effect. 
and the root of the state of conscious and awareness. That is a astounding testimony to the work that I've done on myself in this world and in this life and the practices I've walked with with other people. The question and answer, the fellowship, the co-creational endeavors, and the conversation that leads to understanding. But again, we can't appeal to false emotions and false authority. That is the cornerstone of cognitive dissonance. You can't say that I'm respectable, righteous, honorable, presentable, uh, and then I have balls and then turn around and hate me or catch feelings over me, be in that and live in that uh, when you don't like it or when it doesn't turn out as favorably for you as you would have hoped or expected, right? That's, that, that's, the, that's the theme of a, of a true common bond that goes long term versus the shallow materialistic worldly connections that come and go. Just, yeah, it is what it is. Some people are down forever. Some people are down for the ride until uh, they got to get off. Right, and some people ain't down at all. So, through the life experiences, first-hand experiences, through the tests and challenges, you learn more and more who and what is meant for you, and who or what is probably not going to be able to sustain the ride. And that's okay. God of all media.